Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, hello. You're all very welcome. To the stream. A uh, special stream. Today and each day this weekend, I suppose. Uh, we're doing some long boy ones. Uh, over the next three days, we're gonna try and marathon everything there is in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, we're gonna be starting at three each day. And today is day one. Uh, we're gonna be going a good old while today. I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. I'm quite excited to be playing this. Uh, we'll get the elephant in the room out of the way. Uh, for people who have been following the release of this, it's not Pokemon Platinum. The Pokemon Platinum stuff seems seems to be missing. But, it is still Pokemon Gen 4. And there should still be a lot of good here. So we'll just address that as we go. I think otherwise people are going to be like, Where's this character? Um, you know, as we go through. They're not here, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to take it for what it is. And we're going to see how we get on, nonetheless. I'm currently playing Brilliant Diamond right now. Yeah, I imagine a fair few people are playing this themselves. Uh, I hope you're having fun. I will be joining you in just a moment. Piplup Nation, where you at? I'm very much Piplup Gang myself. I think he's the coolest one. It's gonna be wars between the starters for this one, because they're all actually really good ones. But I'm a Piplup Gang. Man, myself. Oh, thank you for all the bits as well and the subs. Like, geez, I haven't even done anything. We're just gearing up the stream. Piplup Master Race. You can't compete with a penguin. Like, no, your argument's invalid. Monkey with his ass on fire, like... Turtle with a plant. Oh, it's a penguin. You can't compete. It's, it's the argument's invalid. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, how is it going, though, folks? You're all welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope everyone's excited for Pokemon. I'm, I'm just excited to be playing this. Uh, Pokemon Diamond is when I really got into Pokemon. Like, I, I was always into it, but it's like... Gen 4 in particular is when I started playing Pokemon, like, a lot more. And, like, Diamond and then Platinum and then Heart Gold were, like, the ones I spent so much time on. Way back in the day. Black and White 2 as well after that. Oh, black and white and black and white too. Those are my favorite ones. But Gen 4 is when Pokemon just started to get really good for me. Uh, my first one was Gen 2, which I still love. Gen 3, I really didn't like back in the day. It wasn't for me. Gen 4 was the really good one though. And this is revisiting that. So it should be fun. I actually have... Um, I think I put a picture on, on Twitter of this before, but I have like a uh, Dialga like touch pen stylus for DS. I remember getting way back in the day. My mom brought copies of like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for me and my brother back from Canada. And then she got the styluses for us too. He has a Palkia one somewhere too. So I got many memories with this one. Oh god. Gen 4 and 5 was the peak, in my opinion. I think Gen 5 was the peak. I think Gen 5 is the best generation they've ever made. But Gen 4 was really damn good, and for me, it would be second to that. Um, we'll probably eventually play the Gen 5 games as well. I know I've talked about them a good while. But today, we're checking out a new one. I want to see everything that's new with this. I want to see how they've do if they've done justice for Sinna. Uh, it, how they've revamped it. I want to see if the, what quality of life changes I decided to make. It's been 15 years since this game came out. 15 years. Like, that is insane. Uh, we're going to be playing it through. Over the next few days. 
Let's go. You're all very welcome to the stream. Uh, again, this weekend, every day at 3, the time we start today, we're marathoning this game. Uh, we're going to just play it all the way through. We're going to try and do everything. Okay. Would you like to start the game in the chosen language? You know, I fan fancy some Italiano just to spice it up. No, let's go English. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here's a really rare one I caught in the honey trees that you won't be able to obtain for at least 20 hours of playtime. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at time, other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Rowan Atkinson? No, it's not that Rowan. If it was Rowan Atkinson, it'd just be Rain. Rain. Pokemon. <laughs> it's not quite. It's not. It's a different row. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. By which I mean, I send 10-year-old children out into the larger world completely blind. I don't warn them what dangers are out there. And then I get them to fight these international crime syndicates. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. But it is cool that they actually have different skin tones in that now, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go... Default lad here. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, I don't know. Like, do we name ourselves anything else here? I don't know. Joe Biden. We're not doing Joe Biden. <laughs> Change it to the Drift King. <laughs> I don't know if I want to have it as the Drift King here. I feel like we're letting that title go to our head a bit. You gotta earn that in Forza. Like, Phoenix Wright. Why call myself Phoenix Wright? Like, what? Wait, call yourself Fortnite Jonesy. <laughs> that's what that's like. Like Von Karma. I'm I'm not Von Karma. Call yourself Kevin. No, that's no, like that doesn't even make any sense. Why? <laughs> I'm not doing that. Fortnite Jonesy is currently winning. Alright, like that. So, unless you guys have any other name suggestions. <laughs> this one's currently in the lead. What other names have we got? <laughs> Just be dad. <laughs> It's just dad out in the world. I actually like that. That's stupid enough. Everyone's gonna call us dad while we're playing. Okay, we're just dad. Your name is dad? It's like, yes, Rowan, I am your father. Okay. Dad? <laughs> A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Barry, Damien, Tyson, or Marcus? Uh, okay, I'll tell you. No, I'm not calling him that. Um, no, <laughs> I'm not. Kid. <laughs> They're gonna be such, like, literal names. Son. 
Let's see your friends. Like, it's just dad and son. What about dad and lad? The epic rivalry between these two. <laughs> I think that works. Dad and lad. Okay. Lad, is it? That's your friend's name. Yeah, we're not too specific on him here. Alright, Dad. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. <laughs> I feel like I'm being talked down to. It's like, okay, Dad, you're finally gonna go out and do something with your life. It's finally time for you to leave the house. You've been here for like 40 years. <laughs> on your journey, you're gonna finally meet people, Dad. You're gonna have a good time. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. <laughs> you fucking suck, Dad. Get out of the house. No one wants you here. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Mom's taking the kids. I'll go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Just fuck off already. <laughs> oh, no. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That's cool that they still have the news report back. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Why did they unplug the Joy-Con on the Switch? It's the latest game console on the Nintendo Switch. Why have they unplugged one of the controllers? Well, like, I kept one in the console. That's not how you play. Okay, look at us and our little stubby legs. Check the PC. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. People that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon Trainers. I'm gonna do one thing immediately. Uh, it's tech speed fast. It's just a bit more bearable. Uh, we can change the window type as well. I don't... I mean, I think we can do type 8 or something. Make it a bit fancy. Battle style set. Uh, you can choose a Pokemon automatically sent to your box when your party is full. Just make that automatic. Give nicknames. Joy-Con gyroscope? Okay, that's... I don't know what that means yet. Autosave is a feature. That's very new. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I want that on, because if you're, like, resetting for a shiny or something, yeah, that... That's actually an interesting one that they enable that, because shiny hunting... It, especially if it's a legendary, you would not want that setting. We'll keep it on for now, just because streamer forgets to save the game sometimes. But I might turn that off at certain moments. Background music. It has audio settings. You don't have to unlock these like in Sword and Shield. They actually give you that. Save the settings. Okay. And then bag. Oh god, it's like the really the old bag. You can, can't tell what you've actually got because it's not really uh, well organized by like the pouches. You just go to the icon. Okay. The X button opens the menu. Can you guys hear the game okay? Can you see it okay? Dad! <laughs> Lodge came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. We gotta check on lad. Uh, I'm leaving home. Oh yes, dad. Don't go into tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. We don't have the health insurance money to bail you out this time. Be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... No, we, we don't want to have to collect you at 3am again. Okay, technology just blows me away. Now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Oh god, because it's like a fateful re recreation, this guy's still stuck in the past. 
Because they normally update them so it's like the most relevant thing, but that's what he would have said in the DS. He's behind the times. Windleaf Town, fresh and free. Screw that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Um, can I just leave? <laughs> no, this guy's gonna stop us. Hiya, Dad. Lad was looking for you. <laughs> I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? We're gonna have a lot of children in this world. Oh, here he is. Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Dad. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Dad, I'm finding you a one million polka dollars, if you like. Oh. Oh, geez, forgot something. Back he goes. I don't have the running shoes at the moment, so I can't even run. We have to unlock those again. Oh, hi, Dad. Are you looking for land? <laughs> he was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. Just can't sit still, that boy. Wonder who he takes after. It's your wife. <laughs> Better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, hey, Dad. We're going to the lake. We're waiting on the road. It's ten million dollar po- f million fine if you're late. Don't you talk back to your old man. I bought you a Nintendo Switch and I can take it away. Okay, let's go to the lake. Route 201. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, Search of the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. That's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Oh, he... <laughs> Lad is, like, always behind you. I'm always close at hand. It's a little creepy. Yeah, I can't wait to get the shoes. I feel like... I feel like... I'm lagging after every step or something? I don't know if that's just my screen. How about something to come out in the... OBS? Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. He's teleporting. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Some, something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Being away for four years. It must be exciting again. It's actually been 15 years, Don. It's been a bit longer. And there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Oh, they're leaving. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. He just stares at you a moment. Why don't why don't we have a hat? <laughs> Can we just leave it at home? What was that about? Those two. Oh, huh? Dad, let's go check this out. They left some. What's that? Don't go into tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. Oh no, lad. This is how we're going to get in trouble. If your mom finds out about this, oh, there's going to be hell to pay. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard him say Professor. Oh, not the birds! Pokemon, what's going on? Quickly, just go through his belongings. It's Pokeballs. Wait, can I, can I not see which one is which? Oh no, that's, that's Turtwig. Chimchar. Piplop Gang, rise up. The best one. First battle is a vicious monster. Get him, Piplop. 
No mercy. <laughs> Just bop it in the face. Oh god, they, they, they haven't got like the dynamic camera or anything. This is just like... <laughs> They've tried to go for like the static camera of the DS games. It just looks kind of stiff, doesn't it? <laughs> like, alright, I guess it's nostalgic, but... <laughs> I feel like it should move. Ah, oh, your Piplup totally rocked. My Turtwig was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. We had to use them, those people won't mind, will they? Oh, it's like, ah, uh, uh, it, it was open when we got here. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so not good. Take this briefcase for now. Oh, there she goes. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Dad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. We need to go home, Dad. We're criminals now, Dad. <laughs> you go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon, they're not ours. I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. You go ahead. But I am always behind you. <laughs> hey, it's those people. It's that old guy staring at us. Hmm. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see him, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Oh. Uh, okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see ya. He's just not gonna take the Pokemon back. What was all that craziness about? And if he was angry, he could've just yelled at us or whatever. Didn't he want his Pokemon back? Dad, we should go home, too. <laughs> Mom's gonna be worried about us. And this is our mom as well. What's up, dear? This is grandma. Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Lad are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I heard that he's well known for his studies in Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Dad, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know. Dad, put these on. Dad, you need to wear your shoes when you leave the home. <laughs> you can't just come out, uh, go out in your bare feet again. They won't let you back in the pub. Going to Sad Jeb Town is like an adventure in itself, right? Those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Let me read the instructions. Put the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Isn't that just nifty? Oh, yeah, we, we just go now. God, I feel quite, I feel quite speedy all of a sudden, yeah. And there's like the slow, there's only two speeds. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get going. Oh, let's, let's actually see, uh, how's Piplup looking? Careful nature. That's kind of horrible, but okay. The hand we've been dealt. <laughs> oh. oh god, you don't see the Pokemon in the overworld anymore as well. We only see them in the grass. It will slap them down, Piplup. Must kill every bird for experience. The camera feels so like 
I'm surprised they reverted that change. Uh, because it feels really just stiff. I, I know that it's not moving because that's how it was back in the day, but I don't know if that's a good thing to recreate. Like, even like Gen 5, they had like a more active camera where it would zoom around the battle and it would actually just make it look more interesting. We're kind of just standing here. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know why they would cut that out. You can make a fateful game, but you can, like, kind of... You know, there's been years of improvements. There's been 15 years of Pokemon changes since. I don't see the point in not maintaining some of those. Get that potion. Is there an option to change it? I don't think so. I, I don't think so at all. It just feels weird. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's classic in every sense of the word, word, I guess. That's not always a good thing. Pokemon's health, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Yeah, we're, we're back to not seeing the Pokemon in the overworld, too. Well, that's the first Bidoof of many. One of the strongest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> Simply because of his presence. Ah, inspiring. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> I'm sorry, God, I don't want to have to defeat you in combat. I need the experience points, God. Please forgive me. Leave the battle. No, I, I need it. God is dead. I hope he forgives us. Piplup learned water gun. Yeah, that's good. Oh, how's this nerd doing? That ledge is one way. Jump down for shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Okay. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. I love how, like, when we're led places, it's like the tile grid immediately again. <laughs> oh, here's Barry. What the? Oh, it's you, Dad! That old guy, he's not so scary. Not, not scary so much as he's he is totally out, out there. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter, Dad. I'm out of here. See you later. Make sure you're coming home in time for dinner. I don't want to have to chase you down again. Anyway, let's go inside. Say hello. <laughs> it, it, I guess with like the 3D on like the recreating, it just looks like we're uncomfortably close to his face. We've just walked in and it's like maintained solid eye contact like 10 centimeters from his face. There's something oddly intense about that. Finally, you've come. Dad, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. My seed, this Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Pipple up to you as a gift. Uh, it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? What is Pipplup's nickname? I mean, we could just call him Jefferson. Do we made- is this Jefferson's, like, reincarnation, his time to shine again? I think so. Jefferson. <laughs> the sun, yeah, the sun actually works quite well here. Okay. Jefferson, my beloved. He's back. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes. Your friend Lad told me about what happened at the lake. Heard you battle very well despite it being your first time. Well, I can see there's a grown bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it's still young. So I would like to entrust you with Piplup. So glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you were, and I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, she just kicked your ass. Don't worry. Right, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. 
First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. What I wish to ask of you, I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Be used to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me. No. <laughs> I could stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, Dad. I want to trust you with the po <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> you will accept the Pokedex, Dad. <laughs> you got you got to do something, Dad. You need to get a job. <laughs> get out of the house. Good answer. Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Dad, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. You walked up to a woman Pokemon, what'd you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I win a Pokemon. You know there are countless Pokemon in this world. It means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Dad, your grand adventure begins right now. It's finally time. Never mind it like we've raised all these children. Oh, that wasn't anything. That wasn't exciting. Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon right now. You lion, Don. You choose the one that's not chosen. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm Don. I also help the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start in you, that's all. Be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Dad. <laughs> Dad, after all this time, why did you never come home all these years? You could have called. <laughs> oh, this is the worst name. <laughs> Where, where's my hat? I want to get a hat on. Go oh, on, uh, Dad, your grand adventure awaits you. Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest with the professor. Sure you can, you. Oh, so you're the new dad, huh? You're looking after her. Well, I'm not good enough of a parent for her, is that right? <laughs> I Road invented a new Pokedex to work alongside a professor from the Kanto region. You're not a real father and you never will be. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, Dad, I'll act as your mentor. You don't need to tell me what to do, Don. I've been on this world longer. Don't tell me you've got more experience than me. I don't take orders from anyone. This <laughs> <laughs> is gonna be like drunk dad playthrough. <laughs> oh god. Oh, we gotta run down of the town. Why does it look like the Pokemart is like empty? <laughs> you can just see through that door. There's nothing in there. Like, <laughs> it's just a shed. Dad, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. What do you mean that I don't accept my card? <laughs> I've worked in a, like in this country for 40 years. Oh, that's right, Dad. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rome with the Pokedex? Ah, uh, my family are the last people I want to see. I was good for nothing, so I don't know how much I help them. <laughs> you may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. You don't tell me what to do, John. <laughs> oh, God almighty. I don't, I, I don't forget what's happened till now. Better save this. There, now I can take a break. My Pokemon are so cool. I wish I had some. Help yours get stronger by having them battle. Just leave for the world over here. We got an antidote. Can't surf off. Don't have that yet. Uh, can I just leave? I think I might be able to. I, I'm trying to remember if there's any, anything I need to pick up in the first town. Pokemon grow steadily strong from battling against other Pokemon. 
heal them. Good trainer is one that takes care of them. Talk to mom to get your hat. Can, would I will, will I be allowed to just leave? Can I just keep going? Dad, did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? <laughs> oh, tell me what to do, Don. I can do what I want. <laughs> I know you're really eager to see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you've disappeared. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we gotta go home and tell the family. This is going to get a pack of smokes. Oh god. Okay, let's go say goodbye to our family. I'm leaving. No, I actually have to talk to them. <gasps> Welcome home, Daddy. You and your Pokemon healthy. Take a quick rest here. Hey, what's up, Dad? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Dad, I've got something you'll find useful. Here's a guidebook. We don't need the instructions. <laughs> we can capture all the Pokemon without it. Dad, no, it's gonna be like the, the Ikea furniture again. Just follow the instructions. Journey full of adventure. Hi, Envy, a kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. Wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Dad. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. Boast new things and experience new sensations. Makes your mother happy, too. Please come back sometimes. I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Okay, we get a guidebook. Oh. Excuse me, is my little lad here? Here's lad's mom. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, that he must have left already. What to do? The boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. So headstrong and reckless. He at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Dad will deliver that to him. What do you think I am, a taxi service? Won't you, Dad? <laughs> oh, really? You did that for me? Dad, please take this to Lad for me. <laughs> yeah, we got a parcel. Bye-bye, Dad. Enjoy your adventure. <laughs> Let me think. No, my boy would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Lad. <laughs> There's a Dad counter start it. It's 28 dads so far. Oh, dad, you're forgetting something important. Oh, we have our hat now. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, dad. Now off you go. Look at us go. I think, I don't know if it's an option yet. How do I access mystery gift? I could save it here. Um, because I believe there's like a... With Mystery Gift, you can actually get the, um... The Pokemon Platinum outfit, which is actually kind of cool. It's a little while in before you can access it. Okay. We'll check that later then. Yeah, but it actually is kind of cool that they give that. I don't know if it affects your overall sprite. I hope it does. In the Jubilife TV station. Cool. Uh, I saw as well that you also get, um, if you have saved data for Sword and Shield, you get a Jirachi in this game. And if you have saved data for Let's Go, uh, you get a Mew. I actually have saved data for both of them. So we get some free legendaries. Oh, look at Jefferson go. That's my son out there. That's my boy. He's, I'm so proud of him. I beloved. it. Look at him go. And the Manaphy, of course. Yeah, there's actually quite a few legendaries you can get right off the bat. It's kind of wild.
Okay. Uh, can I buy anything from the Pokemon yet? I just buy balls. How may I help you? Oh yeah, I can. If I buy 20, will it give me two premiers? I have two premier balls in the house. Cool. Get some potions. If you come across a Pokemon, you've just gotta you've just gotta have throw a Pokeball. Never leave home without one. All for Pokemon goods. Oh. Pokemon loses all HP, it can't battle anymore. Buying lots of potions. Okay, let's get going. Actually, how is... Do I need to heal Jefferson? Jefferson should be okay. He can live dangerously. Okay. Oh, that's right. Dad, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Alright, I'll watch just this once. Dad, I'm gonna show you how to catch God. That's sacrilegious, you don't say the Lord's name in fucking vain! <laughs> oh god. I'm going to sound very drunk as this weekend goes on. <laughs> it's just like the dad voice that we're doing. Yeah, because uh, I saw someone asking as well, uh, this isn't a Nuzlocke or anything. We're just doing a nostalgic run. Uh, there's no, nothing, like, out of the ordinary we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna play it. Just so people know. This is the dad run. Doofless cop. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. Important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. Healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using Pokemon move. Okay, Dad, to get you started, here's some Pokeballs. You need God in your team. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go catch a Bidoof. Let's uh, just address that real quick. <laughs> okay, see you later, Dad. I need to go catch God. Uh, see you later. Make sure you're home for dinner. Oh, there's a Starly here as well. I do want a Starly. Staraptor, right? Real talk. One of the best, like, like default, like, kind of flying Pokemon that you can catch in any Pokemon game. Of course we gotta get one. Of course we gotta get one. Yeah. Weaken it here. What about Zubat? Nah, I think I think, I think Staraptor is like the coolest of them. I love Staraptor. Like maybe Talonflame. Talonflame is a, is a nice one too. But like Staraptor, like this bad boy, right? It's normal flying, but what makes him special is he gets access to close combat, which is like 120 baits, fighting type attack. I think it's even 150. And it's just so strong. We're catching a Starly. Uh, what do we name it? It's 120. What do we call it? Is it just Burb? <laughs> we already had a Burb. It needs to be a slightly different name. Burb 2. Burb? <laughs> oh, we can't call it Burb 2. <laughs> we'll call it Burby. Like, not quite a Furby. Not quite Burb. Okay. That's Burby.
Okay, uh, let's check nature. Be good. Mm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I need to go back and heal. We're not getting good natures on him, yeah. It's unfortunate so far. Okay, popping back in. Oh god, have we gotta go back to using the PC? Can we not access our boxes from anywhere? Oh, that's a step back if so. That's- that's weird. Why would you do that? Can you access at any time? You can access them from anywhere from the PC. <laughs> you can later on. Okay, thank god. I was about to say, cause like, that's just like a step back. That wasn't the case. I also hope, right? So let me tell you about this map. This map is incomplete. And I hope, even if it's not in the base game, that they do add the extra bits of the map. Right? So here's good old Iron Island. There are two islands up here. One of them, you encounter in the base game. One of them was a special event. And there is the longest route in any Pokemon game. Up here. This entire road just goes all the way up. And I hope to God that makes a return in some capacity with the, these games. We don't know yet because it just came out. But yeah, those are the event Pokemon and it's one of the coolest things because they actually changed the map in this one. I think this was the first Pokemon game to have like the really big events like that for some new legendaries. Had more than any other game prior in this one. I think Emerald, ha Emerald had like a few. Fire Red and Leaf Green had a few. And your Pokemon trainer happened to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Here we go. Youngster Tristan. Oh god, he's got like the original sprite work too. When he poses. Your bird's no match for my children. Give him the old one and two, Jefferson. Annihilate this poor kid's Pokemon. Humiliate the child. Cannot withstand the might of Jefferson. We're just gonna bop it down. There we go. Your Pokemon gain experience points. Experience share is on. Okay. So I heard that was one of the huge changes, yeah. That's on by default. I don't think there's a toggle for that. That might make the game very easy as time goes on. Child, child's dreams are crushed. We did good. Ruin more hopes and dreams. A battle, please. This will be your last. Although she does have God in her team. She'll be fine. Get him, Jeff. Yeah, so we could just try tank everything with Jefferson just because of that. He's like, like, Burby's still gonna level up. Might as well just use your strongest Pokemon. There you go. The Doof's just kind of sitting there. You're dead, there's no way to defeat God. She's got two gods! Every god from Greek mythology is here. We have to fight them all off. <laughs> it's Zeus! We gotta defeat him! The Pantheon. <laughs> It's just all Bidoofs. Oh my 
my god. Okay, uh, all the descriptions seem... I think they're just the same as they were all those years ago. Use a potion. A guidebook and a parcel. You're supposed to deliver it to your childhood friend who left Twinleaf Town. Oh, and here's the guidebook. I mean, that's cute. It just gives you a hand if you're not too familiar. Shaking the Joy-Con allows you to hear different sounds. Like added reverberation or a chorus effect, so be sure to try it out. That's cute. Yeah, you have to access the PCs to move Pokemon on that. That seems like such an odd step back. Oh, no, no, you unlock it later. You unlock it later. Yeah, so it's fine. Keep going. Jefferson's taking on the world. Uh, actually, Jefferson might be in trouble here. What is this, an electric rat? Jefferson, give him the old one, too. You can take on the world. It probably doesn't even have an electric type attack right now. Live dangerously. It's a cat. Well, no, it's kind of like a dog, ain't it? Oh, it's like a little lion or something, ain't it, actually? Shinx is a rat, no. Well, like, in, like, Dad's, like, hazy perspective of playing this game, like, they're all, like, a rat. Think about it. Yeah, it's a lynx, yeah. Lynx. The lion. Lion is basically a cat. Okay. Oh, so it is a cat, then. But look, yeah, you have to think about this from Dad's perspective. What is this, a Pikachu? Oh, I got a lot of Pikachu. Oh, that guy's got a fire Pikachu. Like, that's how Dad sees this game. Pokemon only appear in the morning, some only come out at night. I'm gonna keep waiting right here till I've seen every last one of them. Like, Dad thinks every Pokemon is Pikachu except for Mewtwo. It's the only other one he's heard of. Hi, hey, Dad, are you catching Pokemon? Um, you feel a lot safer for you to catch some more. What do you mean? I feel perfectly safe. I got two fists right here, Don. <laughs> Don't try me. In Juba Life City, there's the trainer school, which, well, you know. Dad, you should visit it. I already graduated top of my class, Don. <laughs> I'm done with education. <laughs> Juba Life City, the city of joy. What an odd perspective to show it off. <laughs> like not an overhead view or something, it's just like look down the street a bit. Oh, did I train if you get stumped and don't know what to do? Talk to people. Go places. You find many th new things just by doing that. I'll be the drift king back in college, Don. <laughs> uh, Dad's living in the past. I used to play Pokemon Platinum. You know, you know all the quality of life features there was back then. I don't know how lucky you kids have it these days. Hey, Dad, why do you sound so aggressive all the time? Oh, they're holding Nintendo Switches to trade now. That's cute. Oh, trainer, do you know much about Pokemon? Yes. Quite well versed indeed. I imagine you wouldn't need to see... Wouldn't see the need to visit the trainer's school then. But do visit if you have the time. You may discover something new. Oh? I'm so sorry the GWS isn't ready yet. Oh, there was the GTS. That was the global trade station. Is there an equivalent of it here? GWS, yeah. I'm curious what the features for that are going to be. Yeah, 
Okay, let's just heal up. What does the W sound, sound like? Is it like Global Wonder Trade Station? No. Global Wonder Station? Global World Station? It's the World Station. In the local room upstairs, you can battle and trade with other people. Did they bring back the upstairs in the Pokemon Centers? Oh my god, what year is this? They've brought back the union room? What year is this? That is wild. There's only two counters. I think there was three before because it was like an online one. That's all local play, isn't it? No, there is a downstairs. This is the online one. So, does the Switch even have local play? Yes, it does. Okay, right. That is wild that that is back of all things. No, there's the online one. You'll catch Pokemon if you already have six traveling you. The Pokemon can be sent to the box. Alright, and then she's just teaching you about types. Get your link cable. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it. You can only have six Pokemon in your party at a time. Google Life is built on land carved out of a mountain. The people on Pokemon of Orboro City help with that undertaking. Oh, there's a little Shinx. Roar. <laughs> I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can comp compete or cooperate with fellow members. Wanna join? Oh shit, I think I have a hazy memory of what this is. I, I'm honestly amazed some of these features are back. These are ancient, like, I'm surprised they've even bothered to support this. Like, this only works in local groups though. But in local rooms. Like, we all play online, no one's gonna join my club. What do you wanna name your group? I'm not naming it cult. That's a low-hanging fruit. Like, let me let me name a cult, guys. Oh, ho. we're all so wacky and zany. Like, no, it's low-hanging. Try harder. I'm gonna call it the dads. <laughs> Just the dads. Are your hands? Family? <laughs> oh wait, no, this is a good one. Hang on. <laughs> I just saw it. Dad's barbecue. <laughs> Uh, now who wouldn't want to join this group and hang out with me? Look at all these burgers I've made. So many sloppy joes. Come to Dad's BBQ. Join today. The Dad's BBQ group, huh? That's a great name. You lead this group. I hope they get more members. You're in the Dad's bar barbecue group with Dad as the leader, right? Okay, everyone join my group. We gotta get the dads, like, kind of trending. New faction established. Walk with Pokemon, they grow friendlier. Good to obtain up ahead is a great fishing home. An old rod is a good thing, you think so too, am I right? Yes. Thank you, we can go, we can go fishing! I'm gonna guess it's the same as it was back in the day. Route 218. I asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, he's probably on the other side of the route. 
Uh, do I have to register items? Oh, there's four slots. Oh, the D-pad is registered items. That's that's neat. Nope. No nope, plus is that one. Okay, never mind. Not even a nibble. Try fish again. Not even- oh, we're gonna be here a while. The water looks inexplicably juicy somehow. It looks like an odd gelatin to me. I feel like we're fishing in jelly. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a magic cart for now. Might as well. We're just gonna catch everything as we go. We might as well. You wanna try complete the Pokedex this weekend? We could probably do it, because with the experience share, it's not gonna be nearly as hard. I already have the Pokedex completed in, like, uh, Sword and Shield. That's one of the rarest Pokemon. <laughs> Holy shit, a Magikarp! I think, yeah, it's said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one knows why it has managed to survive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is this even alive? Okay. We're not gonna nickname, we're only, we're only gonna nickname stuff that we potentially use. Magic Arab will probably not be used. Uh, what's going on in here? Be sure I'll keep developing Poketech apps. It's like Pokemon with Poketech is something that evolves. And the Poketech company. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressed. <laughs> we can't compete with the rampant rise of capitalism in our world. We're doing the best we can. Try to think like trainers when we develop new Poketech apps. Use of satisfaction is what we're after. We're just a small indie developer on, like, uh, the Apple Eye Store. Don't have the manpower to compete with the big ones. I'm the father of the president of the company. Husband is the president. He started out in a small workshop where he made whatever he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. You have a Poketech. There are two models, each in different color. Uh, I get an app. Wait, wait, where's the president? Is he just not in? That floor looks slippery as fuck. Yeah, it really does. It's like all polished. You already talked to him, did I? There's a clown here. We're doing a Poketech campaign soon. Before it starts, I think you should brush up at the trainer's school. Oh yeah, they have the TV station here as well. Uber Life, uh, condom condominiums. Tenants want it. We're just exploring. We might as well. Okay, Poketech. Pokemon's adorable. Here's a quick claw. Nice. Oh, it's a Pikachu and another Pikachu. Buy some heal balls at the Pokemon. Yeah, they, they add a bunch of new Pokeballs in this gen. This is the gen that gives some of the best Pokeballs they've ever made. Like the Dusk Ball, the um, Quick Ball. They just didn't exist until this one. Those are two of the best of Quick Ball just changes the game for catching stuff. Timer Ball as well? Was Timer Ball this one too? 
Uh, oh, because yeah, I thought that was Gen 3 for some reason. Pokemon is smart enough to use items to hold them. You wonder what to do with human made items like potions and antidotes. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes a true Pokemon trainer. Okay, we just gotta deliver a lad's parcel. Hey, Dad, did you come to study too? I've already graduated. Don't you talk down to me like I don't know anything. Went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Dad, what brings you here? You got something for me? Here's your mail. Stop ordering it to the house. You know you don't live with us anymore. We get a town map. Okay, we gotta go to the next town for the gym. What are these guys doing? That one's the best way to learn. We get a battle with you. Oh, let's kick his ass. We're gonna beat up a school kid. Give me your lunch money. I need to buy more Pokeballs. Oh god, it's got Charge Beam as attack, actually. That's actually super effective. That's a little scary. Uh-oh. Okay, come on, Jefferson. He'll be alright. I think he can still live it. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Experience for everyone. Oh, Magikarp's gonna gain a bunch of experience, too. That's fine. We'll just keep him around a while. That's how it is, then. Give me your money! Alright, the movie knows some Pokemon to choose from. That's why I'm better than you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, give to a Pokemon. We'll give Jefferson the Quick Claw. And we'll give, we'll heal Jefferson on up. Uh, let's train Burby a bit. Hey, little Burby. Let her go. Okay, let's beat another school, kid. But who let this man inside the trainer school? He's just attacking all the children. <laughs> like taking their lunch money. Uh, how much? 40? 40. But this one always goes first, okay. I think we're faster here anyway. Never mind. Oh my god, Burby! <laughs> Okay, uh, we could still take it. Quick attack. That was a lot of damage. That was actually actually been quite scary if we didn't kill it there. We might have lost that battle. Because <laughs> like the special attack would have been raised like through the roof already. <laughs> could you imagine? Like just doing a Nuzlocke run here, it's like, the trainer's school got me. <laughs> it's actually very possible. Charge Beam on an Abra is actually quite scary at this point in the game. Right, get some technical machines. You obtained TM10s? Wait, did he give me a few? Oh god, okay, cuz we had the records and then we had TMs and Sword and Shield. We've gone back to standard TMs. I think they break again, but they give you a few copies. 
That means it's just gonna... I imagine that means just a lot of TMs are just gonna be unavailable. <laughs> Yeah, what's the what's the point in going back to that? It's why? Cause like there's there's some TMs like Earthquake where you just find them on the ground and there's only one copy of it in the game and you can't get it anywhere else. Why would you do that? Oh no, that's a bit rubbish. Yeah, at least it's for only for this game. But what? Like why would you do that? It's too faithful, yeah. It's so much nicer when you can just reuse them. It actually encourages you to try out the TMs. Nostalgia and suffering. Oh god. Like, to better replicate the original Pokemon experience, you now need a link cable to trade Pokemon. Oh, are you a Pokemon trainer? You don't have a Poketech yet. Uh, oh, no, it's a Poketch, is it? Not Poketech. Poketch. It's short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. The uh, inventor and now manufacturer Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find tr three clowns in Jubilee. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own. Okay, uh... I think they're all outside. No, we can't go over there yet. Kids nowadays have it too easy, you gotta grind for the TMs. It just seems pointless to like actually change it back. Like I don't understand why you'd make that change. I am a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question! Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yes. I won't go stronger by- I don't want- I don't want to do the voices. I don't want to do them. <laughs> I don't want to do the Mo- I want a day off from Mo the Clown. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. And Pokemon even evolve. Suffer like the rest of us. Nope, today's my day off. I'm playing Pokemon. Here's the other clown, and a Pokemon holds an item. Okay, and then there's... Like Pokemon, did the moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes. Not a very hard campaign, is it? Excuse like the new Apple Watch. Just take it. Oh, we got it. Press the arrow button and try it out. Press the arrow button to open up your Poketch. Control it by using the touch screen. Okay, my switch is docked. Hold down the arrow button to close it. Can I even use this? Oh, okay, it gives you a cursor. Oh, we have the old calculator app. <laughs> They've actually, like, maintained all of this. Like, th this is wild that this is still in the game. This used to be done with the touch screen on the DS. There's a pedometer. They so can keep track of your steps. That's probably the most handy one there. Uh, so we'll keep that one up. Does that just always sit there? I feel like I'm playing with a stream overlay. Can I not hide that? Hold R. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like... As wild as that you now get play the rest of the game just without that corner. Have fun. Unregistered hypercam moment. Okay, uh, we gotta go to Orboro, which is this way. We also have to check out the apartment block here. 
Wait, no, we, we checked out this apartment block, didn't we? There, there's Pikachu and Pikachu. As far as your dad's concerned. Okay. Hey, Dad! Tell me you got a little tougher. Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Oh, bopping theme alert. Pokemon trainer lad. Showdown. After a night out at the pub. Let's go. Okay, my burb is better than your burb. Just smacking each other. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. Who are you calling, kid? I'm your senior. Why is he? D oh my god. Oh. Well, that was unfortunately quite close. Let's send in Jefferson. Are we going to die horrifically against Lad? Okay, Starly's dead. Crits the great equalizer. Well, these burbs stronger now. Within an inch of her poor life. Okay, Turtwig. Actually, quite a problematic one. Uh, let's growl a bit. Okay, keep, keep using Tackle. Forget the fact that you're a Grass type and probably have something way better to hit me with. Damn crits! Okay, slap him down. Jefferson can act faster. We're doing like the same uh, damage, but I've used like two growls on. <laughs> this isn't looking too good for the gang. Does Water Gun do any more? Send in the fish a moment. Oh no. Uh Okay, heal up Burby. Burby should be able to take the hits now because there's like there's growls and razor leaf isn't nearly as scary. Okay, come on, Burby. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Critical hit. The great equalizer. Get him, Burby. My Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a bit tight. Do not heal. Don't do it. You can only withdraw so long, lad. There we go. Cannot stop the burb. Everything leveled up. Learned wing attack. That would have been real handy for that fight. <laughs> oh well. What just happened? I lost. It's a thousand dollars for winning. 
What do you mean I lost? That's it. That's, that's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm gonna be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Orboros City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that totally. Just heal up real quick. Narrator's voice, that wasn't the last time. <laughs> Yeah, just with the battle style and that, I always play on set, just because I find it a bit more challenging that way. And I am going to still play with the logic that I don't want my Pokemon to die at all. Like, we're, we're not we're not actually doing a Nuzlocke. I'm, I'm not interested in doing one for this. Like, I, I just want to enjoy this and, like, have fun and nostalgia. I think we can do some cooler stuff with it that way. Uh, but I'm still going to try and actually win the fights. And if I can make it so a Pokemon doesn't die, I will do that. Just to give a heads up there. It's a Nuzlocke until someone dies. <laughs> yeah, Nuzlocke could run at the moment. No death so far. Let's go get our first capture. First encounter for Route 204. Oh, it's a Shinx. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That, that's really nice. Yeah, I think I want that. Let's take it for the time being. We'll just catch Pokemon as we see fit, and like we'll assemble like a rough team of them. It doesn't have Intimidate trashing. His poor Shinx! <laughs> you have been judged poorly, Shinx. Everyone keeps saying Reset for some reason, so I think that's a good name. Sorry, you were born as a trash tier. <laughs> Let's take on another god. I haven't encountered god myself yet in the wild when I actually have like a ball. Oh, we got wing attack now. Go, Burb. Oh. I just love how blank Badoof stare is in this. Just look at him. <laughs> You think you can beat? You think you can beat me? Oh, I'll come back even stronger. Don't you worry. You'll never defeat me. Reset is growing stronger. He's judging you. You've seen the beginning and the end. <laughs> it's so menacing. Okay, not a youngster. Youngster Tyler. Judge Badoo. Oh god. Yeah, this is why I like, like Starly is just really good. I love Starly. Staraptor line is like one of my favorite flying types. Level 10 already. Starly on Starly. Go. No match for my bird. Burby will reign supreme. Yeah, we act because of like the experience share rule just being on, we can actually have the freedom to level up a lot of stuff in this run. Um, because I, I can just passively put stuff in the party. And just evolve it as we go. Okay, last Samantha. Dreams crushed eight. So there's a dad counter and like dreams crush counter. Oh, Bud you. Bud you is cool. Uh, uh, Rose Raid's one of my favorite Pokemon. 
uh, that was added with this gen. So I might get a bird you with half the chance. Okay, another child defeated. Can I get far here? Ravage path? Their bullet is blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the poke etch would be able to break those boulders, though. Oh! Our HM's still gone! That's weird. This is very... That's weird in terms of, like, the Fateful Remaster. They've, like, brought back some things that are kind of, like... Almost feel redundant. But then other things they've actually improved on. Why have they been so, like, kind of middle of the road about it? Oh, here's God. We can catch him this time. Hey, gems is still gone. Okay, but like TMs actually break again. That, that's a weird middle ground, ain't it? Okay, let's capture God. We have found him. Plump mouse Pokemon. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. This is the only nickname appropriate. God has been added to your party. Uh, whenever I hear, like, God in my head, um, I don't know if this is what the sound that plays for everyone else, but, um... What plays for me is a uh, death note when someone recognizes Kira. There's like one of like, like his followers that every time he sees him is like, God! And like says it like that every time. I don't know. God sound effect death note. I don't know if I can get it. The heart attack sound effect. That's not quite right. <laughs> There's a laugh. There's the potato chip scene. That's not quite right. Okay, I don't think we have it, but that's what plays in my head every time I see it. God! I'm gonna flick on a light. Getting dark. It's here. Half four in the afternoon. Of course, I gotta shut the curtains. Okay, let's go back and heal the team. Are you wearing your glasses, Daniel? I am wearing my glasses, thank you very much. Get off my case, Mom! There's a reason I left home! There we go. Already got a colorful cast of Pokémon. This is a nostalgia trip still. Uh, I'm, I'm having fun playing it. It's just weird looking at some of the changes. I, I'm glad they changed HMs and they didn't like try to faithfully recreate that one because there's like eight HMs in this one. Uh, it's actually kind of ridiculous. There's like defog, there's strength, there's rock climb. <laughs> there's like so many. You know, the first Pokemon to appear in a palace is the one at the top of your team list. Uh, I saw in the trailers that you can let Pokemon follow you. Can I not do that? I, I imagine that's maybe just a feature I unlock. Yeah, you unlock it later. Okay. Okay, we'll get to it later. Then. That's grand. So many Bidoofs. <laughs> I love seeing them. It's like one of the most common Pokemon in the entire region. Well, this guy is just everywhere, so we might as well all use him. The lesser gods. God, our team is getting, like, really strong already just because of the, uh, experience share. 
I'm amazed I already have like level 10s. I haven't even got to the next town. Like we're just one shot in the enemy now. Herb is level 11. I'm hoping that maybe we can still get things like the nature mints and that, like, much later in the game. Maybe they do have some of the new items kind of incorporated that way. Sword and Shield does have a lot of cones. Alright, hang on, let me... Trainer tips! Pokemon use, moves use energy called Power Points, or PP for short. To replenish PP, head for any Pokemon Center. Gee, he said pee pee. He said pee pee. <laughs> Comedy goal. Yeah, youngster Dallas. Oh, Cricket Top. I forgot about this little guy. Let's kill him. <laughs> moment it's just Burb Burby take it on the world. Jesus Christ. Nothing can withstand. Feels like every single battle I do something levels up to. Maybe comedy bronze, but it's still comedy. It's not quite comedy gold. Not of the right enough best caliber for that. <laughs> yeah, I'll let Burby take this fight, but then I'll let God try destroy a child uh, for the next one. Give him a chance to shine. I do just like Burby beating stuff up. Got everything here. Why is Shink's name reset? For some reason, everyone was saying that when I caught it. Something about its nature. Don't know. We're gonna keep. It's a good nickname, though. Burby is avenging Burb. Yeah, Burby is actually gonna pack a punch in comparison to Burb, who is like, like useless. Okay, uh, I I want to see if I can like find some music appropriate for God. <laughs> Trying to think like how menacing we can make this. Let's see, let me see. Best video game final boss music. There's a lot. I'm trying to see what I reckon. We could just do Soul of Cinder again, but I feel like it could be more intense than that. I don't know how this is gonna play, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's try it. <laughs> Background music. It's eerie all of a sudden. <laughs> it's so unsettling. Give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. 
Tack. <laughs> this feels over the top for poor youngster Sebastian. Gosh! <laughs> God's defense has harshly fallen. We have a non believer. Oh shit! What? God is dead. Well, you had a good run, God. <laughs> the first to fall. Ah, uh, no. I guess Burb has to take another one. The Nuzlocke is over. Well, the Nuzlocke isn't over if we keep God dead. <laughs> if we we just keep a dead Bidoof in our party for the rest of the game? <laughs> God has fainted. <laughs> oh, God. Is there a way for me to use a Pokemon Center but keep God fainted? I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to get the music back. If I put him in, like, the PC box, will he not restore his health? I think they changed that. Revives and potions only. Oh, that's gonna be a pain to do, though. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, Pokemon Diamond, but the challenge is just to make sure God is dead. <laughs> like, get to the very end with just a dead Bidoof in the team. Uh, I, feel, I feel like that's too much work. Oh my god, like, there's so much you'd have to factor in. Nietzsche would have loved this. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like there's gonna be too much effort that goes into maintaining making sure God is dead. Interestingly, they do not gain any experience uh, when they're dead. I don't know if that was how it always was. Can't remember. That is how it always was. Okay. Couldn't remember. Okay, well, we'll keep God dead for now. But I could do. This is me. What if I use the Pokemon Center, right? But then I switch out God. I get him killed again every time. <laughs> So basically, I have to make sure God dies every time I use a Pokemon Center. Like, afterwards. It's so much effort. What do you have against Bidoof? That's just the fact that God is dead. <laughs> he died on his first encounter. Oh shit, Nabra. It's actually very rare. Uh, let's see if we can catch it. You just gotta throw a ball against Abra and uh, hope. He uses teleport. Whew. That's pretty lucky. Uh, we got an Abra. Sleeps for 18 hours a day. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's pop it in the team for now.
Pick up the rappel. Uh, I think there's a bunch of hikers in here, so I want to keep Jefferson in the lead. How you doing, God? <laughs> just have to check in on him every now and then. Well, looky here, you got a poke at you. That Look at the size of him in relation to me. My God, I'm tiny. This is a giant of a man. Still pretty new trainer, aren't you? Oh, good. Your new fellow friend of Pokemon. I'll make a gift to these technical machines. TM98s. Each of these contains Rock Smash. When you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. It's Hagrid. <laughs> also added a new feature to your Poketch rookie trainer. The Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Poketch and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your pack. But you need the gym badge first. Use Hidden Moves from the Hidden Moves Poketch app. Oh, okay, so that, that's going to be the most useful app, then, on this thing, isn't it? So you just click it each time. And then you can also just kind of interact with something to, to activate it that way. Okay. Oh, that's some weird perspective stuff going on. That's like Link's Awakening there. They're not letting you see just over there. Look how blurred that- like, I'm very short-sighted. I can't see that rock anymore. Okay, let's go. Dad needs his glasses. I can see fine without him. Don't tell me what I do I don't need. You leave God in your first slot, he can die every time, guaranteed. <laughs> that would mean doing the run with just five Pokemon. Because we'd have to carry, like, God is dead the entire time. Gonna miss out on so much experience if he just takes up the slot. <laughs> There's God. Like a HM slave is still on our team. To help us get everywhere. It just so happens he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, you will use, like, God, just God knocked unconscious to, like, crack open rocks, to surf, do everything we need. It's the Nietzsche run. <laughs> As in, it's a new type of challenge run. God is dead category. <laughs> oh, my God. Psyduck, that's fine. Psyduck, you good there. He seems to be out of it. Okay, more XP. I just imagine Dan slamming a rock with a Bidoof. <laughs> like, why won't you break? Why won't you break? It's the poor thing's like just completely unconscious, like X's in its eyes. Okay. Orbert City, City of Energy. What are with these camera angles? What a sad looking street. Howdy, trainer. You don't have a single gym badge. Other trainers look down on you like you're a total noob, right? Did you say that in the original? I don't know. Someone there. Huh? Oh, it's you, Dad. You finally got here. You're slow, like always. 
I'll come home at my own pace. It's so slow, the gym leader is long gone now. Did he have to go to the mine? My bad already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Okay. Let's exchange the hot air down below with fresh air from outside. Okay, uh, let's check out the town. See if we can get... Oh, they're just acknowledging... They're acknowledging shinies, that's cool. Have you ever seen or heard about shiny Pokemon? They have different colors than usual. Since Pikachu is usually yellow, well, shiny Pikachu is sort of orange. That's cool. Can't tell what was in the original and what's new. Okay, uh, Rourke lets us train a Pokemon in the mine. And gym leaders. Oh, here's just a free Dusk Ball. That's actually pretty good at this point. Giving an Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. <laughs> You've called it yellow. And Rasidic yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. I mean, I can't talk Consider uh, I've called like a Bidoof God and like my Starly Burby. What are you gonna name your cat? Cat. What's your name of your dog? Dog. You have a matchup? Would you want to trade your matchup for my Abra? I've already got an Abra. I'm better than you. How about show me a Zubat? Okay. My dad actually has a cat named Cat. Oh god. Like, 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 naming pets? Naming pets like cat, to, cat or dog? I'll never understand it. The other thing I won't understand? Naming your kid Aaron. Because Aaron is the first name in the baby book of names. And I feel like some folks. They've opened the book, called it a day. <laughs> Aardvark. It's a nice name. Yeah, it is. That's just a joke. Nothing against anyone named Aaron. Where, like, the, the Council of Aaron's rises up to get me cancelled. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> like, two million of them. There's a big mountain up ahead. Oh, yeah, there's the mining museum. Coal. <laughs> Oh no, coal mining and you. All right, let's see, uh, destruction of the planet. Ah, the Pokemon I carry this must be terribly strong. Go to the mining museum. Study fossils. How coal is made. Yeah, it's just gonna document it. I would love to see you just go into the museum. It's like, here's all the things cold is good for. CO2 emissions? What are those? Like, imagine you just go in here and it's just like kind of blatant propaganda. <laughs> oh, God. Samples of coal. Everyday items. Coal samples. Yeah, let's go into the coal mine. Yeah, I, I didn't actually think about this for this poor town. Like, there's like happy-go-lucky movie uh, music playing. All of these people probably have lung issues. Every single one of them. 
no one's breeding healthy who lives in this town for long. There'd be like so much dust in the air. Like this pile of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the ways from sort and coal. Like this camp, this must be so dangerous to just go up and walk next to it. Oh, stardust. Can't be good for your health. Here's a super potion. I don't think that's stardust. It's probably just coal dust. Wouldn't be allowed to take that with me. Taking a tour of a coal mine. Wonderful. That's excellent of you. Always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. That's the closest to a propaganda, like, like support the coal industry today message we've got. Broaden your horizons. Consider coal. For a brighter, warmer future. <laughs> oh no. Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to a battle. Want to see the coal mines, average North English man in the 60s? <laughs> oh no. Okay, what we get in here? Geo dude. Wait, oh, oh, God's come back to life. Okay, we gotta let God die here. Can't let God live. We just tackle till the Geo dude kills him. This, this poor Badoof. We just gotta watch him die again. Maybe sacrificing God at the start of every battle will secure your victory. I hope so. God is buffeted by the sandstorm. It's gonna take a while to get him down. <laughs> the Geo dude's not even hitting him half the time. Did he learn self-destruct? I don't know. Can he? Can Badoof learn that? Like, just explosion? <laughs> no, oh, that's a shame. Critical hit! <laughs> this is the saddest battle. <laughs> Just kill him. I'm trying. God's having some real difficulty though. Buff him down. Remove all of Badoof's moves so he struggles. <laughs> this poor Pokemon. We're gonna fuck him up so much. This game. He's always gonna be dead. He has no moves. Oh god. God might actually win. I, I doubt he's gonna win here. We're getting him down. Only three more ticks of sandstorm to do it. This poor Batoo. Like, we're torturing him. Critical hit. 
He's down to one. <laughs> It took so long to even weaken him. Sandstorm subsided, God's still in it. Okay, if God can do it, I'll let him live. If he can do it, I'll let him live. He's still in it. No, he's dead. <laughs> God has been defeated. That was actually surprisingly close. Okay, Gia dude was caught. Oh god, we've already got six Pokemon in the party, too. So I, I can't add this one to the team. Send him to the box. I got the item up there, yeah. Okay, how you, how you doing, god? <laughs> Not too well. Yeah, we probably want to use Jefferson here just because it's going to be a lot of rock types. And we just level up everything else. I don't know if there's any new Gen 4 Pokemon that you can catch in the mine. Right, these Machop and Route 207 have now become the most trusted partners. Zubat, okay. I'm just gonna catch everything that's new. Might as well just do it that way. Look at Zubat go. So flappy. Yeah, you're fine, Jefferson. So I gotta watch my team's health and healing. Specifically because I don't want to use Pokemon Centers too often. Because that means God's gonna have to die again. you hit on the secret, I snuck my Pokemon to work. You're a sick man. I think they all have Machops. I should probably actually use then, uh, Furby. Furby's super effective against them all. Yeah. Probably makes more sense. Okay, go back, Jefferson. Getting pumped. We're already so over leveled, and I feel like I haven't done much. <laughs> we're quite a bit ahead with a lot of Pokemon. And we're getting even further ahead. The balance must be out of whack for this game because of the experience share change. Okay, right, we'll put. Burby in the lead. I regret putting Burby in the lead. Did I catch a Geodude? I did catch a Geodude. Okay, we can just run. <laughs> just get out of there. Oh my god. Cave encounters. Oh boy. Slightly bigger. Yeah, we can catch him though. Find quite a few of the rarer Pokemon in these zones. 
surprised we can count an onyx now as well. On top of the Abra. I don't think we'll use much of this, but it's still cool. We just get to catch it while we go. Jefferson's in trouble. That's... Oh, yeah, it has sturdy. Perfect. Catch in range. There we go. Doing good. And yeah, we get the catching experience as well, because they've changed that mechanic too. Do I want double team? I don't think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Josie, thank you for the raid. How's it going, folks? Are you well? We're playing Pokemon. Um, we've also killed God. Um, we're playing Pokemon Diamond. God is dead, and we're trying to make sure he stays dead. So we're just kind of keeping him in the wings there. Stand back and watch this. He's a hidden move. Rock smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. He still says hidden move, rock smash though. A bit weird. It's the app now. They've changed it. Oh, God. Oh, let's keep going. Oh, I got I got to swap them back around. They, I, there was like two guys with my chops, so I thought I was being smart. Change him, but now Jefferson's just in trouble. I'm badly injured. Almost as if they copy pasted the dialogue. But I don't think they did, because there is new dialogue. But it's weird what they have chosen to keep the same and what they have changed. Okay, get them, Piplup. He didn't get the memo. <laughs> Bro, you have to wake up. The accident was fit like 15 years ago. The nostalgia in the music is killing me. The music's really good. Yeah. I understand there was a glitch with it before the game came out, but it seems to be patched. Maybe. <laughs> Can't even take a step. Get out of there. There you go. Jefferson, lead the way. Found an escape rope. Uh, is there anything over here to collect? No, I... You know, we're just gonna use the rope. Where... Other items. Life gives you lemons. There we go. Oh yeah, it's because it's uh, it's actually getting lighter in the day, so evening setting in. It's actually getting darker. I can't remember if that's how it operated in Sword and Shield. I felt like in Sword and Shield it just got dark, like immediately. Can't remember. Oh, God's alive again. Damn it, I... <laughs> Alright, well, we'll get him killed. Let's go to the gym. <laughs> John, thank you for the tier tree. Oh, John, thank you for subbing. Sorry. Thank you for subbing all the same. Mr. Mustache, thank you for the tier tree. Okay, God's gotta go down again. Oh, 
so sad. Wait. What's going on? Why are you there in the party? I, I thought he was in the lead. Well, this won't do. <laughs> I swapped myself. Oh, okay. I did that wrong then. Oh no, is this gonna be another torturous one? <laughs> what just hit me? Oh, this is actually gonna get really dangerous. Oh no, 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 no. no. I hope Pip loves faster. God is dead. Yeah, we're faster. We're good. Oh, thank God for that. That could have been scary. Balance has been restored. <laughs> Keep them at the front. And we gotta remember that second position is actually the lead of our party. Okay, let's go. If he reaches level 7, you need to restart the game. <laughs> So stupid. We could have like an actual like additional Pokemon in the team or something. Could be the only like st strategic Pokemon team where one of the Pokemon is permanently dead. And Jefferson is just cleaning up here. Oh my God. <laughs> Coming so strong. Okay, let's go. Welcome, this is the Orb Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roark, the gym leader. Um, but one trainer decided to walk proudly or rock type Pokemon. Gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Here we go. Got a Geodude. This isn't the scary one that I remember. Okay, water gun. Pretty good start. Uh, you know, we'll teach. We haven't used reset even once, but it's level 12, so sure thing, we'll teach it that. Magikarp is level 10. Abra's level 11. Jesus. Sending out Onyx. This water gun. <laughs> Call me the one hit wonder. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much already there. Let's just use a pound. That's fine if he's using the potion. We can just use pound and then water gun. Oh, it didn't heal all the way. Should use water gun. Just give it an old slap. Jefferson putting in work. Okay, scary one. I think you take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones. Granados. This is the menacing one I remember. It's got stronger attacks and can actually hit you really hard. It's already half dead. I 
I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't think there's... Oh, it's faster! Well, we spoke a little too soon. Now we're in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, does rock resist electricity? I, I don't know. Bulldoze? When did I get that one? Oh shit! When did I get that? Still got a headbutt. Jesus! Yeah, this, this is the one I remember. Wing attack. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Wing attack. That was a critical hit. Oh shit, I think we're gonna lose in the first gym. All I've got is a magic app that knows splash and an Abra that knows teleport. <laughs> How has this happened? <laughs> Quickly, teleport Abra! <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, of course he's gonna use his one status move on the fucking Magikarp, so we just have to stay here a while longer. Get him, Magikarp! <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> you were overwhelmed by your defeat. What was that camera angle? <laughs> Is that a glitch? Well, God's alive again. Can't believe that. Good luck, trainer. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. Alright, well... I don't know who to bring, like, in case we get in trouble, maybe a Geodude, I guess? But slightly better than Magikarp? Oh god, we can go to Route 207, we can get another battle or something. Oh, actually, no, we can't. We can't go up that way either. Forgot that they have the bike slopes in this one again. We can just pick up a Machop. Okay, God's gotta die again. <laughs> there he goes. Bit faster this time. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna use Wing Attack, because Wing Attack will probably kill it, so use Quick Attack instead. There we go. Just bench God and use an actual Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, what is this guy doing? He keeps playing with a dead Bidoof on his team. Oh, the berries are back like they were before. Oh, no, that means you gotta tend to them all. Oh. Actually takes forever to do. I 
Go Jefferson. No, we, we, we should be all right. I think we can get him this time. Dad can become a gardener. <laughs> Uh, Kia, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, the game's been fun so far. Some weird changes in it. Okay, let's do this again. Round two. This is gonna be the only guy who beats us. No more. Get him, Jeff. Just want to train a bit longer at the gym, you know? Good workouts never complete. You gotta push yourself. Jefferson's even more powerful. You can learn Peck. That's actually pretty good. Uh, he has Charm. I actually lowers the att target's attack stat. That's actually better than Growl. Look at Jefferson go. It doesn't stand a chance this time. Watch and learn. Not gonna make the, the potion mistake here too. And we're gonna get the tactical quick, quick clock. We have a Geodude in case we get in a lot of trouble. I should, should have probably taken the Machop. <laughs> Just in case. All right, here's the smart play. Use your charm, Jefferson. As long as he doesn't get a crit. We're in the clear. Alright, <laughs> let me... Let me whip out one of these bad boys. <laughs> oh, God. I'm being humiliated by this guy. He lost once. Despite having the water starter on the first gym. Oh my god. He used items in the battle as well. Jesus Christ, you suck. <laughs> Crit flinch. I'm that guy who's just tossing, like, using like 40 potions to like survive in Pokemon. I'm the worst kind of player right now. Get him! What the fuck? How many flinches can you get? That's stupid! Hit him! Thank you! Yeah, that's how it... There you go. It wasn't even a crit. It wasn't even a crit. It's dead. That was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Geodude wants to learn rollout. Geodude are probably never going to use you. Uh, but knock yourself out. That, that was... It, it kept getting, like, crit flinches. That was so stupid. This is embarrassing. Yeah, you're telling me, Rock. <laughs> oh, and lost to a trader who didn't have a single gym badge. That's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. Or in the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you've beaten me. There we go. One down.
We can now use Rock Smash. And we get TM76s. Oh, Stell Rock is back in this one, yeah. I obtained stickers! Oh! Uh... I guess we can just apply them whenever? DM with each move to Pokemon instantly, but it'll break. Can I apply stickers yet? I, I haven't got, like, the capsule things for them, as far as I know. Okay, let me check the team. I can heal Jefferson without healing God. There we go. Okay, we got Rock Smash now. Uh, I need to just go on to the next town, I think. Literally going out of the way to not use a Pokemon Center. We'll use them when we have to, but at the moment, we should be okay for now. Stock up on Super Potions. Stock up on more potions. Take two of them. And then the main one here, I think, is poison to worry about. The paralysis, kind of a bit behind it. Spend most of that. Okay, uh, let's get going. Thud. Whoops, Dad, you got the gym badge, huh? Turn City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? Yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. And my team battling tough on them up, so it wasn't a waste. I'm going back to Jubilife. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. He's going. Zooming away. Can now use Rock Smash. A wild Bidoof helped. That's kind of cute, so it's just gonna like pull a random Pokemon, is it? Or is it just always Bidoof? <laughs> Seems to always be Bidoof. God's cousin. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you have the bike. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, there's the bits you can only explore with bikes in this one. Bag of Stardust. Jefferson's all good. Uh, we can just... I'm not, I'm not too fussed with those ones. I think we'll have enough trainer battles. Could be alright. That's the only item we can get there right now. It's always, it, like, it's just a Bidoof. At least for Rock Smash. A friendly neighbor. The hand of God. Works in mysterious ways. Right, we need to hop on back here. And then head up this way. Oh. Ah, Dad. Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? Approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research finds. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Seems like a good deal. Dad, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. I say no again. <laughs> oh, we've been teleported into space. Okay, let's get him. I'm sure I used Ember. Oh, yeah, I probably should have just let them target it. This is while I'm slower. 
I read that as Team Garlic. Not quite. Different evil to organization. I think that, that was super effective. That did two damage. How weak is that Zubat? It does double. It, it's doing double if it's super effective. Must have only been one. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Team Galactic is defeated. I was as mad as possible. The two of us losing the children. Hey, that's dad and a child to you. Don't do time to retreat. The mission is, is a failure. Oh, Burby's evolving already. That was really quick. I feel like I haven't even been using Burby that much. Hey, Burby's gonna be unbelievably strong now. Already evolved. Staravia. The bigger Burby. Fly around forests and fields and search a bug Pokemon moving together in huge flocks. Okay, Team Galactic, benevolent to all. They're gonna hop on. So they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Dad, well done. Battle quite capably. Seeing you train to battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident. My decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Dad, did you know? The rest of studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon is somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So, Dad, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the Professor. I feel like I'm helping her with her homework. Oh! Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing! You guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. That was like a breath of fresh air! Anyway, my name's Beeb, and I work as a system administrator in Hartome City, east of here. And was thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give these ball capsules to you. Now you can use capsule decoration feature. Uh, on the ball capsules. Customize, uh, your own- yeah, you can place stickers. That's cool. Give you an edge in the con in the contest too. I give that to you earlier then. I don't remember that being so soon. Let's see if we can apply one. Uh, do I do it on my PC? Is accessing Dad's PC? What would you like to do? Okay, play sticker. What have we got? Not not too many. I can just like Flora. I can just release stones. I think that's the one we got from beating the gym leader. Just, just, what if we just put it all on? Just load this thing up. Fire. Okay, we get two more. Make some smoke. There we go. Uh, select Pokemon. Try this with Jefferson. There we go. He's got his own special ball. I'm amazed that lets you play so many. I don't remember what the limit was back in the day. It's just so many particle effects. Just stacking them. Okay. 
Okay, we can finally go deeper into here now. We might as well get whatever's off to the left. If we can. <laughs> what friendly wild Badoof. Okay, here we go. Go, Jefferson! <laughs> yeah, it's just like kind of vomits everything. Doesn't even look that nice. Like Jefferson just rolls out of the Pokeball. <laughs> God, am I only gonna get one of these as I go as well? Rock Tomb, yeah. Oh, I, I really don't know how I feel about going back to this like these days of TMs. I got five for beating the gym, but I imagine those are the only copies of Stealth Rock in the game. I really don't don't know about that one. That was a cool, like, quality of life thing from Gen 5 on. That was just the extreme. You raise different kinds of Pokemon. Only one type of Pokemon you have a hard time against types is weak to. I have a penguin, a bird, and God himself. It should be okay. Okay, flower battles. You can get mystery gift if you go to the TV station. Okay, I'll um, I'll head back there in a while then. We should be okay for now. Send Jefferson on out. We can just peck. And we kill it in one go. Pretty straightforward. I think Jefferson evolved now as well. Everything is getting so strong. Cherubi. Uh, this one, I'm gonna switch the bird we on. Oh, we have uh, Intimidate now on uh, Burby. That's actually really good. I forgot this gets that. Okay. Here's an evolution. Getting stronger. Local flock of birds kill woman's babies. Oh no. <laughs> Don't phrase it that way. That sounds kind of bad. Okay, he looks more like Jefferson now. Actually does look a lot like Jefferson. <laughs> it's wonderful. Lives alone away from others. Apparently every one of them believes it is the most important. You're my most important, Jefferson. Hey, he gets Metal Claw at this level too. <laughs> uh, sure thing. We'll just forget Pound for that. Uh, foreshadow in there. What's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Where's his tank? He'll get his tank, yes, don't worry. I'm gonna give him a suit of armor. <laughs> Jefferson in a prawn suit by the final evolution. Jesus Christ, he's quite strong. <laughs> These poor trainers. The Wurmples are just being sent out to die right now. Back it. Oh, we got our first double battle, too. We're the strongest in our class. We've one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? 
going to destroy these people. It's poor twins. Yeah, you want to play Pokemon? Oh, they actually do. Ha they are super effective against my main two teammates. Might actually be in trouble. <laughs> Uh, we do need to get something that kind of resists, like, electric types. We're having a little bit of trouble against those ones. Okay, they seem to have forgotten that they're electric types. Thank God. We're okay. Gonna be in the clip. I think if we swap them, we'll do enough? God, I hope so. There we go. You already have Geodude and Onyx? Ah, but those guys are lame. I don't want them. I, I hope we get something cool that we can use. You know? Geodude's just like a stone with arms. Onyx is just several stones in the line. We'll get something cooler later. The beauty's in their simplicity. They're just like... It's like... Geodude's like though someone just like got a permanent marker and just drew a face on a stone. And just like called it a day. <laughs> just not the coolest. Here, yeah, dude, looks like a meatball. <laughs> Here, uh, Burby, I'll let you kill some more. Why, hello there. Like you played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? Oh, okay, right! <laughs> sure! Cool! I'm sure it'll be a good partner to you. Oh, you there. I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Do you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it'd be perfect for you. Yeah, here's a Jirachi. <laughs> so if we just not don't want to try anymore, we could just use these Pokemon for the rest of the game. <laughs> I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. Cool, thanks. This is pretty extreme. <laughs> level one and level five. Timid nature is what well. I think that's the perfect nature for it. Oh my god, it's gonna be aggressive. Docile, not quite for for a Jirachi. That's wild that they just give them to you there. That's actually so funny. Just use them. No, like, I, I'm not- I can't be the guy who just, like, uses a Jirachi to beat the game. <laughs> like, we gotta use a dead Bidoof instead. Yeah, we gotta go to Eterna City next. Oh, the online station is open now for business. Hello, right this way, please. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Tila, and I'm your guide to the Pokemon Global Club. If you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can use the internet to connect with trainers all over the world in this club to battle trade Pokemon and so on. Well, they have to update that detail since the original Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> You give us money, you can do stuff down here. 
My immersion is ruined. Let's see. Cats Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by honey. Oh, uh, Munchlax is a pain to get by the honey. He's like got very specific trees in the region. You're better off just kind of breeding for one. Plant some flowers. Galactic guys went up to the meadow. Do you know about Cressidia flowers? The Kuna's bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. Okay, so that's for shame in sky form, I think. Uh, can I get past them? Oh, they seem kind of spooked. I can take the berries, I believe. And replant them too. Oh, uh, so we're back to like the kind of archaic way of getting the berries in. You gotta pick each individual one and plant each individual one, I think. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get berries. I need, a, I need a, like a squirt bottle, I think, or a spray duck in this one. Yeah, there we go. Now I can water him. And this lady gives you a free berry every day. You to exchange your berries for stickers. That's cute. Except I can't... I don't know if that's the final... Is that the final design of him? Might be. That's cute. This is something you can trade him in for. Water it. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that for every berry as we encounter it. Otherwise, the berry economy in the world just just runs out after a certain point. Chesto berries. Gonna have to do a lot of gardening on this adventure. Realistic gardening. It is. I mean, it's cute that this is back to the way it was before. Like, not walk left or right? Oh no, they even took out that quality of life change. <laughs> There was a quality of life change introduced in some Pokemon games where, like, you water them and then you can step left or right to water all of them faster. They got rid of it. <laughs> like, why? Why would you do that? I don't understand it. it, it it's fascinating. Keep going. Can you get my papa for me? He works at Valley Windworks. Okay, a, a fellow dad is in trouble. Or Valley Windworks even, not Windworks. Yeah, let's take him on. Got a cat. Get him, Burby. Good battle. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like we're a bit powerful. I know the first gym knocked us down a peg or two, but outside of that, isn't that just great? Get great, getting owned by some kid. Can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. But you'll never find them. <laughs> In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Let's lock the door. Alright. 
Nothing really over there, as far as I can see. Uh, back to the old flower patch. Go for a quick old stroll. It's like, I don't even know what their plan is here. For some reason, they get really worked up because they, they just want honey to attract Pokemon. But it's like, you you find Pokemon way more efficiently by just wandering into grass. <laughs> Please, we just want to encounter a Munchlax. We know how rare they are. Shouldn't have there been a drift loon outside the windworks? Oh, I see someone hasn't read the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl strategy guide for Nintendo DS. Uh, cause drift loon only appears after you beat Team Galactic. You'd know that if you bought the strategy guide, like I did back in the day. I have that on like a shelf somewhere here. It was like two of them. We have a fake gamer on our hands. So lame, they're gonna dock my pay. Oh, we gotta fight them one at a time, okay. If you guys teamed up, you'd probably stand a better chance against me, but... I mean, I'm happy just to get the experience. Uh, just wing attack. <laughs> Good battle. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, this brat's tough, like, really tough. To get her, like, tougher than I can put into words. I know a lot of words. We're done for now. Okay, they're going home. We saved you, Mr. Honey. Oh, thanks for the key, too. Very convenient that I left this here. They were weird, though. Okay, here's a jar of honey. Ladder on a sweet smelling tree, and you can attract a Pokemon. So here's like a yellow tree. Put honey on it. And then what you do, I think you come back later in the day. And if it's rustling, you found something. Yeah, it's like six hours. So it's going to be a while before we can check on that tree. Probably check it back on it like tomorrow or something. I leave it for now. Nine hour stream, let's go. Like, yep, yeah, I, I can't end the stream now until uh, the honey is collected. <laughs> We're in it for the long run. <laughs> We're not allowed. No one's allowed to leave. I use the works key. No way! <laughs> Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. Okay, there they go. No bathroom breaks either. Yeah, you're not. If you don't, if you didn't bring like a drink with you, you're not allowed to leave. You're here until the end. You think you can miss a moment of my Twitch.tv stream? I hope Dan realizes God isn't getting XP while fainted. Oh no, I absolutely do. But we're keeping him fainted. I'm fully aware.
Jefferson's getting stronger. Can we use the bathroom we bring our whole computer set up with us? Dude, just watch a stream in a phone. Like... <laughs> That, that's what the four. <laughs> or the Switch. Oh, yeah, we have Twitch on the Switch now. Heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now get ready. Yeah, Twitch for Switch is a thing. Forgot about that. Probably much more difficult to type on. But it's cool that it's there. We got any- we got any switchers in chat? Anyone watching on the Nintendo device? No, real fans of the stream are watching it on Nintendo 3DS. Be real here. They don't have chat. Yeah, it's like, you got any switchers here? Let's give them five minutes to type their message in chat. It is gonna take some time. <laughs> Oh, resets evolved. Cool. Real gamers have their setup on the toilet. Oh, Jesus. How do I evolve Lu uh, Luxio? Is it just a uh, level? Or is it stone? I haven't used this thing once. I don't know if I'll need to. Here's the commander. It's level 30. Cool. Thanks. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's the art style, but your head's just fucking massive. Like, it's bigger than your body. We're try trying to create a new world that's better than this one. People have showed a uh, little understanding about what we do. You don't understand, do you? It's a little saddening. Let's have a battle to decide what we, sh we should do next. I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Why don't you just use force? There's like four of you here. Okay, Commander Mars. We're, we're in space again. I like how it's space, except for like the galactic brand carpet. Uh, that someone's plopped down there. <laughs> How do I know this is our space? Let's paint this real quick. Oh, it's using U-turn. Oh, poor ugly. I forgot about this one. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Dude, I thought this was your strategy. You're the one who used U-turn. Oh, Burby. Oh, I... Yeah, Jefferson, you're up. Should be able to tank it better. I think we just go for water gun because stab. Oh no, it's gonna steal my quick claw. Try to. Trying to steal. No, I got it. <laughs> okay, water gun. No! <laughs> Looks like you have nothing left to steal. Oh, god damn it. It's, it's got the quick claw, too. I don't know if I was faster. Going to reset. Trying to steal everything. 
Okay, reset's actually gonna fight this battle. One attack of the run. Wait and see. We might never use it again. <laughs> Burby stronger. Do you do an Abra? I think Abra evolves soon, so that should be good. I'll be able to do something. Oh, it's gonna get a second attack! Spoke too soon. We're in the clear. Oops, I messed that one up. It's alright though, I quite enjoyed our battle. It's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. We didn't need this power station anyway. Imagine losing to a 12 year old child and it's like, wow, they lost hundreds of thousands of our investment on our projects. Massively set back. Like, just, you have enough guards. Grab me by the shoulders. Get me out of there. Creating a new universe, so they claim. Nothing said they made any. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you for saving me. I finally, see my little daughter again. Papa, yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Well, sorry to have you working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. The balloon Pokemon will come visit again. Okay, right, another dad safe. Can I not use the vending machine? Nope. Okay, that's a bit odd. Okay, well, uh, Galactic is gone. They've left here too. Uh, so we can just move on. I'm gonna have to heal though, which means that God is gonna be brought back to life for a while. It'll be okay. We will. We will rebuild. Uh, where do I? Can I catch a Bud Dew on the next route? I would like to get a Bud Dew if I can. I just haven't seen one. It's one of these routes that you can get them. I believe... It should be here? Drifloon should actually appear now, I thought. Maybe it's just because we only just did it? it has to be 6pm, but... It is 6 p.m. Drifloon's only on Fridays, but it is Friday. Do I have to wait till next week? Oh, that's a shame. Did I, like, have I just missed it by, like, a minute? It's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. it appears. Oh, god damn it, you're kidding me. One minute. <laughs> well, as always, next week. Have to keep going. Week long stream, let's go. <laughs> Damn, I wanted a drift loon too. Okay, we might be able to do some cheeky time travel. Um come tomorrow. I might I might reset the clock then. So we can get it. We'll keep going for now. God's defense is harshly fallen. Okay, do your best, God. <laughs> Please it's getting easier for him to die. Okay, God's dead again. Send in Jefferson.
He'll be okay from here. You only allow time travel if you have diamond. If you have pearl, you can only space travel. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. If you have platinum, um, you can only like dive into a black hole. Explore any matter. Have fun. Keep on going. No mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. We're on a mountain. Yes. You had platinum, you cry. Is experience share as broken as usual in this game? Yeah, it's the same one from the last few ones. The backgrounds are very pretty here. I do like that they actually have new scenery. Okay. Oh, is this going to be like 5 Geodude guy? There's always one of these. There's like a 5, there's like a 6 Magikarp guy. And there's always that one guy with a bunch of Geodudes. He shows up every game. Green's chair is broken, says the guy that lost to the first gym. <laughs> If I make any comment now on this game's, like, difficulty... Like, okay, first gym die guy. <laughs> the rich coming from you, ain't it? No one's gonna let it go. I just don't know how I feel about the game's balance in terms of TMs. You know, they're back to single use. Okay, first gym die guy. Alright. You say whatever you want to say. God, everything I say has been invalidated. You're not allowed to have an opinion anymore. <laughs> Oh, I used the wrong move, too. No, I was looking at chat. Yeah, okay, select the wrong move, guy. You see how it is. Does this guy even know what a Pokemon is? There we go. Are you even a gamer? <laughs> Okay, look at chat guy. <laughs> Your credibility lays dead alongside God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Yo, it's just. It's just your old man dad joking with you, you know? Just pulling all your legs. Just how, just how I have some of my fun. Okay, Mr. Dad Joke Guy. <laughs> That's not a Bud I need to get a Bud I want one. I love Rose Raid. The humor is as non-existent as God's ability to live. Okay, these are getting kind of personal now, guys. <laughs> it's getting a bit personal. Another fight then. Abra's evolving now too. Maybe we can actually use Abra for something. Like 
actually quite a strong Pokemon at this point in the game. Kadabra learned Confusion. It can actually attack now, too. Uh, I think more people here are using stuff that's like... Yeah, Burby's good against more stuff here. I think. Pokeball. Gonna laugh when Stan threatens to take this game offline? What, what, what do you mean? I don't own the servers for this game. Becoming independent, we're no longer under your dictatorship rule to get cold frosties. I don't know how true that is. My dad works for Nintendo and it'll shut the game down. It's like, if you don't, I'll stop making fun of me. <laughs> like, oh. I'll send the game back. My dad works for Nintendo, you know. He can do that. There was like so, there was like one kid in every playground that was like, dad works for Nintendo guy. I think there was like a rumor in like the playground, like back when I was in school, that like, I think you can unlock Waluigi or something in Super Mario 64. That was a big one. And of course, there was all the Pokemon ones. I remember one big one that I focused on is like uh, the zone called Pattern Bush in Fire Red and Leaf Green. And a bunch of us were convinced like the pattern shows something. And if you can translate it, you get Mew. No idea why it's Mew. Just what we heard. I remember spending like hours like trying to like map it out and figure it out. There was nothing there. There was like one there was one area called Altering Cave, I remember too. Where it's like, yeah, you can unlock like secret Pokemon there. Turns out Altering Cave was just like a unfinished leftover for unlocking certain Pokemon that they didn't actually implement in the game. So it's like, oh. He's like kid me trying to like decipher what it all means. Conspiracy theories. It's not it's game dev ten years like, yeah, we didn't finish that bit. <laughs> we'll probably get some of like the, the playground rumors in this game. This game actually has a lot of them. This game has some like the spooky stuff with ghosts in it. There's like no online sources when people were playing this back in the day, so it's like what, whatever people said, it's just like, yep, that's 100% fact. Like, Cerebi was still kinda new back then. Uh, it was only like catching on more so. That's like a standard resource. I saw Missigno back then. Oh, Jefferson wants Bubble Beam. That's like even stronger bubble. Let's see, what, what's the power? Like 40? 65. Perfect. Do we want to start like a rumor for like the new games, but like in, in the internet era? Can't verify it whatsoever. But we just want to spread it like wildfire and see if people catch on. Uh, I, I, to the idea. What, what, what rumor do we want to spread for the remakes? Yes, sex doesn't exist. What does that have to do with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? <laughs> Golden Bidoof. So, there's actually like a Sinnoh version of Bidoof. Uh, but you can only get it if you defeat like a hundred Bidoofs in battle. And it's a shiny Bidoof too. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I'm like, you can actually unlock Pokemon Platinum in the new Pokemon games. That's right, it's all there. Uh, what you have to do is you have to beat the game using Giratina uh, while it's like 3 a.m. And then when you beat Cynthia, she will say, congratulations. But then she's actually the ghost from the house. And th then, pla then Platinum starts. Perfect. That'd be like, that's a perfect playground room. Exactly how they would go. And it's like four different clauses of plausibility, but it goes so fast, you have no time to dwell on any single one bit of it. Like before you're even debating about Platinum, it's like you're also debating about Ghost Cynthia and like beating her at 3 a.m. Like there's so many terms and conditions. And even Giratina. Uh, knock yourself out, Gia, dude. Rotom vending machine form dispense infinite lemonades. Yeah, so Rotom actually has a secret six form uh, outside of the appliances. You can actually give him in a vending machine. What you have to do is you have to go to the broken, the haunted floor of the department store at 3 a.m. Always needs to be at 3 a.m. or something like that. It's just the era we live in. And then it needs to be holding a, a, a ghost tag. If you do it right, a little sound effect jingle will play. And that's how you get Mew. <laughs> like, the thing I love about most of the player rooms is like they wildly escalate to make it more exciting. Like getting Mew will be stuck in almost every one of them. Like, even, like for no reason. Why would a developer include something like that just for real, just the best with folks? But the thing is, that did kind of exist back in the day. Because think about it, right? Here's a playground rumor. Yeah, so you can actually catch a different form of Badoof. All you gotta do is kill like it if you all you gotta do is kill eight hundred of them in the wild. And then it'll show up. Like Think about how Pokemon lends itself to some of the playground rumors when you think about the fact that shiny Pokemon exist. If the internet was not a thing, you think people are just making it up. And the thing is, because shiny Pokemon are real, if you don't understand what shiny Pokemon are, you could add terms and conditions to that based on how you got it. You have to do it at 3 a.m. On a Tuesday. And that's how the, that's how a lot of like the rumors like actually got going. Like, here's another plausible one, right? And just think about it, like, yeah, so if you go to the haunted house after you beat the Elite Four, uh, and if you interact with the TV at nine in the evening, there's actually this Pokemon that comes out of it. Doesn't sound real in the slightest. Completely legitimate encounter in this game. There's just absolutely no reason to go back to like the haunted house. But if you do, there there is actually like an odd event. I'm mad. Pokerus too. Yeah, Pokerus would be like a weird one. Yeah, my Pokemon got a virus. I think it's something to do with getting Mew. <laughs> Always to do with getting Mew. Constantly. It all goes back to Mew. What's going on here? You can get your return of fires by yourself. Oh no, don't let me rest! No, I, 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 I. God's fine how he is. Gotta keep God as he is. Poison types there. I think you can just walk around the side of this when you get cut too. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, this encounter. I forgot about her. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are. Oh, so your name is Dash. 
I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Dad, may I ask you a big favor? <laughs> Want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of do it, doing it alone. I heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think we'll, there'll be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? No say in it. Let's keep Cheryl true here. Zoop. <laughs> Zooms. Pokemon got poisoned and now it can't battle. Really want to warn you about getting antidotes. Can I catch Budu in the forest? I still really want to get a Budu. Oh, we're back to, um... It's a fun little tidbit. For evolving Eevee into Leafeon, you have to level up in this forest. They changed that so Eevee now evolves with a Leaf Stone. But I guess we'll revert it back for this one. She'll revive God? Oh no. There's a Budu at least. She hasn't revived God just yet, so we should be okay. I, I, I want to catch a Budu. Rose Ray is one of the coolest Pokemon in this gen. Get rid of Wurmple. Okay, life to. I don't know if that move was in the game back then. And his HP is full. The Burby's gonna be healed. Uh, if I hit it with tackle, only that's gonna kill. I'm worried if Chansey's gonna hit it too. Oh sh! Oh, I think that's gonna kill it. Chansey, no! It's okay, I didn't want that bud you anyway. Didn't like that one. <laughs> Getting better. Oh no! <laughs> God's back. She's gonna heal after every battle then, so that means God God is going to gain experience in this forest. God's gonna get I, I there's nothing I can do here. I I gotta run. I can run. God now has insomnia, okay. We've gotta get out of here. God's speed is falling. Come on, we just need to just run. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we, we do have a problem here. God is gonna gain experience no matter what we do. Oh, we have Tabox's ability now, too. Oh, that's handy. Okay, we'll keep God in there for now. Uh, and we'll just take a Jirachi for the time being. Seems fair. Uh, no, we won't take... Take Magic Act again. Uh, Kadabra won't evolve unless I trade. I'm gonna be smart about, like, experience here. Like, let's try to get, like, as much Pokedex completion as we can. Kadabra won't evolve without trading. So, let's just try go for a Golbat next. No, let's try go for a um, Machoke. Yeah. Cause they'll all gain passive experience now. Get the Manaphy Egg. I haven't got Mystery Gift yet. I'll go back and do that another day. Just a ways to head back. Okay, God, God has been shelved for a while. Just because he is going to be healed after every fight otherwise. Should be okay. Poor train is the ten levels lower already. Oh, 
we'll get some experience from Machop. Got him, Chansey. Is Chansey fairy type now? I can't remember. I don't think so. Kill that one. Just normal. Cool. Every I, <laughs> I feel like every battle I'm getting like ten level ups across the board. It's actually kind of wild how fast they're going. Uh, attack is higher than special attack here. We'll go physical attacker, yeah. I think it's better in the long run. Everything is powerful now. Diamond voice is a fairy moves of fairies in the game. Okay. I'd be surprised if fairy type wasn't added to this. It'd just be feel kind of weird. I don't know if I'll ever get another new Pokemon type. I don't think there's any need for another one now. The fairy was just brought in as a check for like Dragon more than anything. It feels pretty fair. Oh. Yeah, all right, Burby. The god type. Well, here's another playground rumor then. Yeah, there's actually a light type in the game. Uh, you have to beat like 700 Bidoofs. And then the 701st Bidoof will be the light type. I think it's the key for getting Mew. Paralyze. Let me get God for doom. Five degrees of how does this rumor relate back to Mew? But it always it, it always gets the Mew. Not a playground rumor unless it has something to do with him. Wait, what? Did I not pay attention? When did I become unparalyzed? Well, I'm paralyzed again! <laughs> yeah, just game sense, I really wanted to have this experience. Oh my god. First gym die guy. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's just use potion real quick. Not gonna get us anymore. Uh. <laughs> What are the odds of that even inflicting paralysis? Like, that seems quite high. It seems quite high. <sighs> Alright, uh, learn low sleep. Sure. Playground rumor, if you have saved data from Let's Go, you can get a Mew from an NPC. That would be a playground rumor, too. Yeah, so if you get Pikachu in this game, and you go to Flora Hamatown and talk to the lady, she gives you Mew. <laughs> no joke? Like, yes, you're right! Almighty. 
You're doing your best, Burby. The trainer of Pokemon Bond is one. Wondrous power is born. I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. Now we got this. I thought that Mirage Island was a rumor for years. Yeah, Mirage Island's actually real. That was another one back in the day. Yeah, so if you talk to the old man in the seaside town, and he's looking out the window, and he says that he can't see Mirage Island, but if you talk to him like 400 days in a row, then he'll say that he can see it, and then you get a new kind of berry. Actually, completely legitimate. More or less how it works. Does not sound real in the slightest. Wonderful. Playground rumor if you trade with someone for Mew, you get Mew. <laughs> I don't know if that's a rumor as much. I feel like that's just a transaction. <laughs> Inkay's evolution sounds like a playground rumor turning your 3DS upside down. Yeah, that's actually true! <laughs> that's a real weird one, ain't it? You gotta hold the console upside down to evolve this. I think you still have to turn it upside down, even on Switch, to get NK. <laughs> Which is, like, absolutely wild. Wait, that's true. Yes, there's a Pokémon that only evolves if you're holding your console upside down. Like, it sounds like such a shit post, But it's actually how it works. Generation 6 Squid Pokemon, yep. Uh, Burmy? Not super effective against Burmy? I thought it was. Oh, I haven't hit a Burmy yet. That's why. It doesn't tell you off the bat. How does the console know? It's got a gyroscope in it. So I will check if it's not being held upside down. And if it's not, you can't complete the Pokedex. There's like loads like that. There's one Pokemon where it's like you have to have an empty spot in your party and a Pokeball. And when it evo evolves, it evolves into two Pokemon. Which is <laughs> like just weird. So many like that. You hold it sideways, does it only half evolve? You like turn it like straight right way up again. Inke has stopped evolve. Here does a branch evolution of Inke where you have to throw your console out the window. <laughs> and then it evolves into Mew. You know, we're turning consoles upside down to evolve Pokemon on that, like... It makes me kind of understand that crowd that thought you have to microwave your iPhone to, like, get a new update. That makes it microwave-proof. Yeah, you have to put your Nintendo Switch in the microwave and then you get a new Fire-type Pokemon. Make sure it's set to three minutes. <laughs> do not do that. But like, with some of like the contrived Pokemon mechanics we've had through the years, it makes me understand those people more. You get a new Rotom form? <laughs> oh, that's actually terrible, because there is kind of like a Rotom microwave form. It's like Rotom Easy Bake Oven is one of them. Oh no. But it actually is fire type. Yeah, so to evolve Rodom, you gotta stick it in the appliance to get the right form. So you put it in the fridge, it becomes Fridge Rodom. 
you stick it in the microwave, it becomes microwave Rodon. If you stick it in a lawnmower... <laughs> you just put it in the washing machine. Put it in like a desk fan. <laughs> Oh, good God. So don't actually do this, please. <laughs> like... Oh. <laughs> you imagine you're playing, like, Pokemon Go or something, you catch Rotom, and it's like, we have this new- because of the new phone form factor, it allowed for a lot of creative space into how to actually evolve Rotom. Because you can pick up the phone and put it anywhere. Wait, is this not a double battle? Why am I only fighting the one guy? <sighs> when Gen 4 came out, I thought Rotom was a legendary since it's right with the rest of them in the decks. Oh, I thought it was too, honestly. It's kind of like a pseudo-legendary, though. But it's like, it was, no, because I think pseudo legendary refers to Dragonite in them, but it's like, in terms of, it's a very rare Pokemon with a very unique encounter chance. Kind of like Silva, uh, Silvali and stuff like that. It has the legendary battle music, does it? Why didn't those people battle me at the same time? Like, yeah, Zorua, I think, is one of them, too. It's like an odd, like, event of a Pokemon. It's called Mystical, I think. No, I think Mystical is reserved for, like, Mew and Celebi and Jirachi and all them ones. Like, Mystical means that it's not in the base game, usually. We call those type of Pokemon fabulous Pokemon in French. This one is fabulous. Volcarona in black and white. Yeah, like Volcarona, Zorak. Like, there's a good few of them. They're not legendaries, but they have, like, very specific encounters. They're a unique, like, kind of classification of Pokemon, probably. Sometimes they call, like, interactable ones, I think, just because they have the event trigger. This game, I think the, the, the main one is Roshan. I think that's the only one. Oh, we made it through. Carol's gonna leave us. There's the exit. I'm so relieved. Well, that wasn't hard at all. I've never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Dad. See you later, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, there, there's the haunted house, so we can't go up there yet. We gotta get the next HM. I think if you go back here... Yep. There's like more trees. I think there's like an item or something you can unlock over there. Uh, we'll battle all the fishermen next, I guess. Get more XP. Surprisingly wholesome with the name there. Well, like being called Dad is not only going to be cursed. Can I actually have some proper bonding time with our kids? No, no, thank you, Dad. No problem, my child. Oh, God. Go catch yourself a bud, you Nada. The, the healer is gone. Oh, yeah, I can go back into the woods. I can get God back on the team. Let's open up storage. How you doing, God? Uh, see you later, Gia, dude. Right, we gotta send him out again to die. Uh, we'll get God killed just first. Talk to this fisherman. 
Oh no, this is the magic cap fisherman. I can't get God won't die. It's impossible. It's impossible. Oh no. <laughs> I I don't think there's any possible way to do it. We're just gonna use splash. Oh god damn it. Right, I guess God's getting some XP. <laughs> God is momentarily alive again. <laughs> Struggle with it. No, but one of the moves is an attacking move. It'll kill them. No way. Uh, well, God's gonna get some tasty XP here. Hopefully won't be too much at least. Because they are just magic cards. It's always this one trainer. God's level 7 now. <laughs> Damn it, and this is- he has six of them as well, so this is gonna be a fair few levels. Run's been ruined. This one trainer. Time to reset, we gotta start over. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let God grow, feed him the power he deserves. Feeding God doesn't quite sound right. It sounds quite menacing. It's like sacrificing a person. Because we are sacrificing a bunch of fish. Need to catch a new God. <laughs> Wait, do we release, like, do we release this one? <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, God, we gotta let you go. <laughs> We've just become too powerful. He's tainted. Talk to another fisherman. Please don't be another magic harp guy. God damn it! <laughs> These fishermen are gonna ruin us. Well, I think the keeping God God dead run is over. It's been sabotaged uh, by the Magic Carp trainers. There's nothing we can do. God is unfortunately alive again and will continue to be alive going forward. Treat him to get Jesus! <laughs> We'll get him in the Pokemon daycare later. Ugh. <laughs> uh, so we gotta get another Bidoof named Mary, right? We leave Mary and God in the Pokemon daycare. Now, nothing happens whatsoever. But Mary lays an egg. <laughs> and thus we'll have Jesus. Perfect. <laughs> let's let's like learn the Bible with like Pokemon and just the wrong metaphors. <laughs> That's all this is. They didn't remaster Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. They remastered the Bible. <laughs> the Bible too. It's bigger and better than ever. Including New Testaments. From the book of Luke, of Luke. Oh god. Pokemon Brilliant Bible. <laughs> uh. yeah, let's take a potion.
Okay, we're gonna let God live from here then. Yep, he's no longer going to need to die. Uh, we will keep him as a Bidoof though. So he will he will watch on from the shadows, okay? And that means we have two other Pokemon that we can raise at any one point in time for experience. Oh. Cool. You guys pre-ordered the second coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta actually talk to them too. We need to get all the Poke chaps. Uh, they actually do have handy features in this one. Right, now we can just check friendship. Underground man's house digging down for adventure. Oh, can we just unlock this now? And the first one to start digging out the grand underground. And call me the underground man. Everyone does. Right, there's a gift to you. Hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Explorer kit, we can already go. Use the Explorer Kit from your bag's key items pocket to visit the Grand Underground. Let me mentor you to become a full-fledged Spelunker. Just follow my lead. First, go to the Grand Underground. The underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explorer Kit. Can't be used indoors or in a cave. Oh, he's doing it for me. Teeny hole open. Hello there. Hey, Dad. This is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. The network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Oh, what am I doing in this expanse of a place? It's kind of hard to answer. You can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure. You can make your own secret base. You talk to the underground man in the Turner City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going now. I'll see you. Oh my god, it's like mapped out with zones and that too. Oh shit, there's like question marks? But this is something that they've changed quite a bit. From my understanding. The wall is bulging slightly. Oh, this is coming back. You can dig into it. There's a note tucked inside the exploration kit. Digging for fossils. Put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff from walls. Something pinged in the wall, tree confirmed. There we go. So you gotta go mining. And then you dig out the items that are hidden. Uh, we're looking for... One more, really. There it is. Oh, it's a big one. And there's the progress of the top. Everything was dug up. Red Sphere S? Prism Sphere L. Red Sphere L. I can't remember what the spheres do. I think those were in it before. But that's cool that those are back. Ball is bulging slightly. The tradable, the currency. Okay. Do confirm. Found it. I was actually quite lucky there. <laughs> Not as lucky there. Oh god, we're getting a lot of these ones. Normally you're okay to hit it a few times with the hammer. I don't think we're gonna get the other one. Oh, the wall's crumbled. You don't always get everything in the wall. But that's okay. Yeah, God, I remember spending a lot of time in this back in the day. It's cool that this one's actually still maintained. This is completely new. There, there was nowhere to actually go into before. What is this? Well, they showed this in the trailer. I know what it is. 
Yeah, so this is... They have underground areas. And in these, the Pokemon just walk around. That's pretty cool. So you, I can just catch like a Gastrodon here if I want one. There's another Bidoof down here too. Gastrodon already is kind of early. What level is this going to be? 16. Uh, I got to use Peck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we just have access to so many more Pokemon all of a sudden. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to spend a while down here and just explore out some of the caverns. We can just get like a bunch of stuff. We get XP for it. It might be a good idea maybe to get Great Balls instead of using Pokeballs. And then we go back down. We have access to inaccessible Pokemon here. That's pretty cool. Do they do like different regions and stuff down here or? God, we're getting stalled, yeah. different biomes down here too. Yeah, there seems to be different caves. I don't know if like set or random how they appear. Like if I check this cave tomorrow, will it be different? This little one? Or is this one just going to be like forever mapped now? Oh no. I don't want to keep trying to hit it because it's like stalling so much. The wild Pokemon here scale with your levels. Interesting. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna need to get Great Balls. I think that means I need to beat the second gym before I come back down here. Because it's just gonna make it a lot easier. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to leave this one for now. We can come back. That's so cool, though. Yeah, they've got these little pocket sections and that. Gives you a reason to, like, explore this big old section. Like, cool stuff all about. Okay, we're going to go back up topside, and then we'll, go, we'll explore this more. I think if I beat the second gym, I get access to the new type of ball. Uh, remember why. Go up. So you've gone underground. Well done, take these as a reward. Apparently some Pokemon on the ground underground that you can't normally find around here. A new one is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. Go to being Splunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. You don't get access to the Great Ball after the second gym. Oh, shit. When, when do you get it? Is it the third gym? I thought it was sooner than that. i to do some inventory management and hit sort. It's the third one. Okay, do I get... When do I get access to Ultra Balls, then? Or like the fifth one or something? It's gonna be a while. Okay, well, if we don't get access to it for for ages anyway. Uh, let's go explore a while. You can go online for the Grand Underground. Okay. Uh, with my group or with a link code? If I set a link code, can you guys meet up with me? Because that's kind of cool. Okay, link code is just going to be all threes.
Yeah, let's go. Let's see if this works. Uh, people join if they want, yeah. Let's see how this works and like how many people we can actually get down here. I've mapped one cave so far. Oh, it said there in the top right, someone entered. Dasher has entered the Grand Underground. There's people here. Moonwolf. Andy has entered. Dice has entered. So we'll give you a little pop-up so that the... Yeah, I can see him on the map. Oh, they're running here. Uh, let me, let me fight above you. I need, I need to get this one. It's a flash mob. Level 18, bud you. It's actually surprisingly high level considering the levels of stuff in the overworld. That's so cool that this is like scaling and actually providing some more challenge. Compared to like the default trainers. Like level 18 wild Pokemon at this point in the game. That's insane. Uh, I'm gonna need to switch to Burby. Okay, you do whatever you want, buddy. We're gonna catch you all the same. Take your time. Tackle. Oh, we're good. I really hope they reset after all the caves. Yeah, we'll have to check what the story is. Like, we just don't know at the moment. It would make sense if they kind of reset to give you, like, a chance for different spawns. Gotcha, buddy, was caught. We've given up on keeping God dead. Okay for God to be alive again. Uh, let's give Budu a nickname. What are we gonna call this thing? Very cute. Mary. No, this one's not Mary. That's another Badoof. Buddy? <laughs> I feel we can do a bit more than Buddy. Lettuce. Lettuce actually is kind of cute. Lettuce is like a name you might give for like your pet guinea pig or something. I've had one called Rose before. Oh, cabbage is good too. Cabbage or lettuce? I think I'm leaning towards lettuce. I'm gonna go lettuce. Mr. Bean, please. No, what, what? <laughs> it's not even a good nickname for it. We're gonna go lettuce. There we go. Lettuce has been sent to a box. Oh, there's people here. Hello there. Can I talk to them? How are they, how are they emoting? How are you doing that? There's so many people here. It is kind of wild to just be able to meet up. It doesn't seem as, as, as laggy. Paul? Oh. Oh, here we go. So you can like kind of do little emotes. That's so cool. Do we launch an expedition anyway? There's like 17 people in here somewhere now. Where are they all on the map? They're all kind of wandering. Can you fight them? I don't think I can. I can't interact with them. You can play like a uh, capture the flag style things, can't you? 
I think that's what it's for. That's cool that it's actually online now, because... We were never able to really play with the underground before, because it's specifically local. At moving that online means you can actually experience it. Slorp returns. Oh, I don't know if I want Slorp. That's cool that you can get a lick tongue this early in the game. You can actually get some of the cool new, like, Gen 4 evolutions. Wasn't it like this back in the originals? Not with online. The underground was local play only back in the day. Which meant that like, you had to be like near like 20 people to actually have like a really cool underground experience. The fact that that's online actually breeds a lot of life into that game. You can get fire types there. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Is the game no longer cursed now with this section of it? Yeah, you might just find a fire cave down here or something. God, the Pokemon are kicking my ass down here. Come on. There you go. I'm gonna get a lot of XP from catching these things. Matchup doesn't need that. Uh, we're not calling it Slorp because that gives credence to the fact it might be used. It will not be used. There's just a gang in this cave. Dear dudes. How do I stop calling? I don't know if I can. Good to see us. Yeah, the code is all threes. Can we get like a group photo of everyone in, everyone together? Can we fill all 40 slots? Surely there's enough people here with the game. Great place to hunt for shinies. D did they show us shiny in the overall? Did they ever do that, actually? I can't remember if they did. They only did that in Let's Go. It was only Let's Go they did that, and that was like a cool thing, too. I would love they brought that one back. And Cricket Top. It's, 20, it's, it's 21 out of 40. Is that the amount of players? We got a gang of five of us here. No, what, what does that meter mean? The amount of diglets you're finding. What, what does that meter mean? That's not the amount of diglets. Here, let's, uh, expedition down to another cave. <laughs> Come with me, get squad. <laughs> oh, 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 I, there was one more, was there not? Did we lose one? He's still in there. I think there's, so there's someone else up. Someone's made a base up here. This is Jay's secret base. <laughs> this is so menacing. Why is this all that's here? Why is there nothing else here? I hope this means there's some way to get the Rotom forms too. Because I know that was a platinum thing. Male live in space. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, dig into a wall. 
So, is capturing the flag not back? Because I'm curious about part of the multiplayer. Oh. Other people are smacking hammers. God, that's oddly menacing when they're just here. Group excavation. Oh, it's whenever anyone else smacks their hammer, it shows up. I think that's how it's working. They're gonna steal your stuff. No, I don't think that's what it does. But other people excavating right now, we're all helping each other. Um, I'm not getting this last one. They don't add to the bar either by doing that, yeah. That's a real big incentive to like be in the underground with other people. That's very cool. I do I I like some of the changes they've like got with this. There's there's no capture the flag, is there? I noticed I went to someone else's base area, they couldn't like steal anything. There's another quick dot. I should probably kill these just for the experience, because they're actually quite a high level. <laughs> these things are higher than like most of the trainer encounters. So we should probably should fight them. You need a base of your own Dan to do it. Okay. You just have to do more of the underground to unlock it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go talk to the guy. I love that there's like, seems to be a Bidoof in every single one of these caves, too. You cannot escape, God. Take it down. This one is not Mary, no. We'll find her. She's down here somewhere. He can't hide for long. <laughs> it's so cool. It's just like a entourage here. <laughs> it's wild. Okay, gang. Gonna go to the left. I can't make my own base just yeah, I, I think I need to go back out of the underground and do some tasks. How do you tell what the spot is on the wall? You can't really, you just gotta uh, look around. Press right bumper. Oh okay. Okay, let's see if anyone else is digging. Oh, we got a big boy. Other people showing up on the mini and the mini game was actually featured in the original Diamond and Pearl. Okay, I. I I, I only ever played the underground like my brother back in the day, and that's it. But it's weird actually having people like in here. And just being able to see what it would look like. What is that meter then for 23 or 40? Is that the amount of people? Like, that's not the amount of people in the lobby, I was told. It's the diglets, but what do you mean by diglets? Oh, do you mean the dig spots? Because diglet is a Pokemon. That's why I was confused. Like, why are people saying it's diglets? I, I haven't seen that Pokemon. Someone just uncovered like a shard for me there. That's that's so cool. Oh, I almost got it. Now 
No, we mean the Pokemon. <laughs> we mean Diglets. Wait, what do you mean you mean Diglets? <laughs> I feel like everyone's shit posted. What is that? It went up. What does that mean? It's going up. <laughs> what? If you find all 40 Diglets, you get higher shiny statue odds. Like the spots in the wall. That's what you're referring to. The riverbank cave. It's just a cider in here, Jesus. We can get a Murkrow already. Sure. Murkrow is cool. We'll get a Scyther as well. We'll catch as many unique Pokemon as we can. That changes the eliminate. Fine. It's how many spheres you have in your inventory. Oh, thank you. <laughs> is that actually what it is? That kind of makes sense. No. <laughs> Guys. Is it the cracks in the wall? The cracks in the wall. Is that what it is? No! Then what the fuck is it? <laughs> what is it? There's like 20 different explanations. It's Diglets. It's Diglets. What Diglets? There's been no Diglets. It's the Diglets. There's so many Diglets. <laughs> what? Am I gonna have to look this up? The numbers, Mason! What do the numbers mean? <laughs> there are Doug Drio as well, but th I, there's been no Diglets! What do you mean? <laughs> I just. <laughs> they really are Diglets. <laughs> that you can go and step on. Really? <laughs> You're not- this isn't like the playground rumor. Because people are saying, yeah, so if you find all the diglets, you have a higher chance of finding Mew. Because that's what this sounds like right now. Uh, apparently it's really diglets. Polygon did an article on it. Okay. <laughs> There's a news report because enough people have been confounded by what this meter represents. Thank you for the investigation, Polygon. Okay, apparently there's diglets in the walls and I'm missing them. Got a Murkrow. Okay, uh, I just need to see, uh... My Pokemon are really badly hurt down here. <laughs> Heal up Jefferson best we can. Other people have been finding Diglets in the cave for you. Watch your spike by being in the lobby. Oh god, so here's me just say like they're not real as everyone else is like already picking them up. If I talk to the underground man more, will he like explain this mechanic? You get one point for Diglets and three points for Dugdrio. <laughs> okay. 
Remove from all contacts, that just sounds insane. <laughs> and what does the meter do again then? How are you so naive? Uh, this is why I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh my god, we've actually got a playground rumor. It is incredible. We were talking about it so much earlier. This is like actually the new playground rumor. Like, no one knows what it is. But we're sure of one thing. It'll help you find Mew. It will help you find Mew. We know that much. I don't think I have this one. <laughs> it isn't spheres, it's Diglett. There's still back and forth, I, I don't know. It's something to do with Diglett, I have seen no Diglett at all. Being gaslighted. <laughs> uh. Let's catch this. Like maybe it represents all of them, like an algorithm that uh, like, compiles a number. Based on the amount of diglets, the amount of spheres in your inventory, players on the lobby, the number of caverns, the number of dig spots in the walls, secret bases, but it's like all simultaneously. Who knows? It could be everything. Learning headbutt as well. Oh god. <laughs> there you go, god. God forgot tackle and learned headbutt instead. It's more efficient there, God. It's trying to rate your skills out of 40. <laughs> That's my new favorite one. Uh, okay, so what like where is the diglet? I'm looking. Is there like a sound prompt? Do I just look at the ground? Who are you? I'm Lilani. No matter where you're at on the ground, you can hear people hammering. I find it really reassuring. What? What are you doing down here? Oh my god, it's real. Was there a diglet? I did not see one. I'm losing my mind that being down here. It's like, oh my god, I just saw one! <laughs> it went up to 30. We got that one. You just passed it. I think there's some guys just struggling with going into the wall a bit there. I just hitting the same one. I don't think I'm gonna have much more luck. Yeah, that was the last one. If it reaches 40, you actually unlock the secret Pokemon Platinum in. <laughs> My god. They tried to tell us. It's real! It's real! It's real! This is a tingle! <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god, you guys are right. There's another one. But they exist. They're real. Hell is real. Mew is under the truck. <laughs> this is just a Murkrow here. Someone's returned to the surface. Do that. Can't be. Wait for 40. Yeah, what's gonna happen at 40? Combi is cute. Yeah, it is. I remember, like, shiny vests were gonna be one of the hardest shinies to get. Because only, like, the female combi will evolve into it. And it's, like, a 12% chance. So it's, like, a really tricky one to get. That's, like, a red mark, I believe. You get Mew at 40. Like, people could say anything now. I don't know what it is. Absolutely, it could be absolutely anything. Oh, I walked into Bidoof again. So we'll leave God alone today. Kyogre floods the cave at 40. This thing, I, I just don't know. We're up to 36. We have a little expedition still with us. Okay, uh, we gotta find more Diglett. They're out here. They're real. But there's a giant cave over on the left. On the plate, try giving it to a Pokemon of the same type. What's the big cave? There's a Diglett. What is this? Stillwater Cavern. It's just gonna be a much bigger one. I think so. Very pretty. Oh, well, I mean, that camera's a bit weird there. We're getting to the bottom. You can find TMs down here. We need one more Diglett. Big mushroom. I caught a cider, yeah? Pretty sure I did. A Murkrow. Caught a Budu. There's just a crow gunk down here, that's cool. That's gotta be kinda rare at this point in the game, yeah. I, I, I like that, that you have just a, uh, more access to a few Pokemon here. It. It's cool when they're big on like the, just the variety for the amount you can catch towards the start. Because a lot of people do just get like a set team and they don't want to experiment past that. This seems to actually offer a way to just get more of them. Hurt itself. Has the wrong ability. Trash it. No. <laughs> we... Oh. We, we need to catch him. Come on, Jefferson. Did it. No, oh, that, was, that was the rare Pokemon, probably, for their... This region. Uh, defeat it and no more. Something good may happen in the Grand Underground. What does that mean? Oh! Wallace Bulge. Be 
What is this? What is that? Did a Draco play? Oh, okay, cool. The, the art for it just looks a bit different than I remember. Red Sphere L. You obtained a gorgeous stone box. The stone box started to shine. An Altaria statue appeared. It's loot boxes. Oh no. <laughs> okay, there's another shine down here. Quickly. I don't know how much time we have. Something pinged in the wall. That out. There's another one. Okay, so we're get we're gonna get like a, <laughs> this is like Pokemon loot boxes in the underground. Give us statues. Togekiss statue appeared. Do I just decorate my home with these? Uh, oh, just one second. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, Julie actually just very kindly brought me some soup. Uh, because I've been streaming a while, which is very sweet. Uh, Julie's staying here again the next while. She's visiting from France. Uh, but she made some carrot soup. So, I'm gonna actually be recharged. Ooh, it's really good, too. I got my braces tightened, like, the other day. And they're really sore at the moment, so I've had to go like back to like kind of softer foods as much as I can. Yeah, there she is in chat. Thank you so much, Julie. That's very kind. An affront to Kevin. I'm gonna say it. Kevin doesn't like soup. He's got poor taste. Soup is wonderful. It's so healthy and good for you too. Come at me. Come at me, yeah, he's already left Ireland, you know, I'm the last standing Irish YouTuber person here. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> we get the old, like, kind of Kevin and, like, me beef going again, because it's just like, I actually quite like soup. Let me do one thing as well, I think a video went live on the YouTube channel while I was streaming. There, there is some Ace Attorney highlights for later. Just as a heads up for folks, I'm just going to leave a cheeky comment on that saying, By the way, I'm streaming. Uh, it's, it was the circus case highlights. This case was a train wreck. And I hated it. <laughs> but no, I never want to play it again. I'm also streaming. Pokemon Diamond Right now on Twitch Just to give people a heads up because some people might be coming from the video We're just being a bit cheeky there There we go In this other tab 
Oh, that's the one-winged angel recorder cover. Okay, we can close that. <laughs> oh, did I find a plate? Oh, it's either a plate or a block of butter. Got another loot box. It's cheese. <laughs> An ancient find. Got a zap plate. Red sphere. Okay, what's in the box? Oh my god. That's a big one. Oh, hello, gang. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> How do they coordinate this? They have, like, these people have no communication with each other. It always feels like an ant colony coming together or something like that, whenever, like, people have, like, not to compare you guys to ants, but it's just the fact that, like, you have no actual communication, yet you somehow all manage to be in sync with each other. Like, swarm of bees or whatnot, yeah. It's, it's remarkable when they actually manage this. <laughs> Good to see is the counter's gone back down. So what do those statues do? Uh, we've got a few of them. They increase shiny odds. Like what, for that specific Pokemon? Do the do. <laughs> Oh, here's another one. That one's gold. Oh. Increased shiny odds for the statue of the Mon is four. Does that mean I'm going to be able to find, like, a Togekiss down here? Because that seems kind of wild. I'll have to make a secret base then. They affect which Pokemon show up in the caves. Oh shit, can we encounter a Togekiss then? We might be able to meet Egg, egg too. A Salamence statue appeared. So there's regular ones and then there's shiny ones. Oh shit, we've got some really good ones there, like Togekiss, Salamence, those are really strong mons. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... Alright, gang. Gang, gang. I'm gonna go back to the overworld. I have to do the old man's uh, kind of lead-in quests, I think, just to make sure I understand all the features. Once I do them, we will open this back up, and we're gonna go exploring. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the overworld. I'll see you soon. Group photo first, please. Uh, someone get like a screenshot of like when everyone was a bee. <laughs> that should work. Okay. I want you to dig up some treasures. I I've already done that. We get the digger drill. What's what's the digger drill? I was a a single use drill to bore a hole in the wall for your secret base. Oh, okay. Uh, let's create a secret base. Okay, so back down we go. Uh, I'm just gonna do play alone for now, because I'm gonna be leaving in a moment. I'm gonna leave in a moment. Uh, where should I make my base? Like, do I need to, like, go into the depths of the underground? Does it matter if it's very public? Should I just, like, make it here? 
This 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 place is pretty big. There's a lot of caves. Oh my god. I'm gonna just pop it here. Dad's secret base? <laughs> this is Dad's man cave. You're not allowed in here. Statue effect. Place a statue. Statues place 0 of 18. Okay, so, I mean, we're... Oh my god, these are huge. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't expect them to be so big. I think it's just those two. Oh my god. Most of my base is now filled. Increases the appearance out of dragon type. Uh, I mean, is that just the Salamence? So these are going to help with the specific Pokemon, are they? And this is just in general. How is the statue flying? That's a real good question. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. Get some more carrot soup in my system. Oh good. Okay, we get quick balls and dusk balls and dive balls. That's actually pretty good. We move the base, you need to obtain another drill. I've put statues in there. Square pedestal XS. You finally test to find someone else's secret base when you do make sure to look inside. Okay. This is the final one, so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna just open it. Actually, no, uh, yeah, I, I, actually, I have to, yeah. I'm gonna go down and open it. Uh, link code. It's just all gonna be threes again. How many of us do you think made our base in, like, this wall here? I want to see if someone just comes down, like, directly on this point. How's it going? Oh, something good may happen! We got the shiny thing again! There, there's someone's base! This is Mirren's secret base. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just a menagerie. Do you not decorate them with furniture at all anymore? Is it just statues? Melodic is huge! I can turn the effect of the base on. Okay, I, I, I need to find a shiny wall real quick. We gotta, we gotta go quick as well, the thing is, uh, 40. Dig in. Is there, is there no furniture anymore? Is it just statues? That's a wholly unique, like, wave effect and shiny odds for any Pokemon game. Which is actually quite cool. I do actually kind of like that. There's no furniture, it's just statues. There's no capture the flag either, that's a bit of a shame. It's cool that they've added Pokemon to the underground, it's a bit of a shame that the bases have been dumbed down a little. <gasps> oh, I want that one. I would, would not say no to a shiny Roserade. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, there's no one over here. Pop around. Yeah, you, so I can see everyone's bases, I think, on the map now, too. Hiker. Not any small spheres. Oh, God. Okay, so he'll sell all the different rewards. There's pedestals for the statues. What does a pedestal do? Does that increase the odds? Oh, I wasted the time. I can give goods as well? I think I want to keep that. What does a pedestal do? Oh, that's what you do to ping for the dig spots. That makes more sense. Yep. I'm pinged in the wall. Everyone's starting to dig. Oh! We got one. Can you bury gems to make them grow in size? Oh god, I kind of vaguely remember that mechanic. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get the last thing in here. Quite lucky. A gorgeous stone box. Shiny Glaceon statue. Uh, so... Okay, so people are still figuring out the mechanics with the statues then. So, like, what's the ideal way to, like, prep it? Um, like, for a shiny hut in a particular Pokemon. Do you want, like, as many statues of one Pokemon, or can you only get one statue of each Pokemon? How much does it affect the odds by? Like, do we even know yet? I feel like they give you the shiny statues quite often. It's a napalm statue. Watch the streamer really wanted a Glaceon statue last night. <laughs> I don't even like Glaceon that much myself. I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> um, but I hope they get it. Hope they get what they're after. I want like a, the Madoof statue. My favorite evolution is Espeon. I own part of that camp. I do like Sylveon a lot as well. Vaporeon. Bastiodon statue appeared. RT is basic. <laughs> what am, I, am I not allowed to have my preference? Look at this vanilla gamer. There's always a Bidoof in these caves. This one's just a Bidoof cave. There's a Lickitung again. Camera is real weird when you get to like the bottom of the screen. It, like You have to like fight against it. Badoofs everywhere. I would love a Badoof statue. Hmm. Shiny spot. So it's like something good may happen. So you go to a shiny spot when you fill fill out the meter. That's like the strategy, is it? Oh, 
go. Doof Shiny is going to be announced at the end of the stream, but it's like through the underground. This is probably the most nostalgic thing, I guess, for me actually playing this game. I remember even uh, as a kid and I got access to the underground, I just spent forever in it. Having like a great time. Even though I was just playing it by myself, I just remember exploring a lot and gathering items. I know we've like completely sidetracked. <laughs> Wait, 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 the bees! The bees are angry! Hang on! Uh, I remember just getting completely sidetracked with it. It's actually quite fun having it back. Forget how cool the underground was. I just got a fossil! That is amazing. That's the last one. It's always the indicator that Matt, they wouldn't do something like there's actually a secret fifth thing in the wall. A skull fossil. I can get a Cranidas. That's pretty good. Not the beast. Another hiker here. Wait, you decided to rest. Oh, he'll heal you down here. Thanks, random hiker. We have a little convoy. I <laughs> love it. Does it sparkle like that because one person's already digging into the wall? Is that is that what does it? Oh shit, we got a prism. I'm thinking that might be how it's working. Good boy. How many people can you see underground? I don't know. What like is is there a cap? We seem to have actually like a good few in here. It's like it's been at least six. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, like there's seven of us right here. Okay. Dig with me, gang. <gasps> There's a box. Find a lot of the dragon ones. It seems like 40 is the limit. Okay. Is it actually 40, though? I don't know. I've been led astray before. Okay, this is good for checking. We got a second Salamence statue. Um, if we go to our base and we place all them... Oh no, sometimes the, the wall just sparkles. Sometimes the wall just sparkles more. If we go back and place a second Salamence statue, let's see if it increases the odds. Salamence, by the way, is like national Pokedex right now, as far as this game is concerned. So I am curious if it's going to be like, well, you have all the statue requirements. Here's a Salamence. Or is it just like general dragon types that it affects? Increase the odds of what? Of encountering that Pokemon. How would you check the odds? I don't know. Salamence is a pearl exclusive. Okay. Okay. Uh, gang, I'm going to go back to the surface for a moment. I'll return on the code momentarily. I hope they still get to stay there. It will be kind of weird if they got booted. We'll talk to the man while we return too. A round pedestal. So what do the pedestals do? They just make the statues. Look better. You can get the effects from other people's secret bases. Put 
We're completely ignoring the main game, but like, I'm act I'm just having a lot of fun like re revisiting this. This is this is very nostalgic. I remember never be being able to do this with other people back in the day. <laughs> the side quest. I'm very glad that they've like changed it in a way and like actually made it online. Like that's a bit I wasn't aware they were doing. That does change it a lot. I remember when I saw this announced, I was like, well, I can't play this with my friends again. <laughs> you know? But like that that's absolutely not the case. Okay, uh, so let us play statues. I think I can fill the entire base. But can I put him on a pedestal? No, it needs to be the right size pedestal. Can I put you on one? Round pedestal, yeah. So Togekiss gets special treatment. You can't put him in that bit of walk space at the front. Okay, statue list. And it says on them what their grid size is. So you want to try and be as efficient as possible. Salamance here is going to have a hard time fitting. So we're going to need to move these guys. Put that there. Put these all in the front. Okay. Salamance. Quite a menacing display. Papa Rosa, Roselia there, and an Apalm in there. There we go. Statue effect. Raises the appearance of dragon type Pokemon. I mean, I have two of them now. Am I going to be able to get, like, a Gibble, like, this early in the game? Let's see. Oh. People digging here. I think you can pedestal uh, Roselia. I'll, I'll go back in a moment. I'll do it while I'm here. Got another box? See? Rotom Wash. Oh, wow. You found a washing machine in the underground. Do my laundry now. People said there was no furniture in the bases anymore. I just proved them wrong. Pedestal. I got a sturdy pedestal S. I think that one's for Glaceon. There we go. That's pretty cool. Found a good few. Okay, uh, there's a mystery zone over here. We're gonna see then if we can find a dragon type cave. I'm gonna go looking for a gibble. Let's see if we can find it down here. Oh, there's a binary. We don't actually have that. I really want to know how like the it affects the shiny odds. I reckon we're gonna have to wait a few days though before we get like the detailed like spreadsheet analysis of like all the stats. <laughs> Let's catch it. Weren't the shinies more common in the underground? The underground didn't have Pokemon. 
in Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> this, this, this is new to this game. something major that they've changed. I met in this game. Well, we don't know. Uh, it, it just came out. Canary's cute. Uh, okay, there's a cave over here. Let's go check for dragons. Found Benaries. Can you still find evolution stones in the walls? I don't know. I haven't found any yet. I did find a fossil. Grassland cave. There's a Roselia. I don't know if that's the power of the statue working. I can just catch this if I don't want to level up Budu. I feel like I should level up Budu. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up Budu. Yeah, let's just kill this one. A level lettuce. I, I need to get lettuce in the party. Get everyone else stealing the XP here. Hey, where are you, lettuce? Keep the fish. We'll keep God for now. God's just here for moral support. That, that's a player, yeah? He's just dressed up. Oh, so you get the outfit soon, then. Oh! If I if I chain encounter enough Roselias, will I get a shiny? <laughs> Are chains even a thing in this one? I don't know. I know Poker Radar was a thing in the originals. Should be okay without Whirlwind. Did I keep capturing the flag? No, that's gone. It's just, your base is just like Statue Emporium now. It's kind of an odd change. Uh, there is a female combi. Those are actually quite rare. So we can get a Vespaquin now. Hive mind. What level does it evolve in the best between? I think it's actually 20. Twenty-four or so. Nice it shows you the gender before battle. It does. The red mark is like the key thing for this one. Yeah, it does tell you just next to the name. You need to call it chat. <laughs> Hive mind. Yeah, I can do that. There you go, chat. Two re returning characters from Utopia now. Bunch of Zubats just flapping like mad here. I'm gonna keep going and just encounter some more of them. Uh, should I be encountering these caves now, or should I like wait until later in the game to encounter them? I, I don't know how it works if these areas will ever become like reset or stuff like that. There's a diglet. Swampy cave. Did I get a crow gunk in the end? Not a Roselia. No, it fainted earlier. Okay. Make our way around. Train us, Dad. Level us. No, our chat's just staying in the box. <laughs> Not today. 
I'm not doing this again where I take you out and you ask me to buy your robes all the time. Like, except this time you'd be like, give us protein! Give us a potion! Oh, please use us in battle, Daniel! No, I, I'm not, uh, not willing to put up with this shit. Please give us a berry! Why are we British? <laughs> oh no. I'm not sure. Please give us rare can- oh. God wants to evolve. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't- I don't think- You stay as you are, God. Here you go. Yeah, that's a swampy cave. Statues increase odds of Pokemon of the same type showing up, and it does stack between statues. So three dragon statues would increase it more than just one. Tiny statues provide larger bonuses, and I guess there's statues that provide even more benefit. Okay. Spacious cave. There's a Swablu in here. I have that, yeah. More Geodudes. Andy has entered the underground. The pattern's a little bit weird with the rocks. The main thing here is just that Swablu. Get it! I want to find a Gibble. I, I think like the place where you get Gibble though by natural means is actually very close to here. So I don't know if it's worthwhile just uh, searching now. We could go back to the surface soon. It is in Diamond, you can't get Gibble until you have Strength. Okay, so we gotta just wait a while. How do we get Strength? I can't remember. I think that's like the third gym? Look, and I'll see if there's like another cave nearby. Oh, Lettuce has an item as well. I got like Poison Barb at some point. Getting more soup in. Nickname? I'm only gonna nickname folks that it seems likely we're gonna use, or just for the meme. Like, because uh, otherwise, like, we have like 500 nicknames. It's gonna be way too many. I'm Samuel. There's a few different types of stone boxes. Pretty of the box, the rare to statue you'll find. Okay, thanks, Samuel. Diglett! It begins. It begins. We gotta we gotta find the boxes. Hear that? Keep hitting that one spot. <laughs> God, I must have just barely missed these. There we go. Just take your big hammers and hit all the valuables. It does seem like quite a haphazard way to mine. <laughs> Gorgeous stone box. A chimchar statue. Ooh. Can I find the starters down here?
Only after the Elite Four. Okay. There's one. Get it out. And that is all. Nope, there's one more. Keep smashing. Why would you ever want a firefight instead? Or like Infernape and Blaze again were kind of cool. I think Embor is the one point where people got burnt out on the firefightings because it just kept happening too much. Oh God, Iron Divine statue. Uh, does it affect anything for the mystery rooms when it's 40 of 40? If I go in here right now. Town Spring Cave. There's Gastrodons here again. Weasel. We can get Weasel. I haven't, I haven't found him. He's a cool one. I think a lot of people use this guy as your water type if you haven't got a, uh, a Piplup. He's cute. I'm just using my mana fee. Oh yeah, people do have that one. <laughs> Actually, I've used almost all of my balls down here. I'm just using my Arceus water type. I've left home to start my start my Pokemon adventure. I'm gonna take God as my starter Pokemon. Not referring to Badoof here, just like actual God of Pokemon. I'll try catch a Gastrodon again. God is the best starter, to be fair. He is quite powerful. <laughs> Still talking of, b about Badoof there, Daniel. Oh, sorry. Someone actually is just using Badoof. Jesus Christ. We can as much as he can. <laughs> Astrodons are quite scary at this point in the game. They're very strong. And in Jefferson. Come on, no. Oh god, yeah, this is why they're gonna be problematic to catch. I did get some quick balls, didn't I? I'm gonna try use a quick ball on another Gastrodon. See how many of them I got too. Five quick balls. I got five dust balls too. Okay, yeah, try it. Instantly catch it, please. Thank you. <laughs> Best Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, Quick Balls aren't nice if you plan to use the Pokemon on your team. Because the ball design doesn't look that good. Oh god, it's gonna be trying to evolve a lot. You don't believe in evolution, God. Yeah. Keep him back where he is. If God had ever stone. <laughs> Diglett.
If you pre-ordered the game, you got extra quick balls. Oh god, how many did you get? That's such a weird pre-order bonus. You get 12. That's not even a lot. <laughs> an odd one. Reminds me of, like the Fallout, like uh, New Vegas pre-orders. Like one of them is just like a flask of water <laughs> to just kind of help you on your adventure. This Maggie statue. Oh, you gotta pick up the sparkle. Oh, we got another fossil. I think this is the one I have. Oh, I could maybe find a way to trade that with someone. have an act small team of Kranidos. Quick balls look like the titular hero from Invincible and I can't be convinced otherwise. Well like the kid in that, I I've seen like the first episode of that show. Medicine box. I wonder if you can get like Dialga statues and stuff like that. Like that'd be kind of wild. Let me just pop down my shiny Dialga statue, like in my base. Increase the odds there. How you find boxes so much? Well, they seem to give them really often. It's Honchkrow. Go down here. We'll go back to the main game in a moment. I'm just doing a little bit of digging underground. This is honestly just very nostalgic for me to revisit this thing. Uh, if I go really far to the left, there's a way to get to a new mystery spot. Where's your base? I can't remember. Honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, oh, we can go up. There's one up here that we'll travel over to. Here, I can I can pop more statues in the base. I think I have enough to fill it out. Place a statue. My beloved Karen of Ein in. Tiny Chimchar. Yeah, that's all of them so far. Slightly, like, all of, does all of this only increase, slightly increase dragon type? Does the rest of it have no effect? Or is that just the one that's in the lead because there's more dragons than anything else? We have three dragons because Altari as well. Increase okay, so I, th I think that's how it's gonna work then. Each base can only have one effect. Let's see someone else's base. <laughs> Just a crowbat. But if I turn this on, does this stack with my base? Find the diglets. Yes, yeah, like guess. No one's really sure. Okay, well we're gonna hope it does. Yeah, let's dig here. 
Two confirmed. This, this is how we do archaeology. Just smash first, ask questions later. Smash it out. What we got? Ooh, that's a cool one. Okay, let's dig here too. If it's doing that sparkle because someone else is digging there, it seems like I don't know if it's like increased odds for the boxes. I feel like it very well might be. So I, I've gotten a lot of them. Don't know if we're getting them here. There we go. Get the great cat looking Pokemon if you get diamond or no. I can't remember what the exclusives are. <laughs> I'm so used to just using the GTS to just find whatever I'm looking for. There's a regular Shellas. It's always a Badoof. Ooh, Badoof here. This is a treacherous room. Let's head on back. You can really maximize the map here, too. So you can, like, see all the zones. There's, like, a few different pockets that you can go down into, which is cool as well. So they all have separate things in them. There's one, like, right in the middle. Gotta be something good there. Oh, see you later, bees. <laughs> see you later, gang. <laughs> Just bees in my head now, because everyone keeps, like, buzzing around. You could add like the sound effect of the work. Ah, <laughs> uh, saying bye. See you later. Take care, gang. That's cool. That's really cool how that's like actually online now. I feel like a lot of us did not get to experience that proper back in the day. Galactic's just chilling here. Not gonna take me. Apparently you can see the effect on the map. Oh, okay, right. Cool. Thanks for waiting. Hope to see you again. I, I don't need to use the PC. I guess the PC is just there for nostalgia's sake. Uh, it doesn't actually have much function. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's go to the next gym, then. I think we can take it. Like, Burby is, like, actually quite pumped up. It has been saving as well, hasn't it? 42 Pokemon already in the Pokedex. Oh! Oh! One of the best characters in this one. Got a Pokedex. You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Dad. <laughs> oh, we've ruined this moment. <laughs> My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Or the bit is an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. Okay, we get cut now. We gotta go to the gym. See you later, Cynthia. Is this the cycle shop? There is a cycle, no, the cycle shop's the other one. It's actually clearly a statue of Dialga in this one. That's actually kind of cool. It's like nondescript Pokemon. And, uh, like the old ones. But they've actually seemed to have changed it. Very clear. 
Theo once created a brought time into being, and laughter or in tears at the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. This is barely legible. They seem to want you to get a bike indicated by, as indicated by the sheer volume of them. Erna came to be long ago in honor of an ancient Pokemon. Many things have changed, what is important is not. Hope it remains that way forevermore. In the Pokemon statue. Yeah, I gotta go get a bike. Could just be in here. Oh, is he not here? Oh, you gotta help him in the building first. These bikes don't look real. Is it just me? They look like they're made out of wood or something. Like the entire thing. Little Lego bikes. Yeah, there's something kind of off about them, ain't there? I don't think you can go in here, because I think this is cycling road for this game. Yeah, you need a bike. I think this house is just empty for now? Yes, it is. I remember that. We'll come back there later. Okay, uh, let's go second gym. He's just right here. Oh. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. We'll be waiting for you in the back. Oh, alrighty then. Gotta find him in this slight wood. Already gone the wrong way. I keep thinking, I'm thinking that they're going to be like more well hidden than they probably actually are. He's just not here too. Oh, there's one. Okay, last Caroline. We, we're just going to burp everything down here. Come on, Burby. Come who you were born to be. <laughs> I much prefer the clock puzzle from Platinum. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, I like the clock puzzle then too. Uh, it seems to be that we've gone back to the basic ones though. Again, kind of weird. But we'll make do, sure. I haven't used- I've only used reset in one battle. <laughs> They're level 22. That's kind of wild. Next turn is at the end past the two boulders, I think. Down here. The perspective is weird when it's like this, because like if I'm going down, there's like so little view. I don't know if that's like a maintained perspective from the DS ones. But it feels weird. I finished my carrot soup. Let us fight. I will. I'm gonna just release chat. <laughs> I keep seeing people like getting worked up. I'm gonna rename them. First chance I get. I'm not, no, we did this in Metopia. I'm not doing it here. He's gonna disown us. Oh, we're poisoned. What happened to chat? You're just in a box. Some people are like, why aren't we fighting? It's like, you're not part of the team. I'm not, I'm not using uh, combi.
I fit in chat. No, I, d I don't want to use you. <laughs> like, I've got God in the team already. I don't need chat anymore. God himself is here. Middle of three trees. Is there a three? Not three. You have to overthrow God. <laughs> I mean, good luck? It's quite ambitious. Oh no, I said God actually has died more times than any other Pokemon on the team right now. Order on Dan. <laughs> Let's use our Pokemon move, guys. If we all come together. Uh. Mutiny of the Twitch streamer. Mutiny. You don't get to leave just like that. You're gonna have a fun time with Dad. Dad wants you to play the game, see how long you can sleep for. Go back in the box. God is evolved. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, trying to keep God dead or him just constantly evolving. That That's going to happen every single time. No, Everstone. I haven't found it yet. Would you recommend this game? I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm sure a bunch of folks have made reviews and the like. Just watching if you like what you see. I think that's the best way to go about it. Only the gym leader left. We're already there. Create magical John and put his next to them. No. <laughs> Alright. You brought this on yourselves. I can't access it right now. Why can't I access it right now? It does not let you do it in a gym specifically. I don't think it does. to go outside. <laughs> Boxes. Bye-bye, <laughs> chat! <laughs> that was a rare Pokemon, too. You're free. <laughs> okay. Let's carry on with the next gym. What are these camera angles? He kept me waiting. I'm a turn as gym leader. Gardener, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. But anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Here we go. Gym leader gardener. Still come back? No, you won't. <laughs> Let's go. Let's 
care. It's just turret weak. I think Rose Raid is the only real scary thing that she's got on her team that I remember. Burb might be able to just take it out, though. I hope so. Come on, Burby. Not the end yet. Rosary is such a cool looking Pokemon. Grass Nuts. It, it is faster now. Oh, that's a resisted attack too. It's super effective. Hacker's got a berry. I think I can take a hit. Are you saying something? She's like smack talking us. Take a hit. Yeah, we're good. No, like, oh my god, it's the guy who died at the second gym. I'm just the guy who died at the first gym. Uh, swagger. Uh, confuses it. But also raises attack. I think I prefer Charm to Swagger. Swagger's really dangerous. Second gym down. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? <laughs> what? God is evolving! Stop it, God. Might have said it before, but you're really tough. What's well, it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? This is a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. I can and I proudly grant you this. Second badge. A cut is now available. All Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I used to always think that meant, like, your own Pokemon only obey you up to level 32. Uh, but that is not the case whatsoever. I think your own Pokemon you can level to whatever. And you're fine. Yeah, we got some Grass Knots, too. Polish the badges. Oh, did they bring Bat back? I, I can't polish them. Oh, I guess not. Oh, you have all the contests. Oh, it's back to like the cool and beauty stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Fossil digging session statue variants found. Battle tower winning streaks. It could have been so much more. People are saying in handheld mode. I, I can't polish them now, then. That's not possible. <laughs> like, the, the, do you, you can't see the game if I polish them. Often making his back, yeah. I'm, excited. I'm looking forward to that. We'll do everything as we go. All the name raiders here. I don't think I need to name anything right now. We're good. Building superintendent. You got a Pokemon named Buizel. Wanna trade it for my chat, huh? They let you search in boxes for this. That's actually kind of nice. Trade it. Chat is back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not what this is. Don't make me release the parrot as well. It's Chirap. It's not ch chat hot. Yep. Different guy. You have to rap from now on. If you want to maintain it, you're here. Not quite chat. Oh, 
figures of the TMs were recycled. <laughs> Go. I know I've probably missed talking to some NPCs. I'll I'll do I'll get it all done eventually. Secret base just got another grate. What does that mean? Crackling stones. Tell you about contests and that. A resub message is off? No, they should be appearing. The alerts have been coming up, haven't they? Should be. Okay. Uh, we gotta go... ...in here real quick. It's a friendly neighborhood Bidoof that helps us once again. Galactic is an interest in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stairs. Like, oh, you come here to donate. That's lovely. I keep forgetting I can heal in the Pokemon centers again. I'm thinking that, like, I need to make sure God is still dead. Thank you, Bidoof. It's gonna be Bidoof every single time, isn't it? <laughs> Is the chat remove feature still there? I mean, the Switch doesn't have a mic, so I don't know how it would be. I'd be surprised. Oh, there is a pat over there, but... Now, let's just quickly hop out. God is now a HM slave. Go over here. It looks kind of silly how you just flash your watch now. <laughs> it's like the tree is no more. I don't know what was on the map. Hello, man. Got her in Pokemon from the Astonishing Undertaker. Undertaken. Hey RTM, the owner of the secret base had lots of statues he walked into a while back for the old man's mission. Just for an update, every statue in the mess is now in the place is now shiny. Grinding his pain. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, hey Gems, there's an app for that. It's the way it's gone. Let's just take them on. We're so over levels. <laughs> like, I think I could take on the third gym with these levels, and I might even be okay. It takes a while in this game to actually get the gyms. So There's like a lot of exploring of the region. Because I think even for the next one, yeah, like for the next one, we have to pass through like two other towns. This game also has like a nice distinction where you can actually pick the order of gyms again. Uh, you can do both the, th the, the third or fourth in, in whatever order you want. I think you're free to just go both ways. It's cool though, the region's actually like really big. Lettuce, we need to level up on friendship before they evolve. So that's gonna take a long old while. What's your favorite generation? Five. I think that's the best one. Oh, he's just sitting on his PC, but he wants a fight. Go. 
You know if it's so good. It is. Yeah, I, I think it's like the best one. I think Black and White 2 is the best Pokemon game. I think the post game is the best one on that too. We'll play it eventually. And I'm sure there'll probably be a remake of it at some point too, at this rate. Come Gen 10 of Pokemon. Alerts are broken, are they? That's coming through. Uh, are you sure? They seem to be coming through. Might just be OBS or Twitch acting up. First alerts of the stream. No, they've been showing up, haven't they? I'm pretty sure they've been working. Yeah. Just a bit delayed. Could be on the Switch since the rule seems to be every two console generations. But we don't really, like... Oh, wrong move. Um... I mean, it might seem like there's a rule, but I think ultimately they just do whatever they want, really. You know? They've sh they have shown as well that they're willing to just do, like, one specific generation remade. Like, Let's Go is kind of out there. We've got, like, three different Pokemon games in Switch now. It's pretty cool. God, you gotta stop. Keep going up. Yeah, but two of them are terrible to say the least. Let's Go was kind of fun. Like, it's a more casual experience, but still has some like nice qualities about it. Johnny and that one's really fun. A Sword and Shield has its issues, but the DLC is some of the best Pokemon content, I'd say, ever. Like, it's actually just very good and it almost saves the entire game. Main game still just kind of shite. Uh, without it. But, like, the quality of life stuff in Sword and Shield is actually really good in terms of, like, actual battling. I like all that stuff. DLC is the best part of it. I don't think I would have enjoyed Sword of Shield like even as much as I did without doing the cupcake challenge. That was fun. Dynamax is boring. Though. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Dynamax is cool for the dens. That's it. It's cool when you team up with friends to fight like an impossibly strong Pokemon. And, like, like that actually, like that, that's a well realized idea. In actual battles, though, kind of shite. I think Megas were just better. Okay, let's keep on going. Would you say the DLC makes it worth playing Sword and Shield, even for someone who hates a lot of what they did in that game? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think that's a, I, I think that's a to each their own kind of thing. At the very least, with Sword and Shield's main story in that, like, it's not too long to get through. It goes kind of quick. It's mainly because like you just kind of walk from point A to B half the time. You know, and there's no like real room for exploration at all. Oh, here we go. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why are they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Just stand in here with them. What is with the camera angles? <laughs> What's with this like pan in cinematic shot that always happens? It's like, oh, I gotta get the camera in the right place. I haven't lined it up correctly. Oh 
Salamander Jupiter. Left this planet again. I, I'm not even... I'm not too worried here. I think I'm gonna have like a fine old time in Sinnoh. For the most part. It does seem like we've just gotten quite strong quite quickly. Gym leaders might be a bit scarier just because they have fully evolved Pokemon and we don't yet. Keep going. Last of the first gym. You gotta remind me. <laughs> oh, God damn it. First gym is probably the hardest gym in this game. There, I said it. You don't understand how difficult it is. It actually is quite scary. Granados hits very hard. I really dislike the Chibis, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of wish the art style was just more aligned with Sword and Shield. But, like, the character models and that. I think it just looked cooler. Not really a fan of the Chibi ones and that. And I don't really care if it's like trying to be faithful there. I'd rather it just kind of look cool and make it new, you know? God, Scum Tank is actually kind of beefy. Oh my god. It's taking quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Swap back in. It is called Scum Tank after all. Scum Tank, that's a har harsh name. It's poor Pokemon. It's been named by like a professor or something. Oh, she just disappears entirely. This is kind of funny. You see that, like when they, she actually attacks, it's like, I'm gone. Uh, well, we cut it very close, but we seem to be in the clear. What a stroke of luck. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Still beat him. Aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mats collected energy from the Valley Windworks. Pretty much finished here, I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he'll become the ruler of Sinnoh. Let me just tease that. We can drop this organization building. We don't need it. They're just like abandoning like all of their assets. We lost here, scamper. Yeah, thank you for telling us your plan. Uh, there's no elevator there, interestingly, for Rotom. So I don't know how it's gonna work for Rotom yet. Uh, we can go to the Haunted House next. Are you gonna shiny hunt this game? Uh, if I feel like it. At the moment, I'm ki I'm kind of I'm just like having fun going through it. This is very nostalgic for me. <laughs> I don't really want to do any like hyped up challenge mode for it. 
because I I think it's just actually quite a chill g little game. I think we can just kind of have fun with it that way. I don't think every playthrough of Pokemon these days has to be. It's like Nuzlocke Roulette Random. Like everything compound it. Sometimes it's just nice to do something chill. It can be fun to turn on like the kind of harder rules, but I'm good. That water looks like it's painted. That doesn't look real. Uh, I can go over here now. I think there's an item over here. I'm just sharing this with a prompt. Stop the prompt for me to share this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the shading is a bit weird in some parts. Uh, I'm not replanting all these berries right now because I'm just gonna go back and manage them later. Just, I, I'm not gonna remember where half of them are if I do them all now. I can revisit them down the road. He's giving us some stickers too. How would you feel about it if Pokemon ever would ever add a difficulty setting? Well, they did before. It was called Pokemon Black and White 2, and it was amazing. I love it. Challenge mode in that game makes it, like, incredible. Like, the fights are actually significantly harder. Every, every like, gym leader in that uses items and shit like that. Yeah, they have difficulty settings for that one. They even have an easy mode for Black and White 2, in case you're struggling. Yeah, they should absolutely bring it back. Okay, on and house time. Thank you, friendly Badoof. Oh, something over here. Okay, spooky place. Old chateau. Oh, I remember spending so much time when this as a kid getting creeped out. Trying to like unravel what the secret is of this place. I hope they've maintained it. Old Gato. Pokemon magazines! Alright. You do find Pokemon in here too. Wow, Pokemon Pals in here! Latest issue! Quite surprising, because it's like an abandoned mansion. Oh, that did a little too much. I think Ghastly is like the only thing you can catch here, though. So we will probably get that again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm probably gonna kill this again because I do too much damage, aren't I? Just use a quick ball. I don't think I'm gunning for a Gengar on my team anyway. First time being in your stream, I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Hope you do too. We got one. I think that's the main one for this zone. It's chock full of Pokemon books and photo collections. I'm surprised they haven't like tried to flesh those bits out anymore. Yeah, let's start exploring the rooms. Dread place. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Oh, I forgot they give you the description of every plate when you get them. T 
TV has an oddly malevolent feel. It's as if it's staring. Trying to see if there's anything. Lined with colorful binders! You can hear laughing. Oh, that's a nice touch. I bet it a little creepier. It's a very nice touch, yeah. Sleep here? Don't think I can. Have we found substitute. Um, the encounter didn't occur. Did it? Is it in this room where it is? laughing when you enter it. There she is! Yeah, there's ghosts in the house. I remember spending so much time in this as a kid. Trying to get like the bottom of it. There's the TV. Go downstairs. So oh, many ghastlies. All the Fey family. <laughs> oh god. House contains all the Wooloos you murdered for a shiny. Wouldn't be surprised. Let me see. Let me see. There is a trigger here. But it doesn't want to show right now. Crash can is empty. Crash can is empty. Found an antidote. Quite nicely decorated. <laughs> Kitchen's all done up. Trigger didn't work because it's not 3 a.m. That's not how it works. <laughs> Oh no, back to playground rumors. The shit with the diglets earlier, that was so funny to me. <laughs> like, I thought you guys were just like, messing with me. Hold it upside down. I love when Pokemon goes into like the creepier end of things. There's like a really cool haunted house in Gen 5 that they do as well. But, like, it's a bit more fleshed out in comparison to most of them. Is he gonna show? He doesn't wanna. I don't know if he's going to. Did 
There is another ghost that can appear. I'm gonna exit the house and go back in and see if that does it. Maybe I have to go in that floor first. Is it only at night? I can't remember if it's only at night the ghost show, but it is late enough in the day that it should. There he goes. Yeah, he doesn't always appear. Appears as if it's glaring. Yeah, so there's, there's ghosts in the house. It's very unsettling. Let's use a Badoof to get out of here. What's the current team? Uh, it's a Staravia, a Prinplop, a Budu, and a Luxio. Probably, we'll get more as we go. I do want to get a Garchomp if I can. I would love to get a Lucario. It's gonna be the t it's gonna be the team you always see whenever anyone plays this game. It's just some like very cool standout Pokemon. Oh, this is the Herb Shop. You can buy these if you want your Pokemon to hate you. Uh, let us go to the bike store. Thanks for rescuing me. Let me give you a bike. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one would it be? Oh. Um. What color bike do we want? You know, let's go red. You want a red bike. You get to preview it. It's cute. Uh, you know, I do want a red bike. I'm gonna take it. I know people are saying piss yellow. Color is important. Blue. There's piss yellow. Yeah, red matches the outfit best. Color of passion. Call us to mind images of the flame on Charma- oh. Why'd you have to say that? I don't want it anymore. I'm so sick of ending relating to Charizard. <laughs> okay, so you got gears for the bike. You can toggle them like before. Ride your bike from your bag's key items pocket, press the B button to speed up or improve control. So you go way faster like that. Oh! Oh wow, you got a bike! I have to go that way, okay. What if I go this way? You can't stop me. How many Badoofs will we encounter? <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> no pink, boo. It wasn't an option. Pokeball. Oh, we need the cat find Mary still. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Holy shit, a fire type! There's only one of these in the wild in this region! This is actually the only fire type in the base game. If you don't pick Chimchar. It's the 
only one. <laughs> uh, thankfully, with the underground stuff, I imagine there's ways to get more. God, please. Iron Doom, uh, Flareon, they're not in the base game. You won't, you can't get them before the Elite Four, I believe. Like, at least in the original ones, you couldn't. Yeah, you can get them in the underground now, but what I'm talking about is the base game. Oh, Hiker wants to battle. Hiker Lewis. In the underground, you can. I caught a hand. I don't think like you're listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying in the original Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, you couldn't. What about Magmar slash Magmortar? You couldn't get them to post game. Who cares about the original Diamond and Pearl? What? what? <laughs> I, I think people are confused. I'm just saying, right? In the original games, there was only one fire type you could catch before the Elite Four, and that was like Ponyta. The other one was like Chimchar. That's it. That's all I was saying. But apparently some people got heated about it, but I don't understand. You're wrong! <laughs> no, I don't think I am. <laughs> Uh, we'll replace the old rod. Yeah. Have that one be up. I gotta get used to actually using the grid direction movement because... Like, for that there, see? If you're using, like, the thumbstick... You get, like, stuck. They actually have to use the D-pad to get in that because they've, like, recreated the grid. If you use the D-pad, it doesn't even let you go, like, diagonal. Which is kind of weird. What a weird choice, even, for movement. Yeah, it just feels more natural to use the freeform one. Unfortunately, Dado, compared to a lot of your audience, you're old. No, don't say that! Honestly, I don't even know if that's true. I think, like, I think most of my crowd is, like, kind of older, like, 20s and that. Most of them, at least. I know there's always a few kids, like, streams or so will be like, I'm, like, seven! And it's like, oh god. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you should be here. Yeah, see? 20. That's mostly... Eight share time. One gang. <laughs> There's a baby in the chat. <laughs> yeah, like most of my crowd is like 18 to 24, like about that age. A, a, like, adult and then kind of like 20s. I'm not too surprised by that, because, like, you know, I think for, like, the younger crowds, I think it's, like, a different kind of creator these days. Like, oh, how? Hey, guys. <laughs> High energy. It's good to see you. And I was like, oh, God, please, no. Thirty gang for the win. I'll be thirty soon. Twenty-seven, like 
How many months? I think it's like six or five. All my young days are all behind me now. 30 isn't even that old, honestly. In the long sum of it. Most of us are gonna be here till like 80. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the ice cream man not come today? He came earlier. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear him. Imagine RT streaming at 80. If I'm still alive, I will. I'm going as long as I can. I want to be like a 90-year-old man. Well, uh, like... Well, everything's just beyond me, but I, I'm still playing. I'm still like. You know they used to call me the Drift King back in college. That—that's my future. And I, I'll be still like kind of like like today we're gonna play Pokemon Gold. I ha I forgot what gold looks like. I've been here too long now. <laughs> what is gold? <laughs> What's a Pokemon? Like, you can clearly tell, like, I I've, like, forgotten most of Pokemon. But, like, I'm still playing these games. That's my future. That's the future I want. In the old people's home telling everyone you're drift the Drift King. Oh god, it's gonna be- Did you know they used to call me the Drift King back in college? Yes, Daniel, take your meds. <laughs> That's my future. Oh god. Right, uh, we need to get some more Pokeballs, because we haven't quite got the Great Balls yet. Uh, we'll get some more super potions. And we'll get, get a stack of them. One of those. Now nah, Artie's gonna be the Drift King. Of, the, of his care home. That's my future! <laughs> Uh, resident, thank you for a gift sub. Thank you. I'll be on like a mobility scooter and I'll still be claiming that they used to call me the Drift King. Oh, there is... Not an item there. It, re it really looks it, doesn't it? Is it here? It is here! Hard to tell with the grid based movement there. It's like, if you just try to go in, like, without it, you're gonna miss it. Wheelchair drift stream. Can't wait. Cyclone Road. I think this one just propels you when you get on it. Yes, it does. Yo, having a good time cycling. I was until you stopped me. Okay, let's go. Oh, we get to, uh, like, be in our helmet now. I think we, we have full-on cycling gear. We change into, like, shorts. Good thing all your downward momentum suddenly stops when someone wants to talk to you. Yeah, like, probably the equivalent of like a car crash to talk to this person. <laughs> I just like fly off the bike. <laughs> you want a battle? Are you finishing the game today, Dan? Over the weekend. We're gonna marathon it this weekend, because I, I just kind of want to play Pokemon. We're gonna be doing long boy streams each day. You don't have to stay for all of them? 
because there's gonna be they're gonna be quite long. But you're welcome to drop in and out. I, I just want to play Pokemon this weekend. That's why I'm not fussed about it. it's like oh like you know I'm spent like two hours in the underground. It's like no underground was fun. Uh, we can. Not having a ground type is like kind of gonna hurt me. Pin missile is the only attacking move there. That's kind of rubbish, Lettuce. Need to get you some more moves. Uh, just go on the reset. Time you streaming tomorrow? I'm starting at 3 p.m. GMT. Good luck at work, though. Yeah, that's more like it. Got him reset. Why are you in space now? It just happens sometimes. I think I get a Gyarados now. I'm at 20 for Magikarp. Well, you did it. <laughs> Finally useful. The thing is, I'm probably still not gonna use it. I don't need a Gyarados. I've got like, uh, I've got a Piplup. It's cute though. He's a big boy. Okay, uh, we'll swap him back out. Uh, what's something that can evolve by level up? Break a top can, yeah? I'm gonna try flesh out as much of the Pokedex as we can while we go. Where'd you get the Swablu from? From the underground. Are you planning the 100% the Pokedex? I don't know if, like, specifically this weekend, but, like, I'll probably do it, like, in my own time. But we are gonna actually take our time and, like, do things. Like, I wanna do the contest in that when we get them. We're just gonna try it out, and we're just gonna go at our own pace. We got loads of time. We're not rushing. Have you played Pokemon Coliseum? I have. It's okay. The setup for the plot in that is cool, but the game itself is very grindy. Not the biggest fan. Oh, Jefferson. Jefferson's getting anxious. You're okay, Jeff. You're doing great. I like Mystery Dungeon. I, I've i played many Mystery Dungeons. Yeah, they're good. I haven't played Conquest yet. I do have it, though. Maybe someday. I've had so many games since the last while that I just want to play. Like, it's been like kind of non-stop just stuff coming out. And, you know, I also want to like fit in at least 30 hours of Animal Crossing every week. Gotta maintain that quota. Pokemon Ranger, yeah, I've played Pokemon Ranger. I, I, I've played pretty much every Pokemon game. Maybe some of the more obscure ones, like Pokemon Trozy. Haven't played it. But like, I've been playing Pokemon all my life. Very addicted to Animal Crossing right now. Yeah, that's fair. Animal Crossing is really good with the new update. It's just so much content. I like quote unquote finished the DLC the other day. 
Uh, I got a bunch of unlocks. I, I got to set up my gamer PC in my house, which I'm so happy about. I love how people are listing off every single Pokemon game right now. Like, <laughs> check if he's a real Pokemon gamer. Has he played Pokemon Pinball? Like, I, I've played most of them. <laughs> what about Pokemon Dash, where you, like, use the stylus on Nintendo DS? But he hasn't played that one. Fake gamer. <laughs> I've played most of them. Have you played Pokemon Rumble? Yes, actually, I have. Fucking finish Pokemon Rumble on Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Take that, and I wouldn't recommend it. It was kind of lame. What about Pokemon Cafe? I actually want to try that one. The art for it looks cute. Look at that. Like, is someone compiling, like, a checklist right now to check every get one I've played? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh god, you gotta stop evolving. Okay, uh, Cricketune. Uh, what level does Ponyta evolve? I'm trying to get everything just as evolved as I can. Like, what levels is like Zubat and that evolved? I think Machop I can get evolved pretty soon. Ponyta is 40. Okay, leave Ponyta for now. That one's gonna take a while. I think you can catch Rapidash later. Get Machop up. We're going for the list of modded Pokemon games next. Hang on. <laughs> this guy hasn't even played like Pokemon Uranium. Fake gamer. The thing is, there's so many fan games, like, you could just make up the substance. Or, like, color. And it's probably a real game. He hasn't played Pokemon Apple. He hasn't played Pokemon Glass. Favorite is Pokemon Lasagna. <laughs> Delicacy. Pokemon McRib. Oh. Wasn't there like a time where everyone was like obsessed with the McRib? I kept hearing about it. I don't know why. And I don't understand what it is. It's like. It's just something they served at McDonald's a while, wasn't it? it was like, I remember there was a time I was like, oh my god, the McRib. Like, everyone was, like, there was, like, news stories. Like, the McRib is back in stock. I don't understand it. It's not even a good sandwich. Like, I spend very little time in America, and it's like, even I've heard about the McRib. Like, a substantial amount, I feel. There was a Simpsons episode about it. Was there? Okay. Oh, it's, it's the mascot. Uh, let's just switch to... Reset. I really need to get Gibble. Gibble would be so good. It's the rash. Gotta take it down. No gibble until you get strand. Oh yeah, I gotta... Can't even get to the cave, can I? I can fight the trainers on the way up to the cave at least. Get some XP. Gotta beat the region.
I admire people who understand gadgets. Lovely, ain't it? And how the shift gears. Oh, we get more stickers. There seems to be more sticker people in this one compared to the originals. It seemed big on that old mechanic. I just pressed Y. I was pressing Y because I was trying to get off my bike. Apparently you can just access all of this there. It's a weird button to have that bounce. The key items in that, like, you have to press plus. Still waiting for you in the underground, there's only two of us left. What, what are you still doing there? You guys go enjoy the underground, you don't need to wait up for me. Oh, down, sir. Hi, Dad, how's your Pokedex coming along? Me, I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, hopeless. This isn't about me, I got something nice for you. Dad, choose which hand you want. Uh, right. Verse Seeker. I'm impressed, Dad. You know what's important. Oh, okay. You can... Oh, you can rematch trainers. That's a Poketch. You can have this too, then. Oh, the Dowsing Machine. Yeah, I forgot that's what this was in this. Locate unseeable items. Something you should touch often. Is that gonna work proper? In this one. I didn't even think about that. Because you gotta touch this one quite quite regularly, but like... It's gonna be quite tedious to use. Oh god, yeah, that's actually kind of... Will that keep pinging? No, it won't. Okay, that... That's kind of horrible how that works. That does not feel good. Okay, so you're gonna have to tap that every... I'm gonna miss, like, every hidden item. I imagine... I'd like... If you play it in handheld, does that work any better? Like, this makes sense with a DS, but like, this isn't the DS. Like, it doesn't make any sense now. We tap. You gotta wait for it to ping out. Oh, uh, no, I, I never want to use that. Let's get rid of the watch. It's, it's kind of useless. It doesn't really work in this one. In handheld, you can press on the things, yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like, dock, that's just not gonna work. Kind of mad at the cap of that way. I want dies watch it made him want die. <laughs> I'll stop that. There's so many good TMs on the ground though. Well I mean I could get them, but like it's the difference of adding like 20 hours to play in this game. It's just using that app, I'd say. <laughs> if we're streaming it. But I think that's something I'll I'll do that in my off time. I tend to play in handheld mode anyway when I'm like playing off stream. 20 hours more content. Yeah, of like me trying to like find the disc on in the grass. Oh, I've dropped my keys somewhere. Hang on, let me just start look around here. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be as good of a piece of content as you guys think.
we would watch, but why? <laughs> I don't understand. There's a rare candy to the right of the hiker. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate that method of thousand. Let's see. Just every time there's a hidden item near me, chat can just tell me. How's that? Good luck on the COVID test, Sarah Pancake. If we watch paint dry, why wouldn't we watch it grind? Damn it, no, you're... So there's like two of these points now that are gonna invalidate whatever I say. If I ever say a game is difficult, okay, die to the first gym guy. And if I ever say you wouldn't watch that, Okay, paint drying guy. There's two of them now. To check and bait. I'm not gonna be able to make any arguments. Okay, bathtub guy. <laughs> uh, bathtub guy doesn't sound right. To the right of the hiker? That's to the left, but... It's still there. Thank you. Look at this. That was a rock climb all that, too. How do you feel about the exclusion of an actual experience chair? I mean, I like how... I... I, I wish there was the option to toggle it. I think that's the main thing. I think that's the main thing for a lot of people, because it really does jeopardize the game balance when it's always on. But it's also kind of nice if you're just grinding out or like just trying to get like um like evolution sorted or something like that. Like there's very little incentive to have to just like train each Pokemon and kind of just cheese it. Toggle, I think, is the best thing. Because then you could just, like, say, if you want to off of the main story, do that, and then you can pop it back on in the post game. I think it's fine then. I don't think most people are going to be bothered. I think it's just the fact that it's always on, because that kind of fundamentally changes everything. It's weird that it's on for this one, considering how, like, fateful they're trying to make it. Because, like, like, like that, that completely jeopardizes the balance of everything. Which do you, do you prefer, the one Pokemon item or the whole team? I kind of like the whole team one. Between the two. But I just wish there was an option to flick it off. Because, uh... You know, like, Jefferson's level 26. We're fighting level 16s at the moment. Like, he's so powerful. I haven't even made it to Heart Home yet. Rare candy should be viable in post game. Nobody likes grinding in post game. Well, they have that in Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is actually really good for like post game in some of those regards. Cause, like you can actually just get so much like free experience. Grinding is like non non existent. It's not a problem in that game. I had a level 90 Pokemon by the third gym <laughs> when I played Sword and Shield. <laughs> like that's insane. It would be it would be nice if um I guess just more options. I like, uh, toggles and that are always good. I, I think those would be good. I think your situation was a little different. But like, imagine I wasn't trying to beat Sword and Shield with just Cupcake. Imagine I like constructed a team. Like I could I could have just had like a Garchomp or Lucario, Cinderace like. 
I'm like, all level 100. Let's beat the third gym now, guys. You know? And it probably wouldn't have been that hard to get. That's just wild to me. Damn, the PP. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine for this battle. We're gonna go back to Pokemon Center after. And by the time you get to the first gym, you can have level 100 Pokemon easily due to the raids. Yeah, like, that That seems a bit insane. It's like, they give you almost way too much there. <laughs> At least that you still have like a bit of a choice so that you don't have to pursue that. I guess. Burb seems like it wants to be petted. I, I don't know how to pet you, Burby. There you go. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't really have like a Pokemon and me style thing in this one. <laughs> I don't know how to pet her. <laughs> oh. God, is something to say once again. Just stop that. Okay, well, we have the bike now, so that's not a problem. Uh, I can get a free Kranidos while I'm here. Okay, turn it into a Pokemon. I need time. So you go outside, go back in. You were gone too long, you kept us waiting unacceptable. Ready. Yeah, Kranidos is kinda cool. Here's some Pokemon. Uh, what level does Kranidos evolve? He looks so chubby. <laughs> It's 30, is it? Oh, it's 40. Yeah, it might take a little while longer to level that one then. Oh, uh, well, we still got stuff to level at the moment anyway, so we're fine. I don't know if I'm gonna use, like, reset at all to make the main team. I will use lettuce once lettuce, like, grows up a bit. It's just like uh, Jefferson and Burby trying to, like, take it on the world right now. Reset is here if shit hits the fan. <laughs> it's just like all like just a bunch of randomers. Well, this randomer. God. God's always taking up a slot. Only level one as well. I thought it was level 20 when you get it. Here, we can level that up instead of match up. I think you find match oaks in the wild anyway. There you go. New Pokemon only. In this party. Gen 4 is here. <laughs> Just zip. Go over here. Uh, we can fight some trainers at least. Even if we can't get in the cave yet. up all the stuff here. I just won't evolve because it's not getting any friendship points at all. No, it does by being in your party and like gaining XP. Leveling and that gives friendship. And it is actually getting a lot of XP as time goes on. Ah, uh, what I need to try to remember is how to get like a, I think it's a shiny stone? I want to get one of them because Rose Rage uh, is like way stronger than Roselia. Hiker here, we can get him. 
Oh. He startled me as he turns and locks eyes with me. In the secret cave. That's handy. We'll get quite a bit out of the cave then. This is actually kind of funny because like at the moment like I've got three of the Pokemon I used in my original team. Between like like Piplup, uh Rose Raid, or well, eventual Rose Raid and Star Raptor. I think I actually did have a like a Bidoof in my original team. I think I had like a Bi Barrel or something. Why do I use Peck? I might use Metal Pot. Still got it. It needs to evolve in daytime, Budgie, does it? We'll find out tomorrow if that's the case. Still haven't had the burp. There's no. I, you can't. It doesn't seem physically possible. Like, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna zoom that. Doesn't the Poke Edge have a HMs on it? It does. E. Uh, so you don't need to teach HMs, which is honestly like still kind of a nice change that they've made. I do like that one. Like it was, it was kind of nice back in the day for what it was, because like it gave Pokemon more purpose. Bronzer we haven't got yet, but it's like you'd ha you'd be like very restrained in your team composition. Like you'd almost always need like a normal type. A water type and a flying type, no matter what you did. Whereas now it's just like, yeah, you, d you just don't need any of them. Have fun. Like, you want to be like all fire type man? Maybe not for Sinar, but different game. Fire away. Congrats, you found a circle. Bronzo reminds me of, like a coin or something. Granados is getting stronger. Keep him there for now. That's the secret cave, yeah? Wayward cave. Yeah, we gotta gotta wait a bit to get in there. I don't think you can get any encounters because of the way the rocks are lined up. Oh no, you can walk around a bit in here. Even without strength. Is it possible to find Gibble in this section of the cave? We also don't have Flash. Gibble does not appear in this section. Call on a Bidoof. Oh, this is gonna be hell on earth to get out of, ain't it? Do we wanna try get through it now? Or do we wait? What, you do have Flash? I thought... Do I have it on the app? Oh, I do have Flash. It can also be used to eliminate caves. Does that still work out how it was? Or is there like a poke out chat for it? That's weird. Like, this is like another odd half measure. 
All the HMs are bound, but Flash! No, you still gotta, like, teach that one and use it. This is gonna be, like, the only one like this now. Uh, I'll give this to Lettuce, because Lettuce is actually gonna be sticking around on the team. I like God. Hey, Mew, how you doing? <laughs> Give this to poor old Lettuce here. Wait, oh god, could have learned Flash. I should have given that to God. Because God's just going to be sitting here most of the time anyway. It's also thematically appropriate because like, And the Lord said, let there be light. Oh no, he couldn't. Uh, the Lord changed his mind. Right, oh, so. The Lord delegated. <laughs> At least you have the rocks for navigating here. Tell you when you've reached like a new section. <laughs> Wait, why am I not, why am I not using flash? Why am I still wandering the deck? What's, what's wrong with me? Like you hold on to that light there. Don't turn it on or anything. I just like having it close. Oh, thank God. Dan is a masochist. Like, it's really horrible in this cave, too. Just like the way it's laid out. Wandering this one in the dark is not gonna be fun. Getting out of it in the dark, I think it'd be worse. You know, we kinda need the XP. Actually, no we don't. What am I talking about? Easy XP, so we might as well just take it. That's what I meant. Might as well have it. You think you just said, bud, you have flame when you use flash? Just ignite them. <laughs> You're the light source now. Why are the two kids just in here? Like, it's like a pitch black cave. What are they doing down there? <laughs> They had no light source until I lit the place up. They must have been, like, they could have been lost here for days. Caves are, like, such a novelty in Pokemon, but, like, they, they must be, like, like, IRL, I imagine they're terrifying. To go on into. Take out God again. Met kids, they love getting into spooky places. I mean, true. But like this, just <laughs> wait. Burb is dozing off. And must be sleeping. What, what does that mean? <laughs> Burby sleepy. I mean, there's spooky places, and then there's might die places. You know, I feel like there's a difference. <laughs> Are the traders supposed to be this low leveled? I believe so. I don't even think we're that, like, we've done much to be too over leveled ourselves. We've just been battling every trainer. But it's all kind of just stacking up. Verb was upset you didn't pet them. Oh my god. Give us the pets! Like, pet us! Pet us! It's gonna be like chat all over again with robes. Okay, we did it. We beat up the kids. And took their money. Mission accomplished. Get double team. I'm pretty 
pretty sure there's like stairs to go to like a lower floor. I can't remember like, if they're, they're available in the main cave though. I thought there was like two bits of them. There's definitely, there's definitely stairs in like the secret entrance one. This kid's still lost, RT. One of them is going to die. The other will become a Wendigo. <laughs> Oh my god. Not again. I got so hungry so I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas and now I can't stop burping. The trainer lost in Wayward Cave. Like, these guys have just been waiting here. In the darkness. It looks kind of silly, just how identical they are. <laughs> I don't know what it is with them, just side by side. The twins, apparently, yeah. Okay, uh, just the break sturdy, I guess. Only two more hours until the honey will be ready. <laughs> oh, thank you for keeping track there, yeah. <laughs> we can go back and check it later if I'm still playing. This is just Pokemon Weekend. Like, if I wasn't streaming this, I'd just be playing Pokemon anyway. I, like, always clear my day whenever a new Pokemon game comes out just to play it. I love Pokemon. Get it. Oop. Let's get it. Whack that a bit. Flat twist, none of these traders have flash. You think they're all just lost? But they can never find the way out. It's a marathon, a Pokemonathon, if you will. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so cheesy. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're not just doing a marathon of Pokemon, we're doing a Pokemonathon. Whoa! -ho! It's got that kind of energy. Drums in the deep, it's not the fucking mines of Moria. <laughs> they are coming. No, the cringe voice. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna be? Because I, I do, like, of all my voices, that cringe gamer voice probably comes out the most. How long do you think it's gonna be before I just get permanently stuck like that? Like, I'm unironically introduced to every stream. It's like, whoa! Hey, guys! <laughs> it's so good to see ya! Three years. <laughs> uh, you already are. How you introduced the stream? Did you forget? No, stop that. Depends how willing you are to become a top gamer. Uh, <laughs> we'll do family friendly RT game. Where it's like, uh, like, the Disney Channel presents RT Game. He's a gamer, and he plays games at home. Join him on his wacky antics and become an RT Gamer. Disney Channel star RT Game. <laughs> Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm leaving the cave. I have to tone down all my language as well. Oh heck! What the heck is going on here? Whoa! I'm gonna use a repel here. I just I just wanna get through this cave. I don't think we can find Gibble right now. Uh, other items.
Daniel is a Mickey Mouse clubhouse guest, isn't he? Oh, we walked all the way back out of the cave. I was afraid of this. At least I kept the would you like to use another one quality of life change. That was only introduced in Gen 5. Down this way. Hero, thank you for 300 bits. I will give you bits not to do that RT, for the love of God. Whoa, it looks like Hero Blade here just engaged the serious gamer mode. I'm gonna have to stay focused the next five minutes. Oh no, how will I get through this? I hate it. <laughs> Please don't. Give him his money back now. Yeah, hero, if you want a refund, I'm not gonna hold it against you. <laughs> like... <laughs> Daniel, please, my ears are bleeding. Don't worry guys, we're very serious gamers. Like we're we're professional gamers here, you know. Don't need the hot to do high energy. Daniel, I hate you, but I love you. <laughs> I've had ha I haven't I've had an ear infection before. Congrats, Danny, you've made a comeback, but worse. <laughs> That's the most like Roundabout creative way to say fuck you I've ever heard. <laughs> I love it. I I honestly can't imagine it if like my content was more like family friendly, if it was like Consciously just like no don't say swears and it's like But you know if we just didn't joke and like everything is like so like watered down it's like whoa I I couldn't imagine it. I think I'd hate myself. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do it. <laughs> oh god. Can you please purposefully make a family-friendly video just once? I don't think I want to. <laughs> I think I would, like, despise my job. Because, like, like part, part of the reason, like, I love doing this is because, like, we, we just laugh while we play games like that, you know? Like, it's, fu it's actually quite funny. Like, I have a good time with you. Like, could you imagine, like, every stream? It'd be insufferable. Oh, someone gave 666 bits? That's the country roads button. You know what that means. <laughs> Just make a satire out of it, mayhaps. We've, we've, we've actually done one. I, I did, like, a solitaire stream, like, a few years back, where we were just playing solitaire, but it's, like, all in that voice. Oh, God's evolving now. No, not now, God. Not time. There's a lot of angry comments on that Solitaire video, too. Just like, God, I hated him in this video. <laughs> this thing is kind of hilarious. Oh, I just couldn't stand him. Like, if it's just someone's, like, first time watching my content, that's the video they found. They'd never, like, give anything else a chance. He's insufferable. There's just so many encounters here. Uh, 
It's weird going back to just using repels and that. I'm so used to with the later Pokemon games that's like, just don't walk into the Pokemon in the grass. But we're back to the old way now. Kind of mad. Get this way. Did you upload an April Fool's Day by chance? I think I did. I It was around then. I think we played it. I can't remember when exactly. 2019 is a bit of a blur of a year for me. I just know it was then at some point. Favorite the poison barb. Too much coke. No, that's. T <laughs> I was just. <laughs> I was just high as a kite, guys. <laughs> no idea what's happening. No, no, that's that's not what. <laughs> It was a very busy year. <laughs> Not enough coke. Oh god. Funny twenty kind of overshadowed it. Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> As most people know. I've honestly had like a, a lot of fun streaming though. Like, like, I guess the last year and that. We've done a lot in like the, the last, like like 2021, 2020. It's like, like Chloe was going through, um, cause, cause we're working on like a best of for the year of like all the highlights from everything this year. And so I think like already, like we've got as many hours streamed as we did for 2020 in its entirety. Which is kind of wild, because like, we've still got like a month and a half to go. And I feel like I've not streamed as much this year, but apparently I've streamed even more. And like, it's crazy looking back at it, because like, there's just so many playthroughs of things. Like, we did Bug Snacks, we did Celeste, we did Hollow Knight. We did Fable, we did Hitman. It's been so, like, we, we also did like this year, like, Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, Mario Odyssey and Mario 3D World. All of them 100% completed. That was all this year. Which is insane to me. I forgot Mario Galaxy 2 was this year. Uh, Aerial Ace. Ooh. That is a goodie because that never misses. Uh, that's better than Wing Attack. Yeah, that's definitely better than Tackle, so let's just swap those. Like, Ace Attorney was this year? We did Paper Mario this year as well? We did a Subnautica game this year? It's actually insane how many playthroughs of stuff there's been. And it's like, most of these things, we did full playthroughs of these games too. Metopia. There's actually just so many series on the channel now, if people are like ever looking for stuff to watch. Parkle this year too, that was last year. But isn't that crazy? Like, I forgot like Mario Galaxy 2 and that was this year. Rhythm Heaven was this year. Uh, Punch-Out we did this year. There's so many. Cyberpunk was this year. Yes, it was. Cyberpunk was this year. We only finished that in like February. Isn't that wild? That was this year. It was. Yeah. Cause like we did a fair bit of it up in the run to Christmas, but then I like I stopped for a while and then we went back to it, and it wasn't until like January and that. That was this year. God, I feel old now. Oh no. Okay, I, I think have we um cleared the cave? I think I've done everything I can in the cave right now. I, I think I need to come back with strength. I need to come back with strength and like 
40 repels. Cave encounters seem insane here. There's still there's something major you still you missed. Uh Is there? Can you do two Dark Souls runs as well? Yeah, Dark Souls was this year as well. We did a lot. Where was I going with that point? I, there, there was some tangent that I came off. We were like thinking about like, yeah, we just think about like the last year and that. Kind of crazy. I've had a lot of fun streaming it just all this time though. I've really been enjoying myself. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching it. I feel like I'm missing something in this cave. Um, but I don't know what it is. There's very clearly a path over there, but the, the rocks are blocking it. There's someone at the end of the cave you have to escort out. Oh god, I remember that now. I haven't gone this way. Oh, you think that's what all the double battles are for? Because I'm supposed to get her first. I've already cleared out the cave. <laughs> Still do Dark Souls 2. I want to get back to Dark Souls 2 in that. Just other stuff has kind of come up. Like, there's been a lot of new releases, like, just the last while. Like, we, we can go, we'll go back and do, like, all the Souls games in that eventually. One time I ran into a shiny Zubat here, she ended up killing it. That is unfortunate. So sorry. This section of the cave is completely new. I wish I brought repels. I can just say I'm like impromptu shiny hunting here. Oh, that. I pressed the wrong button. I'm getting used to pressing like, because A and B feel like they swap between so many controllers. I think because maybe I've been playing a lot of Forza. I keep pressing B to confirm stuff, which is not correct. Well, you know, I'm sure this is for that trainer that we're to encounter, but we don't need him. It looks like you might just have the Pokemon I've been looking for. Keep telling us in case there's a couple of things you're sure to see. Zubat and Rune Maniacs. We've seen the Dark Souls 1 mod that has Halo Collector's Edition weapons to the game. I have, actually. <laughs> Turns it into an FPS. That looks kind of wild. Fours of Five was this year. I mean, that one's not as remarkable because that's like a week ago. <laughs> We're not going too far back there. Like, wow! A week's already gone by. If, uh, what? I'm just gonna have a quick look if I can see like what the scariest one would be. That was this year that people might have forgot about. Uh, crashing the economy was this year. I don't know if people remember that one. Oh god. There's a lot of Minecraft builds earlier this year too. Load the new Earth series. That was all. Uh, loads that was this year. I haven't done that in a while. Wasn't this the year where you released the sound mod for, for Team Fortress 2? No. <laughs> no, it was not. 
That's not releasing. <laughs> Dan's first ever Terraria event this year. Don't believe me. Good, I'm lying. I just started YouTube this year. It's hard to believe it when you look back. In fact, I don't believe it. Burby still wants to be petted. I, I don't know what to do. Can't help her. It's hard to believe I was, I was on t I was ten years on YouTube this year alone. Twenty twenty one. We did all ten years. You singing I would do anything for love backwards with Kiwa was this year. No, shut up, it wasn't. There's no way that one was this year. No way. No, that can't have been this year. I don't believe you. Oh, it was last year or 2019. Okay, yeah, that no, was not this year. <laughs> Give me a heart attack there. <laughs> Lost track of our semblance of time. <laughs> oh, here they are. Yeah, I completely forgot about this character. I'm Mira, I was catching Pokemon, then I got lost, I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Keep your Pokemon healthy. Let me find a nugget. I, I forgot this character exists. There's like a few follow NPCs in it. Like, Cheryl is probably the most memorable one because she's just the first one. But there's like mirror there there's Aaron on the Iron Island. That that's a really cool one. It's like a cool sequence. And then I think there's like another one like post game Victory Road and then there's one more on like the Battle Island. Can I just use an escape rope and get out? Or do I have to lead her back? I don't- I don't want to chance it, because if I use this and leave, I'm gonna have to go back and get her. I feel like the game would not allow that, it kind of doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna climb on out. Killing everyone in the Hitman vid came out this year. That that stream was this year too. That's when we made the news. <laughs> it's because of that video that I think I got verified on Twitter in the end. Because like they check for news outlet sources when they, they consider like verification. All of mine were because I like was a psychopath and murdered a bunch of people. It's kind of hilarious. There's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Dad, bye bye. Thank you. I'll see you later. <laughs> you forget we're called Dad. Okay, I think if I use the bike, I counter way more Pokemon. So we'll just go for a quick all run. I feel like I get stuck in the terrain a lot because of like the using the control stick. Kind of weird that they didn't make it like everything just a little bit bigger. Alright. 
Back out we... There's a tree here. Yeah, thanks for that 100 bits. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We've been thorough with all the routes. Like, we actually checked the town map. Uh, my blind. It's actually not there, is it? Oh, it's got its own item thing now, I think. Town map. There you go. See? We've explored, like, a good chunk of the region, and there's still, like, a lot of extra stuff to see and do in these ones. Especially with the caves and the mountain. See, we've done, like, a loop of all that stuff there. I love when the Pokemon regions are just laid out like this a bit more, because, like, it feels, like, all interconnected more. Like, there's, like, a side path, you can go back there. Whole area there. There's still more stuff to do with, like, the haunted house. You go ironworks. Oh, yeah, there is an ironworks in this game. I completely forgot that zone exists. Yeah, God, yeah, the, the stuff, there's reason to explore. It's cool. I completely forgot that exists. We need to get surfed to that for there. Yeah, there's a whole other route down here. Gotta explore every nook and cranny again. Okay, uh, Pokemon Center. Where was the haunted house? Is that the top of the forest? Plan to explore everything in this run? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna, like, we're just do going through all of it. We're gonna try play all the Pokemon Diamond. I'll probably be able to complete the Pokedex too, because I already have it complete in Sword and Shield. I reckon I can just transfer a bunch over? I'll have to have a look at, like, Pokemon Home and that tonight. See what I can do. Uh, that's a rock climb item there, so I can't get that. Transfer isn't in yet until 2022. Really? Oh, okay. You know, that's actually not a bad thing. I, I can just complete it in my off time then. If I don't complete it, like, this weekend, I'll just gradually work away at that. Oh my god, look at him, he's so cute! According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinar region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. What became of that world? He has no nose! Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife is spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. I don't think I have a nose either. <laughs> no, I do have a nose. If you look at the side, you can kind of see it. The face pops out a little. It's Voldemort. <laughs> oh my god. It all makes sense now. This mountain is a real cool area in the game. It's like there's like loads of different parts to it. Have to go back in there soon. Just a little kid. He's supposed to be a big man like me. Hiker Robert. This is a cool area. Let me just leave it. Well, no, because I can't explore it yet. <laughs> he comes back to it. This is the best bit of the game. Let's ignore it. No, we, we just can't go that way yet. Isn't this where you can fish for Tratini? Can you? I didn't realize you could get Tratini in like, the base Pokedex in this game. 
I am getting lost in Mount Coronet a lot when I played Platinum. Me too. It's like really sprawling and like a lot of the sections kind of interlink with each other. And so it's like very easy to like go the wrong way completely. It'll be, it's cool actually knowing that we'll get to explore some of this again in like the Arceus game. Like hopefully when we get to explore it then it's like... I mean it's com uh, completely new kind of zones. Black Belt Kyle. So hyped for the Arceus game. Me too. Like, uh, I'm excited, but like I'm trying to also manage expectations. <laughs> I don't want to get too excited, but it is like... It's cool that they'd even consider going that direction for Pokemon games. It's like it means they might do more of them in the future. And, you know, if they were like, refine the formula there, could be like a cool alternative. Looks cool with the concept, just have they realized it is the main question. There's a rock climb spot. The rock climb spots always look like chocolate chips or something to me. Oh, did I switch them back? For this hungry hiker, I don't think I did. Hiker Jonathan. I'm worried it's going to be a 40 hour wild area from Sword and Shield, but just wait for reviews. Then. We're going to play it on launch here. Because I, I, I want to give it like a proper go. So like, it's like between that and like this now, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon in the next well. It's pretty cool. Sweet, you can make the mistakes for me. I will indeed. <laughs> oh. Game Freak needs to fix the online Pokemon card game. I I've never played Pokemon cards. I had some when I was a kid, and I've always wanted to try to learn it and give it a go. I've been playing like a fair bit of Magic lately with friends, um, and just like kind of trying that out. Only tried it for the first time this year. It's been good fun. It's like almost from that though, I've been like, oh, I kind of want to give Pokemon a shot. Magic is fun, but like I don't really like know who anyone is. Whereas like Pokemon-based card game, it's like. I can tell you everything about all these characters. Instantly. I've grown up with them all my life. You gonna try Yu-Gi-Oh too then? I, I've pl I played Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. It's very changed from what I've heard. Aroma Lady. Let's defeat her bees. It's a bum bummer about Hearthstone stuff. It is, but it's actually given me a bit of an opportunity to try other card games, which I'm okay with. You know, they've actually been very fun. Pokemon cards is one I'd honestly like be down for trying out and getting into. It's a shame if the online game isn't that good. Like, I, mean, I, I don't know anything about it, or if there's any issues. How about Inscription? I mean, I've heard that's more of like a meta game than, than just like a fun card game. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of Kiwa playing it. What happened with Hearthstone? Uh, Blizzard. <laughs> it's, it's been kind of rough with them. But hey, there actually does seem to be a bit of a movement and momentum being gained for actual change. Which is like, more power to them, you know? God, you're not evolving. It 
it makes me sad for the stuff with Blizzard and that because like I do genuinely love their games and their worlds, but it's like you know you can't support that kind of stuff. But I, I, I stopped taking sponsors with them like when it all really came to light. Oh, we got an artist. It makes me sad, because, like, Hearthstone is one of my favorite games, but I can't support it. Like, I just, I just can't. You know, like... But here's hoping there's actual change soon. It does look like it's gearing up that way. Oh yeah, if you, yeah, people ask, like, what, what about Blizzard? J just give it a Google, you'll find it very quick. There's, there's been a lot going on there. Okay, uh, Jefferson, Sunderman. What level does, uh, Print Pulp evolve? Is it 30 or 36? I'm gonna hit it soon, either way. Thirty-six, okay. We'll get it. When will you play Fortnite? All caps. Highlighted message. When's it gonna happen, Daniel? We're waiting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> when is it, huh? Why do you disappoint us? Oh, this is the berry master's house. He gives you free berries. Yeah, I remember this lad. Free berry. Does he give you two in this one? Oh, he gave you two in Hoenn. He's gotten stingy. Even forgetful type loses track of where berries are planted. Yes. The town map shows you where they're ready to be picked. Okay. Well, you can buy berries now, too. That might have been in the originals. There, there was, like, an... When was it that I said... There was actually a point where I said I would play Fortnite. Oh, that's a weird man. Go to Route 209, head to the ground, underground, listen to the stone pillar. Oh shit! A spirit arm was linked to the underground back in the day. You're actually going to be able to do that now because the internet exists. I forgot about that, yeah. Talk to Spelunkers. That's right, yeah. You're actually going to be able to get him. Cool. I, I know in Sword and Shield they did like a spirit arm thing as well, where it's like if you actually talk to enough players online, you get to encounter it in um, the, one of the DLCs, which is really cool there too. That's kind of wild though. That, yeah, finally in the original game, you're going to be able to experience that. It's neat. Okay, oh, the contests are coming up. Most desirable place to live in Sinna. Plenary. Thank goodness you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Benary could have ran. If Benary back in the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Super Contest Show Judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. All in a day's work, man. Work very hard. One, two, step. One, two, flip. And turn. Trainer, aren't you? Two choices of challenges, either the gym or a super contest show. You want a Pokemon egg? Sure. 
Uh, let me just quickly make space. There we go. That's handy enough. The egg has been added to your party. Take that egg and travel energetic Pokemon, it'll hatch. Heard they found eggs in the Johto region too. Why are you blocking the door? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, he's gonna offer to show us. I remember this guy now. We got lost when he came here. You want me to show you where it is? Let's just humor him. This is the contest hall. Please do go inside. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excusez-moi. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the Hearthstone gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. You may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. See you later. It's a future gym. She just blipped out of existence there. Uh, <laughs> future gym leader. Did I say the Hearthstone gym leader? <laughs> Welcome to Hearthstone City. Close enough. You have a Poffin case. If you don't, you gotta visit the fan club. Oh, the GWS is open too. We will go back to the GWS on that. We'll wait till we get flying. And then we can check out a bunch of that. I'd like to live in Hardhome City when I get married. My boyfriend wants to live in Veilstone because of its department store. Go to the park. Pikachu seems delighted to be out of its Pokeball for a walk outside. So in the original game, how this worked is there was only like... I think like 12 Pokemon you were allowed to walk with. That were considered cute enough and everything else you're not allowed to bring. It's still that way. Okay, right. This is blatant discrimination. At least we can take Jefferson. I don't know if you were allowed to do it with your starters before. I think before if you tried to show up with your starter Pokemon, you'd be like, no. Can't believe I'm so overjoyed by Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me. Starters were added in Platinum. Okay. Meanie is drowsy. There's probably a bunch of hidden items in this park, but the Poketch app is... so horrific that I almost don't want to use it. Oh, never mind. I can't. Okay. There's definitely hidden items here. I'm surprised I can't use the app. Here you may cook berries and turn them into poffins. What what are you doing out here? I need, I need a case. Talk to your Pokemon and can occasionally find things. Jefferson appears to be feeling good. Use the right stick to move the camera around and view your walking partner Pokemon as much as you like. Also, reset the camera to its original state by pressing and holding down the right stick. <laughs> Let me just, uh, grab a thumbnail real quick.
can't zoom it out too much. Or any further. It only lets you change the angle like that. Which is a bit odd. The ruins of a long, long time ago. Spooky plate. Power of defeated giants infuses this plate. That is spooky. Oh, uh, you can go in these. Amulet coin is in here. We we actually want that. Uh, I can't access my bag while I'm in the park. Okay, that seems weird. Feeling refreshed? Please come again. Oh. Oh, it looks like the Pokemon that was taking a stroll at you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be, would be delighted if you let them out of the Pokeballs outside the square, too. Is this it? Can it follow? How do I- how do I let it follow? It refused entry to my Pokemon. There we go! Pokemon follow you now. Does it work based on the lead? You can just click walk together. You'll walk together with God! God is happy following behind you. Give God a pet. God is staring at your face. God is clinging to you. <laughs> yeah, the original ones that were permitted. Let's see what the short list is. Only 11 Pokemon were permitted originally. Psyduck, Pachirisu, Drifloon, Baneri, Happy and Eat Clefairy, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Shroomish, Torchic, and Skitty. That's it. You couldn't even take your starters with you in there. In the original. And if any of them evolve, I don't think you can take the evolution. They don't check those. So if like you have a Raichu, well, you're out of luck. I think that there's a church in this town. Pokemon people, it's only natural that we are also very different. Here you never judge a Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. Always look for the good in them, that's what counts. Still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Go. Eh. People are lonely is only natural, it gives me compassion for others. What makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. There's still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal some sadness, though. Oh, Jesus. Mood's uh, pretty heavy in here. People with Pokeball join hands, everyone's happy. Everyone come together. Could even make the world one. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It's such a wondrous cycle. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Would you like to meet God? <laughs> Poffin House, let's get the case in here. Like the cook, I still need a case. Oh god, we're gonna have to spin it again. Is this gonna work without the touch screen? Remember, you played this in the Nintendo DS back in the day. I think it's in the fan club here that they mentioned the Puffin case. 
I'm getting stuck. Hello, hello, how how I say do you do? I'm the Pokemon fan club chairman, indeed, yes I am. You wish to treat your Pokemon to treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say what I do that? Giving a Poffins is a way to exp of expressing your love. For example, if I give a sweet Poffin to Pokemon, eating it will become more cute. A spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. But, isn't Bitter one of the flavors? I don't know if that's good. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Dry is also one of the flavors. Jefferson's friendly towards us, that's nice. Uh, the Pokemon do not follow us indoors. Only outdoors. Can't take them in the homes. If I be out in a stroller, I can see the town in a different way. You Notice know, things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. All over the world follow super contests. Yeah, we got anything in here. Ah, yes, my favorite flavor dry. <laughs> I feel like dry is another way of saying plain for flavors in this game. Got a shell bell. Bland, yeah. Bagel, good to see you. Thanks for the resub. I can't believe we actually do have 48 month streaks, and that's a thing. We've been doing this a while. <laughs> it's four years. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, I had to go to the center over there. I'm just seeing if there's anything in the houses. Having a look, a look around. Oh, here's Beat again. Everyone was battling those scary guy looking guys in Jubilee. Really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And surprise, surprise, turns out you connected to the famous Professor Rowan. You've been going around, uh, feeding gym leaders, too. As soon as I thought my eyes were gonna pop out of my head. He gave us the ball capsules. System administrator. Let's hop in here. I think we're gonna have to try a contest while we're here. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Dad! <laughs> oh, God. Wait, no, really? Joada's your mom, so you might be a Super Contest show star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Dad about Super Contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. All right, I need to thank you early. Please take this sticker. So we can decorate them more. Are you surprised to see me, Dad? I got bored, so I came out to Har home for a little vacation. This is a surprise to see you here, my dear. Are you serious about entering super contest shows? Not dressed that way. Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. Get a tuxedo. <laughs> just happens to have that honor. Pokemon Select is the star of the show that'll put up its photo. Oh god, so I think this is now gonna unlock. Let me see, check summary. Yes, this unlocks like the contest moves. But it seems a little bit different. Normally these had types associated with them, so this would be like a cool type move. This is height points, this is different. Okay. 
Jefferson likes bitter food. Dry food, sweet, eats anything. God eats anything. And it's just an egg. Egg watch, what will happen from this egg it doesn't seem close to happen. Okay, we, we gotta try a contest. Uh, does God have enough moves for a contest? Try him. Gonna end the super contest shows, and yep, you have a popping case. Wait. Oh, yeah, did. Did she give me the popping case? I don't remember getting it. No, the fan club guy did. Okay, now I got it, yep. I think this is, uh. Linked super contest shows. Yeah, so if you wanna play multiplayer ones, you can do this via internet. We can have a contest battle. Oh my god, who wants to take part in this? <laughs> Th that's that's a huge change, is that it's like actual online functionality. Okay, right, contest battle. Let's go. Searching for a squad. I need to try to get some actual clothes for my character. I don't know if anyone's gonna be here in, like in time that has this game. Oh, we got one. There's Moopy. Hello there. Give me five hours to get there. Is there anyone else? 25 seconds or it's like a 1v1 versus Moopy. <laughs> we got Molly. There's one slot. Uh, Kaiushin. Okay, we got a squad. Uh... Let's come. let's just do random and normal rank. I think that's fairest. Okay, cuteness contest, normal rank. Please choose a Pokemon to enter as well as his contest move. God is... <laughs> God can enter. I have to select his move. Headbutt. Perfect ball capsule. Oh my god. That's not a tuxedo. That is, uh, Mom has not seen a tuxedo. I feel like an idol. Alright, let's go. We've all got the same outfits. Let's go. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Super contest show, cuteness rank. Entry number one is dad and god. <laughs> one of these entries is gonna be a bit different to the rest of them. We got a squad. It's a rhythm game. Oh no, it's a rhythm game. Contest move X, what does that do? Press and hold. Press and hold. God shows off with headbutt.
but we need to get as much hype as possible, I think. What are they doing? They're all just like walking on stage. I remember in the original, there was like a dance mini game. This is like a very different one. <laughs> What a successful super contest show. The audience had a blast. There's the show are. Boopy and Ponyta. Okay. That's literally it. Oh. Oh god, that's been gutted. Oh no. Oh, that's barely anything. That that's not what it was. Um so how this works on DS is I can't believe that's it for that. That was really short. Uh, how that works on DS is you would have a Pokemon dress up. You'd have a Pokemon dance round. Where you have to do like kind of like a rhythm game, but like with four different button prompts. And that was after the dress up. And then you would have five rounds of moves. And you would have to get certain combos and the moves would have certain types. Yeah, that's been absolutely gutted. That's a real shame. It's just Pokemon musical from black and white. It reminds me of that and the musicals in black and white are... Shite. Is that just for online? Maybe it's different if I go solo. Let's try it. Coolness. Normal. Let's enter God again. It's asking me to pick the move again. I, I think this is the same. It doesn't bother me, I didn't do the contest. I mean, it just used to be its own system, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a shame. It used to be quite fleshed out, but... Same thing. It's a cute little rhythm game, but it's not much. Like, the Pokemon aren't even doing anything on stage. Look at Badoof, like, just walk. Like, Machop's just walking on the spot. Badoof's walking again. I forgot to do my headbutt. It's a one button rhythm game. Yeah, that's actually kind of sad when you say it that like that. I'm gonna need a lot to rank up in that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna need a lot. Yeah, that's kind of sad. I get a coolness sticker. You don't get ribbons, do you? Doesn't have any ribbons, no, you just get a sticker. Try a higher rank, maybe. Let's just ask someone in chat. 
at a higher rank, is there more to it? <laughs> I don't want to do that like a third time. Nope. Okay. I looked at Cerebi, there seems to be three elements of visual dance and move evaluation. That's what it was in the originals. Then you want the 100% this right? Well, no, we're doing like everything in the game and we're trying it. But like, we'll, we'll stick it out with the stuff that's of actual substance and fun. <laughs> That's a real shame. That was so fleshed out in the originals. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> like, he's even saying it. Every Super Contest show has three parts, a visual dance and a contest move. Oh, but no, it's... <sighs> because the last one was called contest moves. I think that... So they've just gutted it to a down to a single move. It's hardly a dance. The visual, actually, you got to dress him up before. Yeah, like, ah. Uh, that's that's kind of sad. Like, the, like, they don't even have much to say. Like, the more you hit the notes, the higher the score. You only get one shot. That's a real shame. Okay, uh, let's head back on out. Back to back moves, that's from the old version. So the back to, to in the old one, you had five rounds of using moves. And the moves actually have like types, like some will be actually like a cool type move or like draw, like it was like beauty type move. So you'd have to actually really plan your Pokemon's move set to even compete in the contest. Like a battle ready Pokemon would not be that good in contest because the moves are completely different. There's an actual strategy to it. And you could get some serious unlocks, I think, for your secret underground base uh, by doing it. If you complete it like master rank and it got really hard. There was like an actual progression to it though. There were also three judges to judge your performance. There was, yeah. That's a shame. That's been completely gutted. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Even notice that kid. I didn't notice him either. I think your mom was one of the judges before she was in one of the master rank competitions. There was like a few different judges that would show up. Yeah, I can't remember if your mom was one. But there'd be like a little bit of variance. Guys, this wasn't Game Freak, they outsourced it for, for these re remakes. Yeah, but they're, Game Freak's still responsible though, you know? They have the resources to say, put this in the game. The most successful media franchise in the planet, you know? So it's like, when stuff like that happens, I'm not gonna, like, excuse it. <laughs> that is a shame. That they just, like, got at that so much. Because, like, they're, they're very big in the old faithful re recreation angle. Uh, that's just not faithful. That was a huge part of it in the original. Oh, t lads back as well. Oh, we gotta go. Get the show started. 
Pokemon trainer lad. We're in space again for some reason. Why do we keep going to space? He's level 19. We are level 29. He might have a bit of an edge. He does have a Growl. That's the strongest Pokemon, I think. Uh, let us just switch in the Burby. This is the inside of Barry's mind. <laughs> Like the background is like <laughs> just in space. They have some very detailed backgrounds for like the other zones. I thought were actually really good. I love like the mountain ones and that because you actually like it's actually very faithful to where you are. It looks cool. Like even like when you're in the cave, like it had like a, a cool one. Is it just not a city one or something? Or is it just Barry? You go to space when it's Barry. I just accidentally killed a shiny Bidoof. Oh, God, love you. <laughs> God, love you. Shiny God just died. I actually had a different background for this fight when I got to it. I'm not sure why you're in the void. Wait, really? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, is it the time of day? Well, so like, was it like a brighter background? I find it hard to believe if it's like you're playing the game in the evening while you don't get the pretty background. <laughs> that would be insane. We beat Lad. The fight always looks like this. Okay. Right. Well, we killed Lad again. He just keeps running. Okay, uh, so you can go to Veilstone at this point, but I don't think you have to. Uh, you can, like, trek down to, like, the fort gym instead. Uh, but I think we're just gonna go Veilstone. <laughs> there's some cool- there's some cool places over here. It's nice that you have the option, though. You can just, like, kind of, like... Let's see, this pat here? The next region of, like, the map is all of this square. Like, you have access to pretty much all of it. You can't go off to the right. But you can run all the way around here. It's cool because it just makes the world feel really open when you have like decisions like that. Wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It's got me curious. Switch the Burby. We'll press on. Oh, is the casino gonna be gone? No, they, they showed the casino in the trailer, I think. I remember seeing that. I'm pretty sure the casino was actually maintained, which is kind of weird, because normally you're not allowed to do that. The casino is replaced. Oh, okay, well... Okay, alright. It's now a closed door. Right. Okay. That's quite the transformation. Uh, 
That's that's really not the same thing at all. I'm amazed it's not even like it's not even Voltorb flip thing. Uh, I preface this stream by saying that it's not Pokemon Platinum and like, well, let's just try it for what it is. But yeah, it is. It is hard to overlook it sometimes, ain't it? In in terms of features, it's like you're conscious of it in the back of your brain that like there's another version of this game. We'll keep going though. At the very least, we got a lot of Sinnoh, and Sinnoh is a very cool region. It is a wonder to explore Sinnoh in comparison to some Pokemon games. There's actually, like, a lot of stuff to find and uncover. I say Sinnoh, sir. I've always said Sinnoh. Sinnoh. Got like a random accent all of a sudden. Sinner! There's a bi barrel up there. Hello there? I'm training for a super contest show by bi barrel. Looks to me you've already participated in a super contest show. Beat me to the punch. Oh, we get some more stickers. I feel like the game's gonna give us stickers as a reward for a lot of things. It does seem to be leaning quite hard on them. I don't know if I care too much about collecting the stickers. Good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Here you go. You jog every morning too. Oh, you can only battle him in the morning, that's right. She's just giving us more stickers, okay. God yawned wide widely. They still have the tedious way of getting Feebas. Honestly, I hope it's that archaic. <laughs> Make Feebas as torturous as possible. To even locate in the game. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Bonsley and Mime Jr. He's a cute new Pokemon that they added with this. Mr. Mime in particular, I feel like he got really fleshed out over time. Because he got, got like Mime Jr. New form, and then Mr. Rhyme. Like, actually, like a three-stage family now. Kind of wild. Rhyme Jr. Wait, we have camera angles now! I just re We've had- Why are the camera angles only focused on the trainers? There we go. Okay. Oh. It, does it only do camera angles for double battles? Whoa. 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 Wh why would you lock the camera behind that? Oh, Kevin, thank you for the raid. Oh, how's it going? Sorry, you've joined us at a bit of an awkward moment. Uh, we're playing uh, Pokemon Diamond, the, the the remake that just came out. Um, as a diehard Pokemon fan, and we've been comparing it a lot to the past game, and it's been kind of wild. I hope you had a good time streaming GTA. You were doing GTA, yeah? How's it going, folks? We've been playing Pokemon Diamond all today, and we're marathoning all this weekend because I I love Pokemon games. Gen Four is one of my favorites. Um, but this it's kind of weird because like the camera angles you see have only just been noticed You only have them in double battles 
Um, if you play a single player battle, the camera is static. Which is, like, really weird. I can't believe we just realized that now. Like, it's so, it boggles the mind. Has it always been like that for the double battles? Uh, have I just not noticed? It's for every battle if you leave it idle for a few seconds. Oh, is it actually? Have I just gone too quick? You just never leave it idle. Are you sure though? Because like normally it moves with like the moves and stuff and it just hasn't done that. Are you sure? Let me see. I'm, I'm, I, I have to test this. I like almost don't believe you. <laughs> Well, by barrel. I think maybe the reason I've thought it is because this is what it always is, and even if we... There's no way. No, it never went that fast. No. There's no way. I, I, I'm gonna rewatch the stream. I can't believe that. No, because every time I've been doing a battle, it's just like this. How have I not noticed this? I'm eight hours into playing this game. It moves. What? I have to check it. I have to check. I'm, I'm, I'm opening the stream right now. I'm going back in time. He's going senile. So sad. Wait. What's going on? Why are you there in the party? I I thought he was in the lead. It was. Well, was this there. won't do. <laughs> how, how, how? Am I just going mad? <laughs> it was always there. I swapped myself. Oh, okay. I did that wrong then. Oh no, it's, it's just gonna be another time. Have not <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> How have I not noticed that? I have no idea. He died in the first gym. Ah. Too many cold frosties. I swear, like, the camera has been static, like, 50% of the time. I swear to God. Dad, if you need a break, feel free to take one. No, I'm not losing my mind. No. It's real, I tell you. It's real. Hey Raiders, he died in the first gym. Don't mention that! God, like, are any of my criticisms valid now? Any of them? Just a reminder, RT died stream one. Or gym one. Oh god. Anna, thank you for the resub there as well. Hope you're doing well. Contest actually have six rounds, you just didn't notice. No, stop this. No. Oh, God wants to learn crunch. Um, yeah, sure, you think, sure thing, God. Okay, the contest has changed. I can hold true to that. I can hold true to that and TM's break again. God's not evolving too, that's a constant. I don't need to doubt these things. Ah. 
Okay, odd keystone. Use the odd keystone. The stone tower has been restored. Hollowed tower is written on it. Hollowed tower appears to have been built many years ago. So, you can get this up by talking to people in the underground, I believe. Uh, let us... Oh, that's not right. Pop on down real quick. Can I just enter this with anyone? If I click yes, is it like anyone can join? Right. There are gonna be people here. We're in like a new section of it too, I think. Oh, we're just further away. Can anyone come down here? I think there's a player over there. The blue dot is a player, yeah? Hop on around. Yeah, people are finding stuff. Blue dots are people. Go to the blue person. We gotta talk to him. We can we can grind out spirit arm if we get like just talk to enough people here. If everyone joins the lobby. Wait, 32 NPCs, no hikers, players don't count anymore. What? Okay. What why not the hikers? That seems a bit weird. We watched a guy. No, players do count. Some people are saying players do count. Hikers banned. That seems a bit weird to single out the hikers. Oh, here, watch there be no fire types in this volcanic cave. Are you ready? Are you ready? There's none here. It's all rock types. Some things never change in Sinha. <laughs> Uh, fried potato, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, this, this is no fire. Oh god, because you can't talk to people with the way that it's set up. So yeah, of course it's not going to count. It's only NPCs then. So, I'm just gonna have to grind out the underground, is that right? And I'm just gonna have to find every static NPC that lives down here. By exploring every nook and cranny of it. How many are there total? 32 is a lot of static NPCs to find. There's one. Now we just need to do that 31 more times. Oh god. Rocky Cave. These are all just... It's like so many Gia dude in every single one of these. It's the same Pokemon again. A Gligar! It's a cool one. Up. A Gligar? That's just level 27. Oh my god. It really does level with you. The team's gonna be so overpowered by the next gym. God, it's got acrobatics as well. It's actually gonna hit very hard. Gligar and like Gliscor is like actually like incredible. Incredibly strong Pokemon. Amazing defenses. I used like a poison stall Gliscor back in the day. 
because it, it can get that ability too, so if it gets poison on it, it actually heals every turn. It's wonderful. Got a Gligar. Grab that too. Hold on, Gligar is from the Platinum decks. In, in the underground sections at least, they seem to have spruced up the, the Pokedex a little. I imagine there's a possibility of even finding like a Magmar. Which means there might be a grand total of three fire types available. Which is before the Elite Four, which is quite shocking. Like, that's a game changer right there. We know they have a Hound Doom. Hound Doom is here too. Is Hound Doom underground? Oh, Burby's dead. Because if Hound Doom's available, that's now four. Let's get uh, you get notions at that point. There are Hound Doom. I caught one earlier underground. Okay, so so that that means the meme might be lifted. There's actually fire types available. Hound Doom is fairly common underground. Fire types in my set on this remake is inaccurate. I hope Flynn still has his not fire type team as the fire type elite four member. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> Number of fire types doubled. It went from two to four. I mean, four is actually like a. Uh, four does not sound like too many, but it's at least something. Every Pokemon game has like one type that tends to get like a bit shafted in terms of families. Like, there's some gens where there's like, there's like two ghost types available. Like, take your pick. Four is actually quite respectable if that's the amount. You can also find Macargo's underground. That's five. That could be more than other types at that point. I need to get better Pokeballs. Are you gonna catch Rotom? I, I can't at the moment. Uh, you got- it's Rotom's a post-game. There we go. Yeah, we caught some more stuff there, eh? Four fire types, we're moving up in the world. Unlocked like the fire chamber there. People are finding a lot of the uh, diglets too. There's one. I feel like I should stay under here for at least a bit to kind of get like the digging spree. Something pinged in the wall. I need to actually try trade some of the stones at some point. Kind of just stockpiling it all right now. Go.
At the very least, even if contests were gutted, I'm glad the underground was maintained and arguably expanded upon. Like, like with all like the different Pokemon chambers and this Diglett mechanic. The fact that the underground is online is like a huge quality of life thing. And I think that's really cool. But it is a shame about the contest. Like, that was a whole system. That's just gone. But like, I'm never, probably never gonna do that one again. That, oh, it's a Magnemite. Uh, I guess we send out reset. You might be able to get Eevee down here too as well. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get Magnemite this soon. Maybe. They seem to have some odd bits of the Platinum decks in the Underground specifically. Platinum basically added like uh, all the Pokemon that have like a Gen 4 evolution are in the uh, regional decks. It's like the biggest change. And actually evolved into a Magnezone here. It's a high enough level, ain't it? For like Magneton. I think I need to take it to Iron Island? Or can I just do it in the underground? Got Magnemite. Mount Coronet. Oh yeah, it is Mount Coronet, isn't it? Him and Probopass, uh, you get going there. Okay, one more, and then the dig spots are upgraded. There we go. They just dug that one out. Uh, there's one down here. Go, go, go. Or confirmed. Can you find two boxes per wall? There's one. Don't know if we're gonna find another one. We go. Okay, what we get? Shiny dragon. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I requested. Sure thing. Another Salamence statue. So many of them. <laughs> okay, reconfirm the wall. Go. Another one. Probably under all this. Try get true. No. <laughs> okay, red shard. What's in the box? Shiny Chansey. Chansey's a super rare, if I remember rightly, because don't you have to get him like the marsh or something? Or confirmed. I'm a 
amazed I've not found them all already. There we go. Fighting box. Hona tree dragon types. Guff, guff. Yeah, every region has like one type or something where they just don't have too many of them. The fire ones are just quite noticeable, I think, for Sinnoh, and it gets a bit of a bad rep for it because, like, fire is just like one of the. typically tends to have, like, at least a few options. Whereas, like, it's just one unless you pick the starter. <laughs> Shiny Geodude. Take it. There's no easy way for me to get back to my base as well. I have to get back to the city, I think, for that. We'll go one more mystery room. Uh, we'll do this big boy down here. Oh, I gotta talk to these guys as well. So I get the spirit on um, progress. Rocky Cave. Dear dude, Onyx. Scorpion. Don't mind me, we're being sneaky. Hey, we're good. Oh, just one second. I'm back. Stealth 100. <laughs> yeah, let's dig in this wall too, and then we'll head back on up. You all good in chat. We adore you, but please get some rest. Guys, I I'm fine. I don't- I don't think I need to be, like, escorted to bed or anything. I'm having a great time. <laughs> like... God damn it if you don't get some sleep soon. No, I'm- I'm having fun. You- you guys don't need to worry about that. Okay, old man, time for some rest. Fox is shining. A Mawel statue. I can't remember if that was in the regional decks. It's cool though. Oh, Salamence definitely isn't in the regional decks, so it's weird that you get so many statues from. Do you have anything for me? And get another drill. What's the point of the pedestals? <laughs> I don't understand what they actually do. Is, is it just display? Don't have enough pails here. I can get a square one. Or clear. Put statues on top of them. But, like, does that do anything? <laughs> that is still the way you put your favorite Twitch streamers. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe they increase their effect. Maybe. Uh, we'll get a clear one.
I imagine I'm not going to find the pedestals in the walls. So you have to trade with hikers for those. Okay, let's go back up. Uh, and let us... I won't faint a Pokemon. I think I want to run through here. Real quick. Got stuck in the grass. Uh, run her through here real quick and then just like heal up at the Pokemon Center and then go back and fight these trainers. Oh my god, the encounters. I do, I genuinely love how they change the encounters for like, you have to actually walk into the Pokemon in later games. Because <laughs> sometimes it's like, just in your face. Oh. It is cooler seeing him in the overworld. What is this? That's a jar in transition. Take all the berries. We made it, we made it to, uh, Solicane Town. Hey, take, take this. Solosian Town? Talk to the sign and see. Solasian Town. Free of worry. Solus. Yeah. Glacian. That's it. Let's heal up at the Pokemon Center. This is a town full of ranchers. Dan, you're like 26. Go to bed, you boomer. <laughs> I'm a grown man! I don't need bedtime anymore. Get to choose my hours. Because I just want to play Pokemon this weekend. Like that that those are my plans. I'm the nursery man. Papa Pokemon in daycare. Uh, I could leave God in daycare. We could drop him off here for the time being. We do need to find Mary still if we want to make Jesus. <laughs> oh god. Put God in. Oh, it asks you if you want to put another one in, like, right away. Uh... Here you go. 500 Poké Dollars. For... They'll take care of God a while. They didn't do anything with the space. That's just still empty. I always thought, like, your Pokémon was supposed to appear in this space. I know in Heart Golden that they have a space where they... Hello there, sir. You were not here a minute ago. Egg monitor poke chap. God has left the party. Yeah, we'll be all right. Don't worry. Get on fine. Uh, for leveling up. I think, I think we just take Kranidos a lot of the time and make him stronger. Seem to have like a semblance of a team forming here. With the five of them. 
Like, these three I'm gonna keep. I've never actually used, like, a Luxray myself. No, he's gonna evolve. Stop. I, he, he can't evolve in daycare, can he? He'll be fine. <laughs> I need to make sure God's still gonna be a Bidoof. Yeah, he can only level up. No gym in this town. Uh, there is... Oh, 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 oh. If we go over here... Uh, it's still here, there's a secret cave in this town. Lassian Ruins. Uh, the sign says... Top right. Lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Okay, so someone wants to keep track of this, okay? Top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Something really weird about these ruins. Well, I like coming here, but then again, come to my house later, I'll give you a ball cap so you can play stickers on. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are trainers down here. This is team unknown. There has to be some meaning to this. The truth can be found. I'll start my search by battling you. Rune Maniac Carl. This was originally one of the only places to get ball capsules. I think even for stickers, like, there was like few, few points for stickers in the original games. They've done a sticker overhaul since. <laughs> How overleveled are we? Yeah, uh, let's just see. 29 versus... 16. Yeah, that's pretty severe. <laughs> and we still, like, the square is a massive route as well. We have so much to explore here. Like, one of the coolest things just about Sinnoh is just the region itself. Like, it, it's actually just massive. I'm very much a fan. Jefferson is now level 30. As is Burby. can still spell swears out of unknowns. Oh god, that's how you get the letter stickers in this, isn't it? You captured the unknown. It would take a lot of work, but I can make it so the Pokeball will say fuck. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of effort, though. Letter stickers got removed. Oh, never mind. Top right, okay. Top left. Top left again. Uh, which one was next? After the two top lefts. Lower left, thank you. Okay, we get a rare candy. Got a nugget. 
Got a mind plate. Text engraved. Two beans of time and space set free from the original one. A jar of odd incense. Okay, so this says friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Creepy, ain't it? <laughs> Is that about sex? <laughs> No. I believe if you catch all the unknown in the ruins, um, that does something? Catch one now, we'll catch an E. The unknown have every character, and then there's like an exclamation mark and a question mark unknown. Usually to get the question mark and the explanation mark, you gotta meet some criteria. But we have we have to catch them all first. So that is gonna take a while. This guy who wants to see him all and digs a tunnel the more you catch. Okay. Unknown has been caught. We got E. Uh, I'll make a box for storing all the unknown, I guess. There's another E. There's 26 of these, but we get the same one twice. <laughs> what the chance? Unknown are kind of weird because like they're like a non Pokemon. I, don't, I I've never met anyone who goes like, oh shit, an unknown. I gotta get this on my team. But they're like a fun collectible. Okay, but there, so there's 26 of them in there. Uh, I might search for those off stream a little bit because those might take a while. That might be one of the things just to do. Uh, there's a house there covered by the ledges. We gotta go around. Are unknown competitively viable? No, <laughs> not at all. There's three houses in these hills. Oh my god. Pokemon's a timid nature. Big Pokemon ranches. Yeah, unknown's only move is hidden power. That's it. Can't do anything else. Gonna have to move to the tile based grid uh, for this bit. Means that I could only go left or right, or up and down. Live out here. Sun just loves those nearby ruins. Don't mind, can you show him the Pokemon you catch? Let's show him E. Never seen that form of unknown before. Please take this ball capsule. Uh, the ball capsules are just like, yeah, it's more of these, so you can like get more of them. I think it'll give you one for every single unknown to show them. 
Never seen an E before, which is quite shocking. <laughs> the only one we've seen. Now, can I not buy... I can get Dusk Balls. Must be kind of a fill-in for Great Balls for the time being. And a few net balls too. Yeah, you know, the shop the shops won't upgrade until I get the next gym. I'm just gonna make things tricky to catch unless I play at night. I can't catch Pokemon until it gets later in the day. Oh, shit, actually. The honey tree. I'm just checking the time. The honey tree will be ready, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh god, how long is it gonna take to get back? We'll battle this trainer. Oh, is this gonna be the Badoof trainer? <laughs> How long does the honey tree take? Six hours. I believe we've been streaming that long now. Okay, we'll go back and check. God against God. <laughs> It'll be six hours and ten minutes. Yeah, so let's make our way back. It might not take as long because we've unlocked a lot of shortcuts now. But just by getting cut and like the bike. The next gym unlocks fly, but we need the honey tree. It could be the munchlax. It could be munchlax. Like we gotta go. And I'll miss the honey tree if I don't go now. Because I won't be able to beat like the other gym until, uh... Later. Like, I'll be in tomorrow's stream. Nothing else matters, it's just the Munchlax. We gotta get- we gotta check. It's like one of the rarest Pokemon in the game. Dad, no, we're not doing the nine-hour stream. Also, Dad, nine hours later. I didn't say we're not doing the nine-hour stream. I said we actually do probably a long stream. I'm happy doing, like, uh, nine hours, like, the next three days. <laughs> like, that's fine. It's, it's a marathon. <laughs> like, we're not doing a Pokemon light jog. <laughs> we're going for it. I'm fine. Like, if I feel like I gotta stop earlier than that, I will. I wanna play the new Pokemon game that's out. Work-life balance when? I do actually have a pretty good work-life balance. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> you need to do something else. Like, I, I want to play Pokemon. <laughs> I've been excited for this coming out. <sighs> I just find it funny that some people are getting like, the, I don't know, like... And see about the time. I'm I'm fine. I'll tell you if I feel like stopping. Like like don't worry. You, you don't you don't need to like mutter me. You're not allowed to have fun. Go do taxes. <laughs> no, I don't want to do taxes.
No pudding tonight. What if I want pudding? It was being 26 and living alone. It's like, oh no! Like, I'm gonna have to have dinner, like, later tonight if I, it, like... Instead. It's like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. But what about school tomorrow? Like, no, this is this is what I do. <laughs> if we are four thousand, you are one. We have the advantage. <laughs> what does that mean in this context? Is the tree ready? Okay, well, we gotta wait. If I just hop inside the house for a few minutes. Why is Team Galactic on TV? They're like an international crime syndicate. It just changed the channel. Anyone else see that? Okay, well we gotta we gotta uh, sit tight in the shack for a few minutes, uh, cause we're waiting on the uh, what you call it, the honey. How often should I check it? Like it's I'm pretty close to it. Change the time in your switch. Well, it's just four minutes. <laughs> we can wait, yeah. Almost nine hours, you must be exhausted. I'm good. I don't really feel that tired. I'd probably keep going. I reckon. If it wasn't the fact that we're hitting midnight in Ireland, and you know, I just want to have some respect for the old neighbors. Griffin never appeared, in spite of being Friday. Doesn't want to see us. Oh, it sprouted. They're all happy. What time do you wake up? I tend to start my days at like... like I tend to get up at about 10 or 11 most days. But I don't go to bed until like 2 or 3 a.m. So I get eight hours sleep. It's just I prefer staying up a while. But I know that I do like um like, you know, I do several late night streams. I have a lot of friends in the States and that who stay up late, and it's nice to be able to catch them. You slosh! I sleep a reasonable amount. Not out of bed until 11. Yeah, but I'm not in bed till 3. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's pretty good, honestly. Like, and I have my three meals a day. I get breakfast when I get up. I have lunch usually around two. If I stream in the afternoon, then I have it just before. I tend to have dinner at around kind of seven or eight when I tend to wrap up like an afternoon stream. Or I'll have it at like six just before uh, a stream on like a weekday. Uh, today, Julie very kindly brought some carrot soup my way while I was streaming, which I very much appreciate. I had some, I had a tofu steak for dinner today. I was out in Dublin City. That was delicious. Uh, but yeah, it's been, a, I, it, I live my life pretty well, I would like to think. Like, the main thing that I'm slacking on is I actually want to start using, like, the gym. I want to go, I want to get back to that. I got very sick this year for like cons long periods of time and just threw off all rid of my head for like exercise and I've just been slacking for getting back to it. Like I'm a skinny bastard and I wouldn't mind like, you know, just going there. Working on myself a bit. Damn, be quiet, we're trying to peer pressure you. <laughs> Have you been drinking water regularly during your stream? Yeah, I had a glass of water and Julie actually brought me another one earlier. So I've been good. Check on the honey.
I think we need to give it another minute. What about now? How much longer is it going to take? It's one more minute. Okay. Alright. tree shake when it has a man. It should. It should. There's Team Galactic on the TV again. The, the, the channel changes every time you try to interact with it. <laughs> What's up with that? I don't know if the honey tree is going to be ready, guys. Is it going to take 12 hours? Should I come back tomorrow? <laughs> Maybe wait another 6 hours? <laughs> yeah, let me, let me just sit tight a mo. Why aren't my Pokemon following me? Walk together with Burby. Burby looks tiny. Oh god, is it doing the scaling? I think it's, yeah, it's scaling it weird. Jefferson looks kind of normal. Uh, let me check reset. Reset looks normal, but like, look at Burby, because Burby should be like, roughly even bigger than them. Smaller. Small, it's a small Burby. <laughs> God. I think they got the scale in wrong. That's weird that that's become a problem again, because in Sword and Shield they had the scale in right. Or at least mostly correct when like you were walking around. You get Zekrom following you or something like that, like he's towering above you. It's actually quite menacing. According to the wiki, honey takes 12 hours. Okay. We'll check on the tree tomorrow then. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll hop across Sina again. Uh, off stream. We'll check on a tree come tomorrow. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone for coming, though. I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Uh, we're gonna continue the marathon, uh, tomorrow at 3pm GMT. Same time that we started at today. Or, if you really want to be lazy about it, 15 hours from now. And we'll kick it off then. If you want something more to watch, uh, Phoenix Wright highlights went up on the YouTube channel. I'll probably pop a tweet for it in just like a minute or so. Give people a heads up. And there's a special teaser in that for something that's going to be releasing tomorrow too. We will watch it on stream when it releases tomorrow. So, do, do keep an eye on that. You're, you're, you're in for a treat. Yeah, I do hope people have enjoyed it. The game, the game, <laughs> the game, I'm having fun with the game. If I ignore the part of my brain that tells me there's missing content. <laughs> like, I have to, like, block that out. Uh, it's, it's, it's the same part of my brain that's saying there was a quality of life update that fixed this in like five generations ago Or like four like three generations ago But I'm still having fun with it the game like I'm not a fan of the art style, but it's still quite pretty I, 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 don't, I don't like these characters compared to sword and shields the music is really good They seem to have patched whatever that audio issue was that was making the rounds before and Sinnoh itself is just a very fun region. There's, there's just a lot to do. It's very varied. And I like being back in that. But 
but it's just a mi bit of a mixed bag. The underground stuff that they did in this one is like just strictly better uh, than, than the, the underground before. Just because the fact that it's online means that it actually kind of works. Well, no, it's not strictly better because the secret base has kind of got it. I miss customizing the furniture. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. I don't know why they just replaced that with statues. Granted, the statues have more of a mechanical purpose, but it's like... It was kind of fun to do up your own little base, you know? It's weird. It's, yeah, it's like everything about the game is like one step forward, but then something else gets cut. Arguably, it's not even as many steps forward. Maybe it is one step forward, two steps back. It could be a case of that. I like Pokemon being able to follow you. Will tomorrow be the same length? Probably, yeah. I'm down for a long stream. Um, yeah, we'll kick off at 3 tomorrow. I'm gonna get some rest. I'm, I might play a little bit off stream. The only stuff I'm going to do out, uh, is I'm going to go to areas that we've already been in. And I'm probably just gonna catch a few more Pokemon. So uh, I can catch up very quickly with what happens off stream. It shouldn't be too much. Okay, let me see uh, who else is streaming so I can leave you in someone's care. Uh, Point Crow is also playing Pokemon. He's modded it so every level his Pokemon evolves randomly. That sounds horrific. So, I'm gonna leave you in his care. <laughs> so, you can cast a gander at that. And see how he gets on. Uh, I'll be continuing this tomorrow afternoon. 3 p.m. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all the subs. Thanks for the bits. Thanks as ever to the mods on hand. See you all tomorrow, guys. Have a good night.